Oh, they have little, uh, whopper flyers or whooper flyers or whatever you want to say it. Oh, it's freaking adorable. Coaching and Charlotte. I never thought she'd see you two together. <laughs> Charlotte. Nice to see you again, Traveler and Paimon. Hello. Oh, we're not interrupting anything, are we? <laughs> not at all. I wasn't in the middle of an interview or anything. I was just asking Miss Kuching about purchasing a kite. Wait, do we have any other Fontaine characters showing up? Probably. <gasps> they exist now, so they can they can be here now. Yes! <laughs> a kite? Are you buying some regional specialties to bring back to Fontaine? Well, yes. And... And? <laughs> it seems you haven't heard yet. The theme of this year's Lantern Rite is kites. Oh, so that's why Paimon has seen so many floating in the sky. That's a cool mm. shot. Liyue Harbor is always changing, so it is only fitting that Lantern Whoa. Rite should change in turn. What? Look how cool the Jade Palace looks in the background. Oh. That's sick! The Qixing believes it would benefit Liyue to build on our own cultural foundation by embracing the technologies of other nations. After all, it is said that the stones of another mountain may serve to better polish one's own jade. What? Sure, I guess. Yeah, remember my business meeting with Tian Chuen Ningguang the last time I was in Liyue Harbor? That's what it was about! Oh, oh, I'm glad that's what that was. But all I really did was use my network to introduce Lady Ningguang to some interesting people. I'm not sure that quite counts as fostering cooperation. Mm. Uh, I, I'm sure she considers that. In the end, we decided to combine Liyue's traditional art of kite making with Fontaine's mechanical vertical lifting device. Uh-huh. Mechanical lifting device? Sounds pretty impressive. It does. Wind to fly? Why would you need to add something mechanical? Well, you've actually just answered your own question, Paimon. She did? How high and far a kite can fly depends as much on the weather conditions as on the skill of the person holding the string. Uh huh. But as soon as there's no wind, you can only flail about helplessly like a sweet flower medaka out of water. Experience doesn't matter at that point. It's too, that's too relatable. Mm hmm. Have you ever exactly. tried to fly a kite? Liyue is now a nation ruled by humans, after all. It's about time we had the power to make a kite fly, don't you think? On a non-windy day? It's so depressing. Why would I fly a kite on a non-windy day? Look, as a small child, there were a few days I really wanted to go fly my kite. And there was just no wind. And it was just sad. And <laughs> it was just sat there and it was just like, just dead. Well, that's why you run with it. Well, yeah, and that's what I did, but still not the same. Well, I mean, that's, uh... Shush! shush. Yeah, I mean, that's, you know... Yeah. Plus, the easier we can make it to enjoy, the more people will want to participate. Sure, I, right? I guess. I also thought it was a novel idea. Plus, it shouldn't cost much to do. We're making drones. What do you mean it's cheap? With Miss Charlotte's help, everything has gone smoothly. Our new mechanical kites are already what? available to purchase from a mean? stall in the harbor. We're having trouble keeping up with demand. We also gave quite a bit of thought to the price. We didn't want it to be too much more expensive than a traditional kite. There you go. Though realistically, it should be at least a little more expensive. Bare minimum. Ooh! Turns out you two and Ning Wong like playing with toys just as much as Paimon! Sure. Uh, toys? They're not exactly toys. You see, Miss Kuching, that does seem to be everyone's first reaction. Hmm. Although kites are one of our most time-honored cultural relics, outside of their use in certain ceremonies, I suppose they're considered playthings more than anything now. But to me... There's so much more than that. Think for a second about how remarkable it is that a flimsy paper kite attached to a string has the capacity to touch the sky. It is this slight piece of paper that also carries the weight of Liyue's cultural traditions. I like that thought process. That's cool. Whatever makes you happy. There's an old poem that goes, O kite born of paper, flying true and sound, 
a lone traveler wanders, just waiting to be found. Wait, I didn't read the rest of it. You can't blame me for, like... <laughs> send them love and send them word. And send them homeward bound. In the past, poets from Liyue used kites to symbolize a feeling of longing. Or evoke the peacefulness of idyllic rural scenery. Uh-huh. If the people of today can derive enjoyment from this activity, they will not only be more likely to better appreciate the tradition, but also to pass it down to the people of tomorrow. Sure. That's really true, actually. That's the coaching we know. Always thinking five steps ahead of anyone else. Well said, Miss Kuching. I've learned quite a bit myself. Hmm. <laughs> As long as you're willing to listen, I'm happy to share. I also know quite a lot about the various folk traditions related to Wait. kites. Mm. Has Kaching always had that, like, little necktie thing? I guess. I have never noticed that. Cool. What? For example, whenever a kite blew away, people would say it was the Adepti that summoned the wind to take it away as an offering. That way... You can turn an unfortunate event into an auspicious one. I spilled my water. The ground was thirsty. Actually, you can think about it like that. Yeah. 100%. Depending how you think of it, anything can be positive. Yeah, yes. exactly. It's like, it's no use crying over spilled milk, even though the grass doesn't drink milk. But, you know, that's besides the point. It's beside, don't break that down. Just go with it. Don't ruin it for don't, everyone. Don't ruin okay. it. What about something more fun? Do you know anything like that? Ouch. More fun. Hmm, let me think. Oh, I suppose we should first talk about how kites are made. It's another one of our precious forms of traditional craftsmanship. My grandfather told me that back when he was a boy, children learned the art of kite making step by step from their elders. Well, that's cute. First, you use the thin strips of bamboo to construct the frame. Then, you draw a design of your choice on a piece of paper, paste mm -hmm. it onto the frame, and tie on the string. Then, you look towards the sky and release the kite to soar among the clouds. Some people write down certain names or desires on their kites, cut the string, and let them fly free. Others may place particular thoughts or meaning into the design itself. Aww. Are certain designs associated with certain meanings? <laughs> I'm gonna jot all of this down. Hmm. Hmm. Well, for example, kites in the shape of a butterfly typically symbolize freedom, happiness, or the desire to break free. But if they're in a Kirby game, they mean a lot of other things. They mean existential dread and horror. <laughs> You'll get it. <laughs> You'll get it. Fascinating. What else can you tell me? The scissored-tailed swallow is the most classic design. It symbolizes good fortune and joyful tidings. Aww. Different colors also have small variations in meaning. Oh? I'm assuming that's the bird-ish one there. Maybe. There's two birds, though. Where? That and that. That's a fish. That's a fish? The gray one's a fish? Oh, I guess it could also be a bird. Yeah, now that I see it, it could be both. Oh, no, it's like, it's the whole, like, is it a rabbit or a duck? <clears throat> it's that thing. Yeah, it could either be a pigeon or it could be a fish. Huh. Are these commonly <laughs> understood meanings and symbols in Liyue? Kind of like the language of flowers in Fontaine. Hmm, I believe so. Most have probably heard something about it from their elders at some point. If you're interested, Miss Charlotte, oh, I have several books the on the topic that I could lend Front you. Foreground. They could be a useful reference. Hmm. What are you two talking about? That would be a huge help! Great! Looks like I've got the outline for quite the article on my hands. What was with the Paimon zoom in? She's thinking. Now that is a disastrous event. <laughs> what? Hope it goes well. We're gonna take a look around. I'm sorry, Paimon. Then I'll show Miss Charlotte to my home for a little while. Ah, I almost forgot. The Ministry of Civil Affairs is hosting a kite flying contest on the night of Lantern Rite. 
If you're interested, you're more than welcome to bring a kite and participate. The rules are simple. Whoever flies their kite the highest and furthest within the time limit will receive a special honor along with a secret prize. Ooh. I've already prepared more than enough empty film for the event. I can see the spectacle already. We got it in the bag. Uh, maybe tone it down a bit, Traveler. What if we don't win? That'd be a first. It's better to keep a low profile until the competition starts. Then we'll give them a show they never saw coming. Oh, that secret prize is ours. Then I'll look forward to seeing your performance. You bet! See you then! <laughs> Wait, Traveler? Take a peek to your right. Do you see those two people lurking over there? Ah, yes, I see them. Is it just Paimon? Or were they staring at us the whole time we were talking to Kuching and Charlotte just now? Hmm, they seem fishy. I I love how every year for Lantern Rite, there's just a complication. Somehow, some way, there will always be <sighs> some bad guy in the foreground just being like, <laughs> Well, they do attract a lot of attention. Huh. Yes, but... But plot, yes, I know. Something's up. Paimon just has a bad feeling. Mm, of course you do. Your little plot, little antenna up there. Ring oh, yeah. is picking up sausagery. She's your guide, so she has to. Can't I just, like, pick her up and just hold her to the ground like a metal detector? No, you may not! Why not? I think there's something wrong with that! Why? I don't know. I feel like there's a law being broken there. there Maybe a few. No law. What do you mean? Once if she consents to being a metal detector. Then that is the only way that would be okay. Just saying. I don't think Paimon will ever consent to being that. Even for a free lunch? That's bribery. And no, no I don't I don't payments. I don't know. It really would depend. It's I think a consensual agreement. <laughs> I'm I just saying. Leave Paimon alone. Why? What? What? What do you mean, why? I shouldn't give her a free lunch? No, you... Don't spin this back on me and be like, you just don't want her to eat. No, I don't want you throwing her around like a metal detector. Well, I'm not throwing her around. I'm not a bad person. You'll just be waving her around. Gent Gently. Of course. Do you think they could be treasure hoarders? They always seem to be stirring up trouble during Lantern Rite. Poking fun at yourself. <gasps> I love that little poster in the background of Guaba and the bunny. <gasps> yes. Oh, I'm on sick of waiting around for something bad to happen. We should strike first, you know? Uh, Foil their plans before they even begin? Yes. Uh, Paimon, let us not uh, beat up potentially innocent people. You go right, Paimon will go left. Yeah, you got it, boss. Wait. Uh, okay. I'm not legally responsible for anything Paimon says nor does. Or eats. Or eats. I don't see that poster. Where's that? It's right there. I think it's a minigame, actually. Yeah. yeah. Well, that happened. Farina spin. Oh, the freak. It's dancing in the rain. That is so cute. Dude. Won't really do that just yet. Is that is that girl's name like one like one zoon or something? Mm -hmm. One one I, I what is an X in Chinese? I don't know, and English doesn't always translate the best to how to... And, and yeah, and the E is sounds. more like a U sound. I know that now, but... The nice X. dyed red oh. hair. Whoa, you look... Interesting. Are you related to the guitar girl? Or is the hair not genetic? <laughs> it is with such an air of urgency that you appear before us. Your comportment suggests you believe us to have committed some heinous crime. Perhaps you could enlighten us as to your intentions. Oh, wait, are you Mountain Shaper? Is that you? Are you the deer? Maybe. Whoa, where did this funny daddy come from? I was gonna say, dude, your voice. You should be the one doing the enlightening, buddy. Yeah, no, that's the two dudes. It's the, um... It's the deer and the bird. Bird, other bird. bird, yeah, the other oh, one. Oh, they don't have... Oh. They don't have unique models. That could be remedied. In the future, maybe. Don't think we didn't notice you eavesdropping. One look and, and you don't know what I'm talking you were about. Up to no good. Tell us everything, starting with your name. 
Wow, Paimon, a little, a uh, little jumpy. Uh, one bears no secrets before two such as yourselves. You stand in the Moon presence Carver. of the mighty and illuminated Adeptus, Moon Carver. Is the other one? Who's Mountain Shaper? Uh, is the dead deer. Oh, got it. For the purpose of this foray into the mortal realm, however, you may address one as Hojong. Hojong. Cool. Hojong. Or it is a deer. Is there another deer? I don't remember. This wasn't there like the one deer that propped up the mountain on its side? Mm hmm. And died? I think there's a few. Because this guy was also a deer. And again, there's a lot of birds too, so I don't know. Uh, <clears throat> you may want to hold your tongue, Paimon. <laughs> don't think that Paimon is going to believe you just because you know her name. Let Paimon guess. You're supposed to be Mountain Shaper, right? That's Mountain Shaper. Who is the dear deer? I don't remember. Because they literally are a mountain. I I don't know. It's been a while. I don't remember. Indeed. Mooncarver and myself have descended upon the mortal realm for a visit. The two of you may call me Jiahu. Huh. Looks like you did your research. But in our experience, the harder you try to lead us on... That... The more likely it is that we've got a big fish in our hands. Wait, I don't know if anyone else saw the dog, but the dog was sitting in an, like in an umbrella. Like what? Mm. We'll go straight to the Millilith and have you arrested for impersonating a deaf guy. What? Preposterous. Utterly preposterous. <laughs> you really are who you claim to be. Perhaps you can prove it. Right. Tell us something that only would know. And it better not be some common knowledge that any person on the street could tell you. <sighs> During the last lantern rite, we gathered at Mount Hulao with Rex Lapis and made use of Cloud Retainer's supreme cuisine machine to prepare bamboo shoot soup. Perhaps you have some recollection? 100%. The flavor of that soup was more than enough to whet one's appetite. As such, Cloud Retainer assented to my use of the device beyond that singular occasion, providing other recipes to boot. Since then, one has dabbled in the pleasures of the culinary arts whenever time allows. The what? Culin? Cl cu what? what did you say? Culinary ads? Uh, culinary. He said culinary. Cul I, I'm assuming that's just another way of saying that. I have always said it and heard it as culinary. Dabbled? Upon one's last sojourn to your mountain, did you not immediately attempt to hide the device behind a chunk of amber as soon as one's presence was known? Ooh. Uh... Did one not speak up on your behalf but a moment ago? This is how you choose to repay that kindness? <laughs> one is simply trying to emphasize the veracity of our claim. That does not mean you should reveal personal matters so readily. They might think one bears no difference from Cloud Retainer. <sighs> Forget it. One does not have the breath to waste on such petty trifles. I don't know why you two, with the voices you have talking in this manner, really remind me of Oblivion. And not in a bad way. Makes me actually kind of nostalgic. That's awesome! I suppose they really are adept on. Uh, that might have been more detail than we needed. Seems like you two are the real deal, and I'm sorry for suspecting you. You should be. But, uh, for beings as forgiving as yourselves, this is just water under the bridge, right? Take it as a compliment to the quality of your disguise. I you like people that. People will be able to see through it. You indeed have an agile mind. Cloud Retainer was not mistaken in her high estimation of you. Mm. I'm still curious about something. It's just... Paimon can understand why Mountain Shaper is here, but... Why did you decide to come to the city, Mooncarver? It's not really your thing, is it? Hmm. <sighs> it is but, but an inevitable, inevitable eventuality. eventuality. Why are you guys doing that? What? Long have the mountains remained strangely idle <sighs> since Cloud Retainer's move to Leo at Harbor. Ah, y'all are lonely. With Lantern right near at hand, one would expect Cloud Retainer to provide us with an account of the festivities in advance. 
yet to this day she has failed to appear. Cloud Retainer is hardly the forgetful sort. One must never rest idle in the face of that which demands action. And since our acquaintances dwell in Liyue Harbor, we had to travel here in human form to avail ourselves of their aid, Cloud Retainers in this case. Mm. But a moment ago, one heard you speak of a mechanical kite of sorts. It appears the essence of the situation has hitherto revealed itself. Now, it is time for one to retire back to one's abode. Huh. So, you're not looking for Cloud Retainer anymore? Perhaps there are aspects of Cloud Retainer's temperament that remain opaque to young Paimon. Given one's understanding, one can only imagine the anger that now consumes her. Cloud Retainer is of a proud and arrogant disposition. She holds the belief that her skill in mechanics surpasses that of all others. One can be quite certain it is hardly with an open mind that she regards the arrival of this new technology. Oh, so she didn't make the mechanics in the kites. She's upset at them. Uh, maybe. This, that's One his opinion. One that she has shut herself away, refused all company, and buried herself in the study of her own creations. To call on her would only invite her rebuke. Nah, I don't think she would do this at all. I think she's probably either making a different type of kite or she's just chilling with her daughters. And one or the if other. you do happen to cross paths with her over the next few days, do pass along one's regards. Oh wait, you guys not staying? Nah. That's sad. Sure, leave it to us. No. Have a safe trip back, enjoy the scenery, and happy lantern ride. No, stay with us. Bye bye. Thank you for your kind words. We shall now depart. No! Okay, bye. <sighs> we got all worked up for nothing, huh? All that trouble and it turned out to be people we knew all along. You're the one that got worked up, Paimon. Well, it's still pretty early. Let's head over and check out the kite stalls. Paimon wants to see what kinds of kites we can buy to use in the competition. The bigger and prettier, the better. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, no, I wonder what's oh, up with Cloud again. Retainer. I don't think she'd be upset. Are you the same person we talked to during the other lantern rides to make lanterns and stuff? <coughs> or is your outfit just similar? Probably. Then again, this is also several years ago. I don't know if I'm Mr. Oh, oh, I hope not. Welcome. Are the two of you looking to buy a kite? Someone else. Would you okay. like me to go over the different designs? Everything. Oh? Uh, this jade chamber design is our newest. It's been selling like crazy over the past two days. Yep. Does it also have a unique meaning? Just a reminder that she's floating above you. Of course. The jade chamber symbolizes wealth and abundance. The kite bearing its design is said to bring riches in the future to those who fly it. This feels like propaganda. <laughs> oh, now that's Paimon's kind of kite! I apologize for the interruption, but are all your wares in order, Miss Genuine? Genuine? Yeah. Yes, yes, they're just over there. The paper, bamboo, and dyes. All the necessary kite-making materials. Yeah, it's, mm. it's not a J, it's just a ZH. <laughs> Why does that translate to a ZH? Uh, cause that yeah. is, I, that is the actual proper spelling, I think. In what? English? Uh, mm, it's the best take of English off of Chinese, yeah. <sighs> Wonderful. I'll pack them up and get a guard to deliver the goods to Yilong Wharf for you. Yilong Wharf? Oh, wonder what that place is like during Lantern Ride. <coughs> Paimon would love to go take a look. Where is that again? Well, if the two of you are interested in going to Yilong Wharf, then could I trouble you to find Gaming and deliver these goods together? I'm assuming the new area. Oh, yeah, because he just mentioned Gaming. Is okay. Is Gaming the guard you just mentioned? He's a guard? Yes. The communications office handles shipments and transports around Liyue. He works for the Secure Transport Agency, one of our sub-organizations. Mm. 
Uh, the problem is, many of my colleagues have taken leave during Lantern Rite to spend time with their families. So, our available workforce has seen a dramatic decrease recently. Makes sense. If you were willing to help out, then I could get a head start on my next appointment. You do seem really pressed for time. We'll help. We expect to be compensated. Hmm, volunteer work or paid work? Oh, you're getting paid no matter what. I'll be nice. Oh, wonderful. Uh, you will, of course, be compensated for your efforts. Mm. Now, at this time of day, coming should be somewhere in the vicinity, but just follow the main road Ooh. until you see the head of a Wusho dance costume. Should be on your right. The <laughs> head! Be sure to sure. come back if you'd like to buy a kite. I'll even give you a discount. Cool. Just looking for a... Yeah, okay, yeah. Well, that is adorable. That is uh, just that is mine now. Disembodied head. Oh, give it to me. Wait, I thought we had an agreement. A loser buys dim sum tomorrow? <laughs> Look at you. Scowl like that for much longer and your face might stay that way. Hey now, don't be upset. How about this? You extend the invitation and I'll pay. He has such a good design. Uh, no way, Gami. You're always the one picking up the tab. I'm not trying to be a sore loser. I just didn't expect you to come from behind a win like that. <laughs> that was nothing. All in a day's work, friend. Okay, I cannot hear. I, I, I can't stop hearing Callus just doing the silly voice and everything, because that's the exact same voice he, he makes when he's, like, being jokey and weird. That's... I have to differentiate the two characters. I have to, and everything. Because that's the same voice he used with, uh, when Ron May, uh, hypnotized us. And made us talk about toilets and everything. It's the exact same yep. voice. Sure is. <laughs> Here. Sorry to interrupt, Gaming. We just spoke to a guy from the communications office who needs you to deliver some goods to Elon Wharf. Oh, that must have been Longjo. Looks like I've got work. We gotta go. Sure, go do your thing. Uh, let's have a rematch when you get back. I won't let you win so easily next time. Hmm. I love the bright red uniforms. <laughs> mm -hmm. Awesome. Alrighty, you can hand the goods over to me. Must have been heavy hauling them all this way. Let me take them off your hands. Oh my goodness, they are big. It eh, wasn't that bad. It's just some kite making materials. Plus, we didn't have to walk very far. Kite making materials. I see. I see. Mm -hmm. Why'd you say it like that? Uh, I'm glad it wasn't too much trouble, Paimon. Still, I owe you one. Mm -hmm. Ah, and you must be the traveler. It's nice to meet you. Thanks for your help. You're welcome. We gave it a- oh. Yeah. You got like a massive mid- a mid drift? Is it mid drift? When you've got mid rift? What is, what is it when you have clothing that shows your belly button? I don't entirely get why we have that, but you know. <laughs> I- yeah, uh, it's breathable. You know? Sure. Yeah. Huh? You know us? <laughs> there probably aren't many in Liyue who don't. I've heard quite a bit about you two. We've Quite been here for like around these parts. four years. Yep. Canonically. Three? Four? How many years? Three years. Wait. First lantern right. It's 4.0. So yeah. Second lantern four. right. Four. Four years. Third lantern right didn't have the... The... Wah! Thing at it. Uh, and this is the fourth one. <laughs> yep. Second one had the multi hydra Hydra. Third one didn't. This is the fourth one. God. So this is our fourth lantern right. But we're in our like... Third year of Genshin? Something. Fourth? Oh, that's oh, weird and to think about. Please excuse Longjo if he forgot to thank you. Uh, take my thanks in his place. He's a good guy. He's just been super busy lately. Running around from place to place. Don't be too hard on him, yeah? No worries. So, you here for Lantern, right? Yep. yep. It's always so lively this time of year. We were actually <clears> hoping <throat> we could tag along to Elon Wharf and have a look around. I'm actually excited to see the new area. Perfect. We'll go together then. I'm good at directions, so just follow me. Trust me, I know my way around. 
We can exchange stories, tell jokes, or just chat along the way. As long as you don't start digging in any trash cans on the way there, it'll be good. Oh, and there are a couple of good places to eat along our route. We can stop and grab a bite when it's time. The ingredients Daniel. are fresh, the portions hmm? are generous, and the prices won't break the bank. You can order anything, and I promise you won't be disappointed. How dare you shame the trash panda. I didn't shame the trash, pa trash panda. I'm just saying that, you know, I refrain from wearing a trash can, please. Just, just... Let let the little guy enjoy his trash cans. He's not actually that little, but you know, I'm going with it. He's him. the same height as our character. Yeah, okay, so we're also a little guy, so eh. Order anything? <laughs> oh no. Hey, did you really have to call Paimon out like that in front of our new friend? Uh yes. <laughs> Don't worry, I understand. I joke around like that with my friends too. It just shows how close you are. Mm, you have a mole on your neck. I did not notice that before. That's cool. Do you need to pack anything up before we hit the road? I can wait. Nope. Our things are always packed and ready. Mm -hmm. We're pretty much travel experts at this point. Oh, that's right. Then let's get going. If we run into any trouble, you can count on me to protect you. I am a guard, after all. Surprisingly. And you are an actually pretty decent DPS, so... Ooh. So pretty. I love whoever they get to do these things every time. Yeah, the transition guy. Mm -hmm. <coughs> uh, excuse me. Not just the transition, but the uh, artist teams that yeah. they get for this. It's very cool. And the 3D, like, just... Mm. There's a really nice 3D effect to all of them. Like, that is really nice. Cute little animation. Cute little animation. Oh, in the. And, uh, don't see that yet. Also, nice little 3D effect of them popping out. There you go. Nice. <laughs> Just for the sake of. <laughs> unlocking these. I'm gonna start these. Do, 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 may skip dialogue. Do, 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 depending do, 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 if they're voice acted or not. Do, do. Yeah, you can do it. Or quickly skip through them in my mind. Sadly, my voice is being weird right now, so I can't read. Mine is also being pretty scuffed. Dang. What was happening? <gasps> Round and fluffy, soft and bouncy, jumpy bump. Jumping, jumping bump. Oh my guest, welcome, welcome, and allow me. When soon to be the f or, or no, actually, actually be one soon to be the first to wish the two of you a joyous lantern ride. She's got a cool model. Happy Lantern right, Miss... Mm-hmm. Mm. You seem to be reciting something just now. What are you talking to yourself about? Considering some delectable dessert or perhaps a revolutionary recipe. Not far off the mark, actually. Nearly a hole in one. I was just thinking about the food Guoba mm. and you, the bunny, are going to make. Eh? Huh? Now those are names we know. I didn't know one of them. You know Guoba and the bunny? <laughs> How could I not? You're looking at one of one means restaurants regulars, you know. The bunny helps at the restaurant? I thought it was just a bunny doll. I No, I think the bunny is sentient. But Well, I know, but I think it, I thought it was just a, a doll that's alive. I uh, yeah, I thought Isn't it was flammable. I also thought it worked with the other girl, so I guess it does part-time work. As long as I'm not on the road, I eat at least seven meals a week at Wan Min Restaurant. Wow. When paired with my hometown style of cooking, first some lightly seasoned fare, then a spicy flavor bomb. It's just smash it. If I end up with too much, uh, heatiness, okay, I just need to down some of the right meds and flush it right out. Then after a couple of days of recuperating, it's back to gorging myself in Chow Town. That was a sentence. <laughs> Best take it easy. Uh, Papa Paimon also wants to try living like that. No, you don't. What? No. She just talked about eating a bunch of spicy food, and if it made her feel sick, she would take a bunch of laxatives. And just purge. And purge. You don't want this. This just is not a good lifestyle. Eat a healthy round meal every day. Get some nice food that goes into your stomach and... Helps you live to the, the 
peak of your potential. Anyways, I get to see Guoba in the bun, no, Jingling, pretty much every week. And sometimes even little Yao Yao. It's Yao Yao, right? Mm hmm Okay. When Yao Yao brings mm, the bunny along to see uh, Jingling and Guoba, oh, to see Jingling, Guoba and the bunny end up playing together. That's nice. Ah, oh, it's wonderful. No matter how exhausting work is, just watching them shake and sway is enough to sweep all your cares away. Shake and sweep. Mm -hmm. But I can't be the only one being cured by Guoba and the bunny. I want everyone to bear witness to their cuteness for themselves. Well said. Now this is something important. But just how do you plan to do it? Unless these things on the table are... Bingo. I just made a paper theater featuring Guoba and the bunny as the stars. Everything you see here at this stall is a prop for the paper theater. Paper theater? That name sounds kind of familiar, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Is it about the canvas behind you and watching the shadows on it? Yes, Paimon, we talked about this last time. Yeah, but we have to say this, you know, in case there's anyone new playing. It's fine, because it'll be completely different than it was last time. Yep. You guys may have heard of paper plays, a traditional leeway art form, but artfully using the pictures and lights, you can make the scenes on the screen come to life! Yep. I've loved paper plays since I was a kid and learned a bit about them from... Oops. You just skipped my line! I'm saving your throat. While I was in Fontaine, I learned a few new drawing techniques and a thing or two about filming. I had quite a few sparks of inspiration, too. So, using paper plays as a basis, I tried creating a novel interactive game, and thus, the paper theater you see before you was born. Mm. Paper theater and paper plays also have very different styles. Paper theater focuses on simple, short stories that bring a smile to the audience. So that's why this year's paper theater will be all about an especially amiable story. Guoba and the bunny looking for ingredients to cook up something delicious together. Woba and the bunny cooking together? That sounds really interesting. Fun and food in one place. Indeed. <laughs> Looks like you two are totally on board. Your excitement is, ex is inspiring. And there's no time to lose. Please, just relax and get ready to enjoy this paper theater performance. This is the wow. whole, yeah, yeah, little cart thing, yeah. I'm pretty sure Good we thing, know. Thing, push, do the bob and bing. Can be used three times consecutively. <laughs> I assume there's gonna be like maybe like oh, we're grabbing mushrooms. Oh, more than I thought. <gasps> that is so cute. Left stick to consume movement points and guide Guoba and the bunny. Push the stick continuously to move. Um, it can be used three times consecutively. Wait, the restorative thing. Oh, okay, you can rewind three times if you make a mistake. But after that, you're out of tries. No. Boom. Bam. Boom. 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 Mm. Man, you could be- what are you doing? Boom. I want to see him angrily push that thing again. <laughs> well, that's cute. Uh, when they leave the starting point, cart, the areas they pass through will be marked. Marked areas will be deemed inaccessible. Returning along the marked path will restore moves consumed. Hmm. Touch the key to release the corresponding lock. If you cannot reach the key, try pushing boxes or something. Oh, wait, or some other method. Okay. What? Cuteness. Boom. Back. Boom. Boom. And then you just walk back. Got it! So, if you- That's actually far easier than I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> if you push something onto the key, it just picks it up. That's cool. Uh... <gasps> oh, I see. Oh. Okay. 
I get it. That was cool. I liked that puzzle. Very basic, but very fun. You can switch between them. No oh boy. So you have to, yeah. Why not just grab meat? Because they both have they meat to it. They need to both be on it. Oh, okay. So push that box, right? Or can I just be the bunny and push it? No, I cannot. Be. Okay. So I need to push up. Bunny. I actually you, uh, yeah. okay. And now you use the box, yeah. And now Gwoba... Yeah, and now Gwoba goes down. Okay, well that's cute. And That's really that easy. Yeah, so we'll probably do the rest off camera. Just because that's probably all you're gonna really get. Mm -hmm. It's gonna get harder, obviously. Wow, that art! Can we actually preview it? Oh, we can. Very nice. That is super nice. He looks like he's part of, um... Ooh, the hair tie and the tassels. It looks Very like he's nice. a part of an orchestra or something, mm -hmm. honestly. I do prefer it over his normal design. I like both. I like both. And then here's our free character pick. Wow, there is a lot of leeway four star characters. That looks nice too, but I like the hair tie of the outfit. And the hair is also a little longer by the looks of it. Yeah, it does actually yes, look like that. Actually, yeah. it just looks like an older version of him. Yeah, it's like a slightly aged up one. Which is actually kind of cool when you think about it. Mm -hmm. It says canon look until he reverts next year. Yeah! Okay, I'm digging that. Nice. Yeah, it's, it's just slightly older him. That's kind of cool. <gasps> Look at these! That's so cute. <laughs> Koba's like, onward! To adventure! Forward in this, we conquer this land. We will conquer the culinary world together, Bunny, you and me. What else will I start this one? So I can also put it on screen. <laughs> Boy. Where? What is this? This is, uh, Bumper Cars? <laughs> the bomb-ish bomb. I don't remember, actually, what this one is. Oh, is this, is this the multiplayer one? Do, um... Nah. Okay, because the lion and dragon outfits don't actually look like this. Why does that look like a mixture of a rubber ducky and a bumper car? And a cat. And a cat. It's so cute. A rubber cat. Yo, happy lantern right, my dude, and do that. Oh, what? You get the Your surfer, dude? Your personality is so different than it was just a, a minute ago. <laughs> Say you want to happen to be the big shots who came looking for Gaming, would you? We saw you before. You were hanging out with Gaming, right? Totally hot diggity. What? You remember me. My luck's on fire. There you go. You're nailing that. I heard you two. Heard the two of... I heard you two are the best of the best. I don't know why I wanted to say buds. And there ain't nothing you can't do. Pop on over to the Chini Rock and buy groceries every day. I pop over to, 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 to the Rock and buy groceries every day. And even though it's so close by, I always hear people singing your praises along the way. Nice. She's the best at eating. Ain't, no ain't nothing she can't swallow? That's not true. You try to throw, like, a giant airplane at Paimon, there's no way she's doing anything with that. Slowly. What? <laughs> she is not like, like that one guy. Time. She is not like that one dude. Hey, Paimon's good at stuff besides eating, too. Wait, let Paimon think of him for a moment. What else is she good at? No, Paimon, don't diss yourself. <laughs> don't diss yourself by thinking. No, that's not what I meant! I got it. Can ordinary people float? You're so white, light, and fluffy, like a pigeon, adapt this. Flying alone is amazing. I mean, it should be super easy to carry stuff and make work a cinch. You should help your friend more. <sighs> You're the pigeon adeptus? Oh, it is a pigeon kite. If that's the case. Interesting. 
let's just ignore whether it's even possible for a pigeon to turn into an adeptus for now. Paimon just wants to point out that she's always been helping the traveler. Well, arguably sometimes. Moral support more often. For example, if Ganduf somehow falls from a really high place, Paimon will grab onto him and make sure the fall isn't too painful. Lies. She does not do that. She that would try. She would try. She has never tried. You've never fallen from a great height. Yes, I have. I've died from fall damage accidentally. She has not been there to save my life. That is a bald face lie. Maybe, maybe that's the canonical it. reason of why your character can not die from other fall distances. My body crumples upon the ground. Yeah, I know, but sometimes Every you bone don't in die. My body shatters. The times that you don't, I maybe Paimon... disintegrate into blue dust. Maybe Paimon slows down. I am gone. You can only do so much. I do not exist anymore. Look, there's the no way... The atoms in my body have left reality. How would the freak would Paimon... They packed up and said goodbye to their families. How would that. Paimon pick up Nouvellet? Like, she can only do so much. And yeah, she can pick up the Traveler. Maybe. But you can't catch any of the smaller ones? You should play the Traveler more often. Well, there's smaller characters. She doesn't catch my Nahida when she falls to her death. Maybe it's a great... It's only for certain distances. She can only, like, slow your fall so Does much. She just say to make sure that, you know... She's good! She says place. she's trying! She's was a high place two feet? High feet? No, it's like... For her, can, it is. You can survive, like, a 15-foot fall in Genshin. Maybe, like, 20, 30 feet. You're gonna die after like 40, 50 feet, but you know, till then. Even though Paimon's not strong enough to actually do much lifting, if Paimon really was a pigeon adeptus, she'd give Ganuf Sama a boost while he's using the wind glider and Lies. help him fly higher and farther. No, she's saying if she was. No, she wouldn't. Yes, she would. Wouldn't. You two gotta practice more. Oh, yep. this is you. You two gotta practice more, just like when I practice wushu with Gomeng. The more you practice, the better you'll work together. I forgot how to say that. Report? Report. Ain't easy to build. It just so happens I create a fresh new game. Hold off the press. I just call, just called it Wushu Dance. Wanna get have a go? Just Wushu Dance. <laughs> Not only can you work on your teamwork, you can also learn about the Wushu dance. <laughs> Does it come with a connect? <laughs> hmm. Just Wushu dance? You wouldn't happen to be talking about that big old doll next to you, right? Give it to me. Bingo! Authentic Wushu dance is downright devilish to learn. Even if you got pros showing you the root. The roots? <laughs> The ropes. <laughs> you won't be able to stick with it unless you love it and have got the perseverance to match. So, I'll change the rules for one style of wushu dance. Switched out some props and boom! The game was born. And it's also Lantern right now, yeah? Perfect for helping everyone enjoy themselves and work up an appetite or work off extra calories. Just put on your dancing clothes dance shoes, well, dance an outfit, and see who can grab the most tea bricks. You can dance and bump all of, all over the shop. It's a hoot and a half. That's the multi What is a thing. tea brick? The tea brick, you know, like the bricks of tea that you drop in the water. Sure. I don't know. It sure sounds fun, but Paimon doesn't think she's strong enough to wear such a big outfit and play with other people. But the Traveler really is good at games like this. Paimon will watch and learn from the sidelines first. Terrific. Those tea cakes will be a piece of cake. I'm in pain. <laughs> huh? Pigeon? Uh, Pigeon Adeptus? Will you not be personally participating? A pity. Oh, it's not a problem. Gandalf, Summer, and Paimon will be traveling together for a long time to come. We'll have plenty of chances to level up our teamwork. Also, who's to say Paimon won't learn a bunch about working with Gandalf Sama just from watching? Ha! <laughs> huh, you two sure are close. I'm starting to get a bit jelly. Then please, right this way. Let the dude of legendary deeds step right up and just wushu dance. Pigeon Adeptus, you just sit back and enjoy the show. <laughs> what 
Do the thingy, do the bingy, ba doom ba ba doom. We'll probably do this later, considering I think we have to, um. Considering it's a multiplayer. I think we have to actually look for a group for this one. No, you don't. You can just keep it the randos. Oh, you can? Oh, no, no, but that's what I meant. Doesn't it still take time, or is it like an instant pop? It depends. Gotcha. Uh, that's all that sorted out. Time for the main quest. Indeed. Up New area! Let's go. Area. Uh, You're gonna need to travel. It is 3,000 almost, or almost 3,000 meters away. A mere jog. That is a little more than a mere jog. A mere jog. That would take most people a day. <laughs> Not, we have casually, powers. Casually 3,000 meters. Imagine someone just going like, okay, I need you there in 15 minutes. I'd be like, you Done. what? Do you have a motorcycle? Like an electric bike, a scooter, a car. Do magic. I have something Thank you magic? For magic. I don't think magic works in real life. I don't think you can just teleport. Sadly, I would love what? to. Well, okay. Other than when God does it, yeah, but gonna say. other well, than that, kind of that one, kind okay. Of humanly, that. let me correct that. Humanly, I don't think you can just be like, "Yo, what, what is happening?" The frames, they're dying. Hi. Hi. Who, Who are, are you? you? Nice water dress. Who are you? Fujin. Welcome. One's name is Fujin, the local adeptus, and this is the tiny little teapot realm one calls home for now. That's nice. Huh? We're still doing the delivery just now. How did we suddenly end up? I see. So the paper is used to make kites, yes? Haha. <laughs> I can feel a festive fortune emanating from you. I hope that this sudden inv invitation will not ruin the fun. Nice earrings. Yeah. Eh, well, uh, happy lantern, right? That said, Paimon's not sure this counts as an invitation. Uh, w were we the only ones brought here? Yes, my apologies for worrying your friend. But only the two of you have sur- Have surpassing uh, ca cap- Compatibility! I don't have glasses, I'm sorry. With the local spirit veins, which is why I could only invite you in. Wait, doesn't Gaming have like a spirit animal though? Yeah, but I don't think he's compatible with what fish? Yeah, uh, yeah. Exactly. Also <laughs> strange this isn't voice acted for being a part of it. Yeah, you, you know, know us? us. Yes, your names were carried here by the fish that swim, and I have thus long anticipated your visit. Nice. I love anticipating fish. It is a pity that it is now not quite convenient, else I would have invited you to a tea-tasting banquet. Speaking of which, I am quite sorry, but I have a request to make of you. You still got a delivery to make? You know, like an event quest to do? Kinda busy. Maybe another time? I don't know. Don't look at me like that. Speak, please. Thank you. I presume the two of you have heard of the tea village of Chen Yu Vale. Uh, crud. I don't remember how to. Is that Chiao Ying Village? I don't remember how to say that. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, this land has been famous for its cool, fragrant water since ancient times. The people are of gentle character, and the pristine pebbles in its streams are exquisite. I hear a bot coming. Chiao Ying. Incoming. Precisely. The waters and soil of Chen Yu Vale have begun to change recently, and has an and as has the scent of its tea. The village will inevitably decline should this persist. Well, yeah, if the water quality is dropping, your tea is going to drop, considering you use tea, you use water to make tea. Yeah. One hopes that you two can resolve the disharmony of the soil and water on one's behalf. The water veins are spread across the mountain, but my power is no longer sufficient. Nor is the present a good time for me to move about. Thus, I must rely on your kindness and aid. Uh, I'm assuming that this is actually not a part of the quest. This is just something you get for getting here in the area. The only thing that's confusing about that is if you do this quest later and you're not running the errand with Gaming, because then they refer to an errand that you are probably not going to be doing. Well, unless that just does it differently, because sometimes quests have different dialogue. Sometimes dialogue does change depending what you have well, and have not done. This is all a bit sudden, and we need to finish, uh, need to deliver some goods first. Probably, yeah, that. Oof. Yeah, 
again, we aren't exactly experts when it comes to this stuff. Is there some problem that Gandoof Soma can just solve with lots of violence? Yeah, I am good at that. <laughs> just as I heard, you are quite direct. But fret not, you are clever by nature and should perceive clearly the difficulties you encounter. You can even perform your delivery first. It is no issue. Still not quite getting it, are you? Okay. I think you're actually talking about yourself. Considering the second one says, yep, I get it, no worries. Sure, I understand. Well then, allow me to share some of the adeptal energy dwelling in the mortal world with you, Gandalf Summer, to aid you in traversing the landscape and piercing the fog. Fog? Oh, right. Um, it's nice to meet you. Sure. I love your design. It's very pretty. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, welcome to this place. Or, I mean, welcome to Chen Yu Vale. Also, happy lantern ride to you. Thanks, even though we're just here to deliver some goods by. Okay. <sighs> happy lantern ride. What do you mean, welcome? This was clearly a kidnapping. It was. This was a forceful uh, capture. You'll be hearing See, from now you know what lawyers. Pokemon and Pals feel like. You'll be hearing from my lawyer. <laughs> I'm really sorry, but I'm quite looking forward to meeting you face to face and was. Or I was quite looking forward to meeting you face to face and was rather hoping you two would be magnanimous enough to forgive this improperty. Yes, now that you have been indwelt with my adeptal energy, Gandu Sama, things will become more convenient. What do you mean by that? Now, please try the wonders of said energy for yourself. The what? The what? Oh, Golden Carp Leap. Oh, cool. You you got the you got the Sumeru stuff. That's kind of cool. I dig this. That's a really pretty place. What? Turn into fish. I can cross mountains and forests with ease. Carp jump. Carp jump. I, like I know it's leap, one. but look, carp jump sounds fun. We can talk to her again. What does that do? By the way, Paimon's not sure if this is an appropriate thing to say, but your aura seems a bit different from that of the other Adepti we've met somehow. It's, she's more like the Lady of the Lake, if I'm being honest. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My friends have said similar things before, but surely it's only natural that each individual pers- I mean Adeptus- has an aura of their own. Hmm? Your friends, huh? Uh. They must be formidable Adepti, like Mooncarver or Mountain Shaper. So she's not Adeptus. Unless she's got beef with them? I don't know. I don't know. Yes, that's exactly how it is. It's just that those two friends are probably busy taking care of their own affairs right now. That is why one must leave this business to nursing... Oh, wait. Of nursing the water and soil to the two of you instead. Something's going on here. Uh, still not sure exactly what it is we're meant to do, but, uh, yeah, we'll go take a look anyway. Goodbye. Anyway, whoa, I did it. Ah! Well, Can you hear back? if the golden what? Jeez, guys, where'd you go? One moment you were there, the next you disappeared. You scared the life out of me. Hi, we're so sorry. We were just, uh, uh it's kind of hard to explain. I am. Oh, fair enough. <laughs> well, the mountain road is pretty hazardous, and it's easy to get lost in the fog. So from here on out, stay close to me. Bro, this music. Got it. Let's keep going. So that bit was voice acted. So the other quest line is the side quest. I see. Ooh, that's a pretty shot. Who made the soundtrack for this area? I, I need this to be on iTunes as soon You're as possible. Now. Give me the soundtrack. Give me it. The world opens before you. Ba blah. That is the, the village. village, and there's the mountain. Ooh, cute little fishing area. There's the wharf. Ah! Where's the boss? Probably down there. Oh, that's not even the full area. Nope. Wow, that is a lot. Very compact. Bro, imagine being a new player to Genshin nowadays. Oh, it's fully leveling up. That One more time. Oh. Cool. The fun of having a fully upgraded statue before you grab them all. Or, <laughs> you know, before they're 
you know, done at them all. Yeah, because this is uh, this is Zhang Li's. Hi, I'm just gonna take this off. I'm just gonna take this off. I'm, it's an adamantoise. Settle down. Oh well. <clears throat> Claymore, it is. Forgot it's leeway. It's all about the rocks. The rocks. Bam. There you go. And the turtle wasn't harmed. We just alleviated some weight off of him. We did the epitome of taking a barnacle off a turtle. Don't do that. That is terrible for them. It can hurt them. Yeah, you have to let someone who actually knows how to do that do that because the shell of a turtle is basically... is It's the spine almost, right? It's like I mean, a, it's part, a part of the body. It's a part of the body. Forcefully remove stuff from it, like even barnacles and stuff like that. It can really, really hurt Cause them. Because crabs and things like that, their shells are an exoskeleton. They're the outside and everything. It's like the exact opposite. The fleshy bits are in, the hard stuff's on the out. But then turtles... Yeah, the shell is just a part of their body. So yeah, a lot of people mess with turtle shells, not thinking about that. It's really sad. A mere rock. What? What? Squirrels? Well, anyway, peace. I want to teleport up. Well, bye. That didn't work. Well, bang. Well, bang. You can only put it there. Well, bang. Please return me to my original position. So, on this thing? Yep. What on earth is the point of that? <laughs> I don't know what happened I there. picked it up and I Take put it. it down. I'm assuming that was tutorial. On. You have my is, approval. And who's that character standing on the bridge? Not important. That looked important. Ooh, nope. The docks are just a bit further. One step at a time. Hang in there. They are not a bit further. They are much further. That's uh, like when, it's like, got all the leeway puzzles again, which means rocks. <laughs> you never really were the biggest fan of the rock w trial. What? Wait, and get behind me. I'll handle this. Hi Where there. Are you say, dog. Yeah. Okay, let Gaming do his thing. Man, that vaporize effect is real nice. Uh oh. Not even sure what quite happened. Death. That's what happened. I'm assuming this is Constellation 3. Yeah, I was gonna say. So very nice. Sorry for posing on you like that. You spin dashed him to death. He wants you to pick Gaming as your free character. Seems like we really can't go anywhere without He is actually a lot of fun. Yeah, it's not uncommon for deliveries to get intercepted. That's why this job needs guards like us. I'm always impressed by your moves back there. You seem like a real pro at your job. Indeed. Oh, <laughs> his <laughs> damage is actually kind of nuts the job. for a four-star. It's just a hobby. Just a hobby. What? Have you ever heard of wushou dancing? Mm, yeah, but I don't think it involves wielding a claim war. <laughs> look at that calic. Look at look at that little strand of hair and everything. Just like doing. It happens. I love it. <laughs> I heard about it somewhere. Really? Wushou dancing is famous in Chunyu Vale. I thought I, heard, I, I thought I heard about it. Performers might be invited to promote the opening of a business or to spread good fortune during a holiday season. Cool. But I must admit, it has nothing on the popularity of the Li Yue Opera. Mm. I'm also well aware that people in Li Yue Harbor aren't exactly jumping at the chance to watch Wushou dancing. So. It's not something I do full time. Oh. Yes, game. I, I see the shiny. It, I know you're trying to draw my attention to it, it. That's such a real sentence right there. It's like when you're super passionate about something, but like no one else cares about it. It's a really right. niche thing. Yeah, it's like, yep. Yeah, I think most people can 
Most people like a niche thing. Yeah, I feel like almost every human being has like one niche thing that they're like, I really enjoy Or if you that. don't have one yet, you just haven't found it. Yet. You probably haven't found it yet because there's a it's lot of things. It's really, really niche. The world is a big place. There's a lot of things out there. Mm -hmm. Huh? You have two jobs? How do you have the energy to do all that? Easy. Magic. When money is needed. <laughs> yep. Take as many as you need. <laughs> it's not that tiring. You just have to take a rest. That's one way of saying about it. Yeah. Ah, come about on, it. Kids, about you must sleep a lot then. Not really. Just yesterday I stayed up all night playing cards. Go to bed. <laughs> oh. Uh. Let's go. The docks are just up ahead. <laughs> Boy does not sleep. Cool. is such an interesting character because he does really give me five star energy. He really does. His design is also uh, really good. I think the only thing he's missing is a bit more. He doesn't have as many flowy bits. No game. Unkidnap me. Nah, you've been kidnapped. What? The Ooh. pelican? You bird. Finally, we can rest. Oh, Paimon's shoulders <sighs> are so stiff. And her stomach's so empty. That pelican has antennae. Looks like a bunny. Sorry, sorry. Did I push the pace a bit too much? I mean, you were the ones who said you were travel experts. Dang. Leo is just too hilly. Floating up and down so much. Where's Paimon out? Oh, Paimon was finally satisfied, and now her poor stomach's <laughs> empty again. That naturally Aww. happens over time. Would you like some winter melon cake? I have some on me that I bought from a store. Uh, you might want to pace yourself there, or you'll be too full to eat a proper meal later. Paimon never gets too full. Just like... Oh, just like you apparently never get tired, no matter how far you walk or how many jobs you work. Ah, I see. Then here you go, Paimon. And for you, Traveler. Enjoy. Thank you. When someone's and being here's unreasonable... here's for you too, Uncle Bosu. Don't think I forgot about you, my friend. I'll just set it to the side here for you. Like how when you deal with someone unreasonable, you just have to be unreasonable in the same way they are. Exactly. And then suddenly the logic works. It does. Gaming seems like a real people person. You can get along Whoa, with anyone. That hit the spot. I didn't do that. It just automatically plays as it's going, going further along. Got it. <laughs> that close of a call, huh? huh? What? I've been eating winter melon cake ever since I was a kid. You can buy them from all sorts of places. Whether it's a small vendor on the side of the road or a big restaurant in the city. But each place produces cakes with a slightly different That's flavor. That's pretty. Quite. If you like these ones, I can give you the address of the shop I bought them from. I'll just have to check when we get back. <laughs> oh, oh, all my jabbering must be making it difficult for you to enjoy the scenery in peace, huh? Don't be afraid to tell me to zip it for a little while, okay? Really, I won't be offended. <laughs> Okay, Paimon is kind of enjoying listening to your chitter chatter. Mm hmm. It can be enjoyable. Aww, a fed Paimon is a happy Paimon, huh? Yep. <laughs> mm hmm. Hey, Paimon can be in a good mood anytime she wants! Hmm? Need some fresh bamboo? Slowly. <laughs> it was there for a moment. Pause and read. Unlike us. Don't forget your things and uh, watch your step as you get off the raft or you're in for a swim. Look at those trees. What? Thanks for the ride, Uncle Bosu. You take care of yourself now. I'll see you some other time. Okay, follow me. This way is fastest. We'll have to take the elevator up to the secure transport agency. I am Manor? really liking Gaming, Gaming's character. I love this mm -hmm. type of character. Well, it also helps that he's um, callous. Yeah. The whole people person vibe. Yeah, no, I get that. That's He's definitely nailing it. That which is just funny because. Actually, no, he does talk quite a bit in Star Rail. No, he talks a lot in Star Rail. He's got a deeper voice usually, though. Mm -hmm. The voice he's using for Gaming is more of his jokey voice. His silly goober voice. Yeah, so that's his normal voice as Gaming, <laughs> which is interesting. What is that? That is a carp jump spot. 
Let's see. Can we dive into the water here? Nope. Ah, oh, that feels wrong. <gasps> Denied. It is Fontaine only. Ah, uh, it is only Fontaine. Sad. Too bad. I guess that would be weird going to the future where like some places you can dive and some you can't. And this is an elevator. You're gonna get Crush me. squished. Just like the days of WoW. The days of WoW. No, you just phase through the bottom. Actually, exactly. do, will this kill you? How does Genshin do it? I don't know. Wait, is this not an elevator? Nope. This, oh, it is like WoW. Actually, nope. It's better than WoW. Because in WoW, you have to jump. Because if you don't, you're just phasing through the floor. And it doesn't register that your model is above the elevator, and so you can just miss it. Yeah. I wish it worked like how it did right there, because then you could walk away. Because sometimes elevators in World of Warcraft, this is me, oh. I haven't played WoW in years, but back in the day, when I was a back teenager, in my day. Uh, I remember you had to like wait, and some elevators take forever, and you can't skip it, and you just have to sit there going like, okay, any moment now. Any moment. I easily could go off and make myself a sandwich or something, but nope. No, you gotta be there to jump. Hunting. What is it? No one's gonna try any funny business when the street is this packed, right? What? What's happening? What's up, dude? Why gumming sound skittish? I don't know. Are you scared of your oh, employer? Well, uh, how should I put it? Depends on who the employer is. Do you see that group of people over there? Which one? Those are my relatives. I feel you! Yeah, no, I <laughs> makes perfect sense now. Wow, you sure have a big family. Once they start buying things, they won't stop perusing till it gets dark. Oh, this is bad. They're your family, not your arch enemies. What's there to be afraid of? Everything. Unless... Oh, did you do something horrible to them? No, it's not that. I'm just not that good at dealing with my family. I I mm. I could I can relate to that in some cases. It would be best if we could steer clear of them. I'll explain more when we have the chance, but right now we've got a job to do. Every everyone I feel like everyone has that like the the family members where you you click with and you're like really good friends with them and you always laugh and you love getting together and then you've got that part of the family where you're like I don't understand them they're super different I feel kind of weird whenever I'm around them because I just so I feel so out of place and yeah I get that gaming I get that I was at the sneak by mm, the left side looks pretty packed let's go straight also I didn't say this but this city's gorgeous yeah. Wins the race. Stealth. Yep, just pretend like you're buying something. Because that is how stealth works. Hot choo! Did you just jump for a fake sneeze? No. I'm trying to Hello, get relatives! Stick close, traveler. Okay. Were they, they your grannies? Daniel, I'm gonna do Stick this in our next. Gomings, Gramps, and Granny. Bro, I'm gonna do this in our next family get together. I'm gonna be like, whenever Daniel like tries to like sneak away, I'm gonna be like, hey, look, Daniel's leaving the room. If you do that, a price will be paid. A price will be paid. What the heck? Who are you? An I aunt. Oh, let's wait here for a second. Maybe my aunt will leave. Do do. Be real. <laughs> that ability is so silly. I think it's decent, but it looks so ridiculous. It looks quite ridiculous. Water gun! Boop, boop, boop. It's like whenever you were a kid and you thought you could control like water or something. This is the moment in The Lion King, just as the kid, cat doing this. And then the big roar happens, but it's just new the let's actual cannon. Yeah, there you go. Instead of Moose, uh, instead of Simba roaring and Mufasa being behind him and roaring actually, it's, it's Traveler and New Valette. Traveler's like, water beam, and pfft. It's like, how did I do that? The power. <laughs> wow, you guys are good. I'm impressed. Thanks. That was nothing. It was a piece of cake. Oh, winter melon cake to be exact. <laughs> um. You really liked it, huh? Ooh, you know what? I'll buy you a whole bunch and pile them so high you can swim in them. Hmm, what? As long as you don't wind up drowning, Paimon. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Uncle Drigway. 
These are my friends, the Traveler and Paimon. Jigwe. They deliver some goods with me. So I guess I'll go ahead and take these over to Uncle Yong's on then. Yes. <laughs> Thanks for your hard work. <laughs> I should thank I... you both for your trouble as well. Please take a seat and rest for a bit. I'll prepare some tea. Hmm? I really need to take like a week or two and just study some basic Chinese pronunciation. Mm. Honestly, that would do me so much good. No need. We'll be off soon anyway. Cat. <gasps> yes. Mm -hmm. I'm prepared. She's licking my feet. No. Are you kidding me? Hi, baby. You puppies. You know, sister, you can do that to me too, you know. That was torture, dude. I had to do everything in my power to not kick my mic. That tickled so bad, little girl. Hi. Why did you just walk up and do that? <laughs> this is our, uh, a regularly scheduled a cat break. Give us a moment, guys. Just itching a cat. Hi. How are you? The cat demands a masseuse. <laughs> yep, it's that you're not, you haven't given me attention in over an hour. Hey, we're already here, aren't we? No harm in taking a load off for a bit. Let's do Plus, it. Plus, I know the Secure Transport Agency has some great Songwa tea stash around here somewhere. I promise you, one sip and you'll be hooked. Mm. <clears throat> anyway, you just sit down and relax, Uncle Jirgwe. Who would I be if I just sat here and let you go through all this trouble? Leave this to me. Now I want a cup of chai. Mm -hmm. Tail, don't, don't dream. Don't dream mm. about food and drinks. You'll, mm. you'll get lost. I have to be up and about to drop these goods off anyway. What's a little extra time on my feet? Oh, you aren't too picky, right, Traveler? I know Paimon prefers things on the sweeter side, so I won't steep the tea too long. And I'll add some dim sum pastries on the side. Hello, baby. <laughs> She's like, I have all of Josh's attention right now. Yep, yeah, she does. That's how cats be. <sighs> and as soon as I don't give her attention, she's, she's gonna start licking me. And it's gonna tickle real badly. Okay, Dan, we need to get back into it. I know, I know. Budgie is so cute. She is, she is. She deserves all the attention. Yeah, people, be, uh, person, people, persons. Uh, just met him. Oh, not long at all. We just kind of tagged along on his trip to Yulong Wharf. He's just a super welcoming guy. We became friends, you know, just like that. That's kind of like the secret to um, anyone who's a people person, honestly. It's just they're really good at studying your mannerisms, and they're able to pick up certain things about you just by, you know, chatting with you or watching you just for a quick little amount of time and stuff and and that's how they become so social they know what to do and say <laughs> that's just how he is he's the attentive sort really knows how to look after his own maybe uh -huh. just sit down maybe just ago, do autoplay if you're guards had to take <laughs> off work said his joints were hurting due to the rain Aww. Gaming personally went all the way to Boo Boo Pharmacy to get some medicine for him from Dr. Baiju, then traveled through the night to deliver it back to him. Aww. That young man has such a good head on his shoulders. How can mm -hmm. anyone not love him? I mean, that is true. His there design is, is great. Dad, his character is amazing. And his kid's good. Well, ask anyone else. And... Uncle Yongzan says he doesn't have the personnel to spare for this delivery right now. So, what do you think, Uncle Jirigui? Should I go ahead and deliver it instead? You want to? <sighs> it feels like we've troubled you enough already. It's kite-making materials, though. Could be for a kid. I'm sure the sender wants it delivered before Lantern Ray. Oh, uh, by the way, here, have some tea. Mmm. Invigorates your spirit. Then. 
Deliver it if you want to. Ooh, are you free in two days? How about we grab some dim sum from Shinya Kiosk? My treat, and don't even think about trying to pay. Oh, thank Whoa, you. That's way too generous of you. Uh, don't mention it. Just think of this as a thank you for all your help. Besides, the thing between me and my family, it's a long story. It might take some time to tell. Mm. Sounds good! Paimon never says no to free food. Yeah, I can't argue with that. <laughs> See you there. All right, then I'm off. See you in two days. Oh, and Paimon, make sure not to eat too much before then. Don't say I didn't warn you. Oh, boy. Is he underestimating Paimon? <laughs> She's just gonna have to show him how much she can really eat. Of course, yes. Anyway, uh -huh. is Gomin's family situation really that I'm worried for you, Paimon. I don't want to have to lug you out. He has such a happy-go-lucky personality. Plus, he's an enthusiastic and diligent worker. It's hard to imagine a guy like that being troubled by much. Family would do it. Hmm. How should I put it? Since he already plans to tell you himself, you don't need an old man like me to add my two cents. You seem to be around the same age, so you might have a lot in common. Are we around the same age as him? I don't think we are. It depends. In game, obviously. It depends, yeah. Perhaps you could help him talk things through. Consider it a favor to me. Sure, I'll if try. If you have the time, maybe you can make a little flag for us to wave about. It can say, we provide aid in spades. Couldn't hurt to advertise our services, right? Well, I can certainly arrange that. Is there anything else you wanted to say? Wait, seriously? Paimon was just joking. But if you're going to get us something, she'd much rather have winter melon cake instead. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, seems like Gomming really has rubbed off on you. <laughs> Would you like some more tea? I think there's some left. Nice. Maybe they'll have ones you can't find in Leo Harbor. Not a bad idea. All right, then. Please do let me know if you'd like more tea. You're welcome to stay as long as you like. What a cutie. Yeah. Coming is a good kid. I just wish he could reconcile with his family. Oh. You're around the same age, so he might listen to you. Please talk things through with him. Oh, Man, wait. This city is so pretty. That's not the end of part one. Something's gonna happen in the wharf. Mm -hmm. Well, it's just us getting introduced to the city. Okay. Who's gonna show up, I wonder? I'm just sad that this event's gonna disappear and this little introduction bit won't be here. I really hope Genshin somehow implements their older quests into the game somehow. I don't know if that's possible, though. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what are you doing here? Oh! Hey. Hi! The way you speak, one might have presumed you are displeased to be in one's presence. Never. Greetings, Cloud Retainer. Or should we call her by her human name? Probably the human name. Take note, Paimon. You could learn a thing or two about how to respect your elders. See, I was raised as a gentleman. Ugh, starting on the elder stuff already, huh? Paimon. Shouldn't you be back in your cave tinkering away at some kite-related thingamabob or something? What makes you out here? Actually, I don't know who's older between Cloud Retainer or Paimon. That implies that we know the age of Paimon. We have freaking no clue. No, that's what I meant by I don't know. Yeah. And what's with that huge box next to you? Ah! Luggage. Paimon gets it. You're here to do some shopping, aren't you? Cinder, I want to hug you and squeeze you. But I will refrain from now. <laughs> For now. And what of it? The Chishing's decision to integrate Fontanian technology into said kite flying competition is of no consequence to oneself. Wow, she's so upset by it that she's moved to a different town for now. Did you expect one to willfully compete against the whimsical trends of worldly sentiment, or perhaps even fall to petty sulking over such? You appear to be sulking. Um, it's not that we think those things exactly. That's just 
what Mountain Shaper and Moon Carver told us. Or Chia something and Ho. Oh. Paimon can't be bothered to remember what their aliases were called. Anyway, they went to Liyue Harbor to look for you. They even asked us to pass along their regards if we ran into you. Oh, huh. Tianyun? Huh. Did she forget about them? Oh, it appears time has quite flown since one's arrival in Liyue Harbor. How could one have forgotten about those two old she's fossils? She's just... She's just swept up. <sighs> one shall have to bring them back some divine herbs to atone for this slight. Nay, given that one has ventured all this way to Yilong Wharf, tea would be more advisable. Mm-hmm. It happens. A great thought has you know. illuminated one's mind once again. One is reminded that certain purchases have yet to be made. Yep. Perhaps you two could wait here whilst one performs this task. It'll be but a moment. Hey, you should adopt coming. Huh? Wait here? You really just gonna ditch us here to watch your stuff? Dang. Oh, that woman really just does whatever she wants. I mean, I don't know. I have, I've known a lot of people it, it's a, it's a form of trust if they're like crap i have to do something watch this for me that's actually a huge compliment that means they trust you to watch their things which in this day and age is a massive massive compliment well i'll leave the stuff watching to you hey, no, no don't just traveler. wait why why would you try to grab her Well, too bad, Paimon. I'm paying attention to a cat right now. Uh -huh. hey, more important things to worry about. Well, more like being rejected by a cat. But, you know, that's a different thing entirely. No, I have not. The cat is just doing cat things. I haven't been rejected. Uh-huh. That, that is some hard coping over there. No, it's not. Please don't pull that cord, by the way. <laughs> She's sitting on the, uh, the face cam cord. So, so if, the if we freeze... If there's a sudden cut, you'll know why. You'll know why. Okay, Paimon. Paimon doesn't want anyone to try and steal the stuff. Welcome. Please have a look around. We only sell teas of the finest quality, sourced directly from Chaoying Village. Might I recommend the Songlo variety? It's one of our specialties. Now that sounds promising. One will bring some back for those old fossils, and all will be well. Hopefully. Two boxes will do. Wonderful. By the way, oh, we're actually running a special lantern right promotion. Buy three boxes, get 10% off. Four boxes will net you 20% off. Mm. No, don't do it. Don't, don't, do it. Mm. don't fall for this. 20% off four boxes. This merchant strikes a fair bargain. One might as well give some to Morax and Ping, too. You know, actually, that, sure. That's fair enough. Why not? Then four shall suffice. But if you order six to seven. Hmm, I see. Are you intending to give these as gifts? If so, perhaps I can interest you in these exquisite gift sets. Buy ten, get half off. This guy's good. I think it's more of he sees an easy mark. Yeah. Look at the magnificent design. And the red ribbon gives quite the festive flair, don't you think? Such a gift would be sure to impress any lucky friend or family member. You know this works, though. You I know. Ten boxes. Seems rather excessive. But if one factors in the conqueror of demons and one's disciples... Yeah, no, you've got enough. That's ten. Hmm. Ten! A nice round number, don't you think? Of course you do. I'll even shave a little extra off the price for you. I hate that. I hate that. Of course you do. Shut up. <laughs> don't you think? Don't, don't tell me what I think. Uh, so you don't like him? No, no, no. I think this no, guy is. I think this guy is doing a great job and everything. I just, I've been in so many situations where someone's like, "Let me tell you what to think." I think you think this. It's like, what? I don't. I'm still trying to figure out what to do with all that this. That is agreeable. One will. Um, I will have these boxed up then. Actually, oh, she's learning. She's learning. But in most of the situations like this that I found myself in, usually when they're like, so what are you, are you gonna buy? I'm usually like panicking no. on how to figure out how to run away as fast as possible. Give me one. It's like, I just want one, dude. But you can buy, no. You can buy 20. No, no, I want one. Give me one. Give me one. Give me one or I buy none. <laughs> Basically. Of course, of course, right away. 
Oh, he spots an easy mark as well. Oh boy. I see you have quite the eye for fine items, mademoiselle. Uh oh. Perhaps some of my wares might also be of interest to you. Oh crap. Don't try it, Fontaine boy. I'm a toy merchant from Fontaine. You'll get nothing but the finest and most intricate clockwork toys Mora can buy here. Each one sure to be a source of endless amusement. Sir, you have a clock and a typewriter. <laughs> Those are not toys. Oh, it depends how you look at a typewriter, I guess. Hmm. Typewriters are... I guess you They're like cl clacking on keys, I guess. Bro, as a kid, I loved getting those like old typewriters and just smashing buttons. It was satisfying. <laughs> Perhaps you could enlighten me then. When should said amusement be derived? Ow. Oh. Well, uh, that is, of course, best understood by playing with them yourself. If you could wait just a moment, I can bring one out and give you a demonstration. Man knows he's already losing ground. Yep. <laughs> What's happening? She sensed us. Nope. Uh, there is no need for that. Uh-oh, she's not buying. Uh, mademoiselle. Give me your newest and finest model, and be sure to package it securely. What? Hmm? Ah, of course. Here you go. What? What? The instruction manual is... I can do without. Thank you. <sighs> Many watchful eyes surround this place. If one were to be spotted purchasing a mechanical toy such as this, a child's plaything no less, it would only invite scandal. Wow, that is some old school thinking right there. Because uh, nowadays, I don't think that would be an issue. For even in Genshin's world, I don't think that's an issue. There is no harm in bringing it back to study in secret. Un okay, okay, unless you're buying it for yourself. Here, here I thought you were buying it for the new little girl that you have, but... Nope, never mind. Now she can make them toys herself. That's true. She don't need to buy no store-bought one. Handcrafted goods. Or squat. There's a head back before she notices. Someone's above us? No? No. Oh. The cameraman oh, was. Oh, Xianyan, did your shopping go smoothly? Cameraman <sighs> needs a raise. Naturally. One may not delight in social interactions, but that does not mean one lacks said faculties. Mm. Seems like she is easily swayed into buying things. That box looks fit to burst already. And you too? Are you not here to purchase things? Uh, no. We just haven't had time yet. It doesn't look like there are any kite stalls around Elong Wharf. But it does look like there are lots of goods from Fontaine. You are also planning to participate in the kite flying competition then? I guess. Maybe. <clears throat> One means to say, you along with all the other youths. One has been entreated to share one's kite-making expertise. And indeed, there was little one could do about such persistent supplication. One moment energetic and earnest, and dejected the next. <laughs> one had no choice but to acquiesce to these requests. And thus, one will be organizing a kite-making workshop to provide personal instruction in this art form. Never mind, you are helping. Oh, who will be participating then? Shuyu, Shenhe, Ganyu, and Yayo. Can we volunteer one more? Wait, is... Wow, that's quite a few people. Is Yayo also a disciple of hers? She does uh, a... Yayo she, is she, a disciple of Madame Ping. Yeah, yeah, because spear and technique mm -hmm. and... They're both... Right, Madame Ping does spear stuff. Yeah, she also taught a uh, uh, girl that's with Guoba. Oh, Xingling? That's her. Right, Madam Ping's the spear user. Do you think we'll get Madam Ping next year? Um, that'd be <laughs> sick. I would love a playable Madam Ping. That'd be so cool. That would be cool, but I don't know if they'd do that. Also, this is all pretty well, Xin Yun, but it's not like you have to make your own kite to participate in the competition. You can't just buy one ready made and call it a day. Well, where's the fun in that? <laughs> You speak of those equipped with the mechanical lifting device, do you not? <sighs> Tis nothing but a crude piece of mortal machinery. Oh, because you could do so much better. I didn't see any of the mechanical things on any of them, so I have no idea how to reference or compare. The mechanism that one has developed was the fruit of millennia, of meticulous study. 
Let us not speak of the source of the mechanism's power, but rather its structure. Wait, but I want to talk about the source now. Yeah, how's it powered? It is composed of materials as light as bamboo and as strong as iron. This mm. composition grants it the lightness of weight to ascend into the sky and the durability to follow the wind for many a mile. It is built with a series of intersecting rods that... <sighs> Never mind. It is unlikely the two of you will understand, even should one expend the effort to explain. One is better off saving one's breath. Kind of true, I guess. Yeah. I don't really know much about kites. It sure seems like you want to talk about it, though. <laughs> Paimon, can... So, will you be attending the <laughs> workshop or not? Huh? Wait, you've been trying to invite us this entire time? Of course. Seems interesting. All right, then. No need to prepare the materials in any case. One has it all sorted. Nice. Arrive at Mount Outsong in two days. I shall be expecting you around midday. Are you leaving? Don't you want a guide to help you with that big box of yours? I think she can take care of herself. <laughs> Surely you jest. One goes as one pleases. For what reason would one need to rely on another? Bird is strong. What can we say? Oh, or just... Magic. Yeah, magic. That too. Yeah. <laughs> A good one? A uh, convenient one. One calls it the floating toting device. I like that name. Sure. I really <laughs> like that. She seems pretty proud of that one. Oh, yes. Look at her walk down the street. She seems so confident. But everyone around her is looking at her all funny. Paimon wonders... Uh, never mind. But anyway... That box of hers seems to be full of those mechanical lifty thema bobs. Uh, not that Paimon was peeking or anything. Mm -hmm. She just, uh, got mm -hmm. a bit unsteady for a second and accidentally you know, brushed the embroidery on top. Cloud Retainer would get along with Klee's mom. Probably. Uh, honestly, they're both inventors. Yeah. Terrifying. And wouldn't you know it, all the stuff inside almost came bursting out. Paimon even went out of her way to keep it all together. Oh, Paimon, what will we do about you? All Paimon say is that Shen Yun sure does try hard to save face. What did she call it again? A crude piece of mortal machinery? Mortal Paimon machinery. Paimon she just can't wait to oh. take it apart and see how it's made. Maybe. Maybe that's what it she does wants. sound like something she'll do. 100%. Totally. We should probably act like we didn't see anything, though. You know, yes. in consideration of her feelings and all. Yes, probably. After all, that is the propriety with which one should comport oneself when it comes to an elder, right? Well. Paimon, that was so sassy. What the heck? Man, this place is really pretty. It is. Look at that. Look at that shot with the sun going down. Okay, and that is part one. Now we must talk to that person. Where the freak are they? Hello? I'm sorry, where? Where are you? Oh, we get a gift for doing it. Sweet. Oh, we're waiting. Oh, okay. In fact, uh, I'm sure you will teleport somewhere safe and do that. Yeah, go ahead and do that. So I don't get kidnapped into a cutscene and I can actually see where it wants me to go. <laughs> Oh my eye! Oh! Oh, I've just, I've just, I've just go. You just impale your eye. Yes. You okay? Oh, I just, I don't know if I rubbed an eyelash in it or what. Ooh. Oh, it just, oh. Yeah, whatever you do, don't rub your eyes. You can I, I had like, I don't know, I just had like a weird irritation, and I was like, oh, I'll just, you know, I'll just rub that. Nope. Nope. Not a good idea. No, I just made it infinitely worse. I've <laughs> never had dim sum at Shinyue Kiosk before, but it should be quite the feast for sure. Nice. Well. Ooh, and that's why I'm on stomach right on cue telling her it's time to go find Gami. Let's go. Let's do it. What'd you want to? Oh, so no, I went wow. Because as you were rotating around this place, this almost looks like the, um, uh, not this water area, but uh, the grass and the steps looks like the uh, almost same thing as, um, or the same scenery setting as the tree in Mondstadt. Just 
for half a second when you were spinning, you were your camera was face down and you couldn't see the water and everything. And I was like, hold up. I thought we were in Monset for a second. And then you panned up and water. I was water. like, wait. Water jump scare. Because when you got to that point, there was no tree. And I'm like, wait, hold up. What? Where does it want us to go for that quest? It wants us probably to go to the... No, it wants us to go back to the harbor. Really? I kind of wanted to... Explore the new area more. We're probably coming back. I wonder where the boss is. Uh, probably in that area right there. You'll probably just, mm. just well, grab I a mean, point. Yeah. If you huh? grab a point and stuff and travel south, you could probably find it. I'm gonna do that. I want to see the new area, because I don't know if it's gonna take us over. It probably will, but, you know. I think the quest will mo most likely have us actually fight the new boss. Oh, uh, will it? I'm assuming, isn't that like the whole thing with Gaming and everything? Oh, I guess. Unless I it guess. doesn't, I, I, the, the live stream made it seem like he had ties to it. I mean, it's based off the thing, but I guess we can wait then. Oh, no, no, you can go for it. Do it. Oh, At least get the travel point. We can wait. Make it easier for us in the future. Wow, this place is pretty. What the freak is this path? Hold up. Gorgeous. What the what? Darling, you're gorgeous. <laughs> you're gorgeous, darling. You're darling, Wait. you're gorgeous. I, I've already said this once in this video. But I must do it again. The soundtrack to this area. Uh, we have new music for the like wilderness bit, and we have music for the town bit. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. I like the new uh, area designs they're going with. Yeah, I like the big catalyst looking thing right here. Mm. Gateway. Well, not just that, but how... Fontaine looks and how now this place looks as well. I really like it. I'm liking the colors. The water. Colors are popping. Colors are popping. No swimming though. No swimming. Oh wait, I can't teleport Big sad. to the thing out in the water. That's weird. Oh wait, I just realized. Considering you're carp jumping. Wait, what wait. are you doing? Oh no no. Dale, it was actually shorter to go the other way. No, Dale, you. <laughs> what? You said it was shorter to go to the other way. Yeah, but you've already spun around. You gotta, you gotta commit! Oh my eye. Flip! Shower me with praise. I'm being attacked oh, from all oh. angles. Wait, I forgot up. how convenient Farina is. Wait, why didn't you do this first? I forgot. Whoa, what? Wait. Bush. What in the, what? R1? Oh. Uh, whoa, whoa, frame rate. Yeah, the frame rate is slightly dying here. It doesn't know how to take the whole traversing thing. Oh well. Yeah. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Well convenience the whole process and just walk. There it is. Right up oh, there. Oh, never mind. It's more convenient to go this way. New mechanic. Yeah, I wonder what the dialogue for that quest will be when the uh, lantern rite's over. Because it, a lot of the things she said had something to do with lantern rite. Can't blast into that thing. A goat. What? In the Get back here! No, that's gone. The cocoa goat is gone. No. Well, I'm sure that is important. For later. For later, maybe, maybe. Many chests and many primos everywhere. Whole lot of new collectibles to grab and explore and complete. And to lose. And to lose? Track of. Oh, and to lose track of. Grab everything then. Except sometimes it's easier to lose things. Oh, you're waiting to, uh, you're waiting to, um, just go for the completion of thing. Got it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, not even I that forgot, that yeah. grabbing primos as well. I forgot, yeah. Daniel does prefer, so whenever we're recording this, if you guys ever notice us miss something or skip something, it's it's actually because it's sometimes just easier to not mess with things, and then... And then you can just keep track of where you've been and where you have them. Yeah, because back in the day, we used to grab... Almost everything we saw, but then like skip. If you ever wonder why on earth I have so many uncollected waypoints in Fontaine, that is the reason why. Because every Dan collected point I have is an area that I have explored, like to completion, and I've checked everything around it. Keep, just keeping this blank lets me know that this area here is something I can still check out. Yeah, it just helps for completionists because I think mental notes. Dan Dale, you've almost completed a lot of Genshin's older areas, right? How about yeah? Except for uh, 
Like not Fontaine, but like Leeway and Mondstadt and Inazuma. Inazuma, you... I've basically done completely, except for this place. Oh yeah, the that quest line. Stream. We'll get back to that someday. <laughs> uh, and no. Mondstadt's easy enough. Mondstadt is probably the easiest of them all. No, oh, this was before I started. You know, you haven't done the I Spire have area. Huh, I I have run around this area so many different times. It's probably including like this. Yeah, right you're here. like you're seventeen percent off because I have gone around in circles of this place here trying to find everything I've missed so many different times. I just can't find anything new. Rip. And I haven't completely done Fontaine, even though as you've seen, I have explored wow, quite a bit of it. Gotten quite a few things. Well, the things I haven't gotten here are involved with quest lines, like the girl with the painting and the Melusine area. Over and that here. all counts. That all counts. Okay, so that's a completionist thing. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting how that all goes into it. Ooh, music. Oh, there's Simaru. Yep. There's the tree. There's Fontaine. And in between, there's this little bit that doesn't exist. Right there. So, this'll be coming sometime soonish, most likely. Or they may leave it for now. They may return to it one day, like a year from now. Uh, but Fontaine's fashion thing is gonna be probably next, since Chiari's our character? Probably. So I got a collectible. Spirit Carp. Oh no, new spirit currency. Carp. Whatever that means. Man, Genshin sometimes Please puts- Please just let me collect this. Nope. It's this- This game sometimes puts old, like, MMO grindy things to shame. Cause like, I feel like with WoW, you'd get like a new currency maybe every like two to three patches. And then those patches are not like MiHoYo patches. World of Warcraft patches back in the day were like months. Too long sometimes. Like you would, yeah, no, the final patch of every expansion would go for like a year and then the new expansion would come out. Cause there would always be like a break mm -hmm. year for Blizzard to go develop stuff. This is back when Blizzard was yeah. really good. Uh, it's less grindy, more just collectible. It, the yeah, game no. Is open world, so they gotta do something. I didn't mean it in that way. I meant it in the fact that how many currencies Genshin has, like how many new currencies and like mm -hmm. reputation things. Because every new patch, I feel like has a new thing. It's a new thing to work towards because once you have all the oculi, not really anything else to get mm -hmm. other than stamps. Yeah. <sighs> well, and these collectibles oh. give people interesting. These collectibles. Oh well, there's the boss. Also give people something to do, say, because if you're not, again, we've talked about this in the past, but if you're not making content on everything and recording everything. If you're just like, casually playing the game, you can actually breeze through it. The stories, yeah, I feel like you could, you could probably beat every patch story in like a day or two, depending on how crazy your work and school hours are. Because if we, if I, if I was doing this casually, I could actually. You could probably sit down I for a day and just be like, oh, I'm done. This. Yeah, you could sit down. So, like, then the currencies and the grindy more bits in Genshin Actually, are there to pad it out. Since we're here, and this is kind of also our introduction oh, to the Oh, fight area, the- I'm gonna yeah, fight the fight boss! That cat. Were you thinking about not doing it? What is in my eye? I was thinking of not doing it, but you know what? Gosh darn it, I Just want do to. it. If you have to do it again for the questline, whatever! What is in my eye?! Your eyeball. Shine down! Listen here, smart Alex! After you kill this boss, I'm gonna rinse my eye out. Okay, now I'm not gonna be able to do this in the time limit. Oh well. <laughs> Ooh, pretty. Ooh, like little little cavernry, cavernry, cap, cavernry bit. Yeah, what the freak? I couldn't English for something there. Actually, I'm gonna be doing this. Let's do it in top form. Fighting a mythical creature. It's a grindable boss. Because everyone knows that's how mythical creatures work. Naturally. Whoop. Yo. Challenge You're so failed. pretty. You are pretty. Very beautiful looking boss. Ancient and arena. Oh, well, the crabs are starting to fight. There is no escape. Wow, you're vicious looking. Ow. May want to absorb you and give me a thing. The time is very interesting. Did it miss? I guess it missed. Huh. Okay, yeah, you're you're pretty resistant to water. Oh, that was a cute little splash attack. Illusion 
You're gonna wanna probably mainly Nahida this one. Yep. Temple of Wisdom, what is this? Use what in this? Whoa! Oh, Got you. That hurt. You're gonna wanna absorb. Yep. Luckily, that's basically a full heal. Ooh, cool. Oh, very cool. Very deadly! I'm gonna have to rely on Newblet being my tank for this. Yeah, we're gonna have to do this slow and steady. The problem with some of your bursts is I cannot see what is happening. Get destroyed, nerd! You're gonna Actually need to reapply, it. yeah. And you're dead. Cat slice. Cat slice. Kitty cat slice. Boop, 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 boop. Boop. Okay, that was not too bad. We took ignore the fact that we almost died. But for our first time doing it, not bad, not bad. Half of the well. problem with that was the half the attacks I couldn't even freaking see with all of our uh with the between the Nahida and the uh the Farina effects going on in the screen. I was like, what the freak is happening? No, it's totally easy enough to see everything. You, dude, what, someone needs to make a team with all the characters in the game that like cloud your uh, UI. Just like the most intensive effects. So like uh, Kazuha alt, uh, probably Nahida, maybe uh, Nahida, depending on the area. I know I'm missing the giant thing there. Giant Edge. thing? What thing? I've seen it on some people, but if you do a quest line, you get like a nice tree. Right there? Oh! Is that the desert thing? I think that's one of the desert things. Oh yeah, that's the one that uh, I think has something to do with the past uh, Fontaine Archon? I think it's this one cool area? Yeah, it's that place. Yeah, 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 that one. This area gives me such old WoW vibes. I actually really am sad we didn't... Uh, we were. Yeah, we didn't really... Else. We didn't... I, what were, were we... What no, were we, we doing at the time? We only came to that place when we started Fontaine. Yeah, I wonder what uh, we were doing during this patch. Came up. I think either family some or game a game or life stuff happened. Something happened, and we just it had to have been a life thing because I don't know what it would have been gaming. Because Elden Ring was two years ago. That's crazy to think about, right? But anyway, yeah, I guess uh, with that, ladies and gentlemen. I think that is going to be the end. No, the end of this part. We're not ending. This is just transitioning. See you in a second. We're going to look different. It's cooking. It is very hot in this room today. So today you guys get to watch us play through this event and cook alive because it's Ooh. hot in here. A bit too hot. Oh my goodness. Spring is around the corner. I'm so excited. <laughs> no. It's yeah, it's almost here, Daniel. It's already hot. It's here. It needs to be colder. Almost. No, it needs, it needs to be, be warmer. Cool. No. Yes. Oh, you're here early. I just ordered. The food should be out in a second. Uh, sit down. Sit down. All right. Let's all take a seat. Here, hand me your cups. Oh, that was not transition, but. Oh, thank you. Thanks. <clears throat> Wait, uh, uh, you weren't supposed to drink that, Paimon. What? That's very concerning. What do you mean by that? And also, I am so. Do you need a water? I haven't been. Yeah, Dale's been learning how to do certain things with computer programs, and because of that, he has. Kind of just become a potato soaking in s sunlight. And I've forgotten how to, to drink water. You forgot how to drink water? Well, that's really bad. You should tell the farmer off for that. I should. <laughs> that was for you to rinse your utensils. Mmm. Ah, uh, yeah, some places do this. Yeah, or hands. They have, like, water for your hands. Uh, that's a thing? Yes. Yep. Not everyone knows that. It's good to know, though. So then you don't accidentally drink it. Yep. Because people will look at you. 
Well, it's like wash. It's like why did you just? Why did you just drink your cleaning stuff, bro? What? Well, because a lot of people don't know that. Because at one point in my life, I almost did the exact same thing. Because some place did that that I was at. See, and that's why if you start doing it, you just gotta. You just gotta be like, I meant to do that. I meant to do that. Just, just play it off. <laughs> Power move. <laughs> And just when you think that all the dishes have been delivered, the hostess brings over a generous bowl of seafood con con kanji. Con kanji? I don't know. <laughs> kanji. Con Ooh, kanji. Wow, so much delicious food. Do you really eat all this just for breakfast? It's, moment it's moments like this that I really wish Genshin had a button to hide the text. Because th I don't think they do, to my knowledge. Do they? I tried, like. Triangle or you could try. What is it in Star Rail? Because Star Rail has a button to do that uh, on console. I don't do that on console. So oh flip. I don't know. Triangle. Hit like no. start. Nah. Okay. Whatever. Ah, that's a picture. I don't know. Guys, let us know. Is there a button to do that so we know that in the future? Because there's a lot of really nice shots. Circle, circle? Nope. now. I think it's just confirm and start autoplay. Yeah, also nice to see the food, like, normal-sized food. I, how dare you disrespect Genshin's generous portions. You know what I mean. I don't know what you're talking about. You're also, crazy. Ming is just the best. He is, he is an awesome dude. <laughs> That's just how we do it where I'm from. Most also, of the is that time, a shrimp? Though, I don't eat mm -hmm. lunch after dim sum. Dim, dim sum? Dim sum? Ah, so big breakfast, no lunch. Got it. Oh, that's good to hear. Paimon doesn't need to worry about holding back then. Okay. Eat, eat. If it's not enough, we can always order more. Oh, and there's tong soy coming as well. I don't usually have that in the morning, but, well, since everyone's here, I just had to order it. <laughs> what about you, traveler? Is the food to your liking? Uh, want some more seafood kanji? Let me refill your bowl. I am always super awkward in moments like this because I, I relate to both of those responses. As much as I would be happy to do it myself, since he's offering and being nice, I will you take it. You have to take it, yeah. If that, someone's offering you to something and it's just nice. And they're trying to be nice and polite, just take it usually. Just take it. As nice as it is to say I can do it myself at the same time they're offering, it's just more polite to say yes. Un unless the person is obviously, I feel like the only times where you can say, no, 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 let me do that is if it's like, I'm gonna use a random example here. Someone who's hurt or a lady who's pregnant. Okay, well, yeah. In those they... moments, be like, no, I can I can do it myself. Like, thank you, but 100%, I'll help you. How about I help you in everything? Well, I mean, if he's just pouring out of that. Well, he's not the two examples I use, so yeah. Mm -hmm. I just want I just wanted to throw that out there. Paimon's gonna take you up on that. Fill it up nice and full and make sure she gets a few extra shrimp. Thanks. <sighs> Thanks, Genshin, for immediately making me hungry. <laughs> Thanks. It's nine minutes. We're nine minutes We're in. We're nine minutes in, and I'm already <laughs> starving. Thank you for that. <laughs> Thank you. It all tastes great. Awesome. Every dish tastes exquisite and uniquely flavorful. You slowly start to relax as you enjoy a pleasant conversation over a satisfying meal. Ooh. This goes on until even Paimon can't eat another bite. Ooh. She's just a rotund lump on the ground. She's just a massive spherical thing. <sighs> so For out half there. a second, I thought she was. That meal was so satisfying. It even gave Paimon some extra brain juice. And some belly juice, too, you know? Oh, listen, listen. Paimon's figured it out. Figured what out? Let's think about this for a second, Gumming. You invited us to this awesome restaurant and ordered a whole table full of expensive dim sum just for the three of us. Well, you must be hiding the fact that you're some young master from a rich family. Oh, are you now? Actually, I was wondering about that. Keep your friends and family away from each other. Let's do that, or if you know your family is nice but slightly, you know, <laughs> extra. <laughs> are you confusing me with Xingqiu? Huh? You know Xingqiu? You sure know a lot of people. I think he knows everybody. It's actually surprising that we haven't somehow collided with him before. Hmm. 
well, when you're on the road as much as I am, you hear all sorts of rumors. Sometimes they're true, sometimes they're not. What it comes down to is being able to tell the difference. Mm. More often than not, that means knocking on some doors to find out for yourself. Knock, knock, knock. Yeah? Hey, I heard about you on the road. You what? Why are you here? I wanted to see if it was true. I think, I think, <laughs> I think that was just an example, like a figure of speech. I know, but I think, it, I, I, I in, you, can to you can totally see him just going up to someone's house and be like, hey, I heard about you. I want to know about you. It's the extrovert. The extrovert. The extra extrovert. Yes. A people person. <sighs> oh, you Terrifying. truly are a man of many talents, young Master Gaming. I even have respect from her. I mean, it it really does pay, honestly, to be nice to everyone and try to get along with people. You know, obviously, obviously, you know, not with crazy people, but like, you know, everyone else. So not me. So I meant crazy in the bad kind of way, not crazy wow. in the good kind of way. That's messed up. I know, no, it's good to know crazy good people. Like good crazy, good crazy people? Good. You. It's good to know you. Thank you. <laughs> I try. Okay, okay, enough with the teasing. <laughs> Sorry to burst your bubble, Paimon, but you're wrong about my family situation. What? Oh, Paimon thought she was onto something there. My dad is just an ordinary tea merchant. Small scale stuff, you know? It wouldn't even make sense to mention his business in the same breath as the Feiyun Commerce Guild. My dad... He always wanted me to inherit the family business, to be a merchant like him. Mm. But that's just not who I am. That's not who I ever wanted to be. Mm. Mm. Have you ever talked to him about it? You know, about your interests and aspirations and stuff. Good oh. question. Of course I have. I... I told him I wanted to be a wushou dancer. That I wanted all of Tavat to see what I could do. According to my dad, though, that wasn't a real job. Just a child's pipe dream. Oh. Bad wording. Bad wording. Yeah, I feel like... I, I get where the dad's coming from, but... I yeah, get it. I wouldn't say it like time, that. Poor choice of words. You yeah. never say that. Yeah. Oh, that's terrible. I'm sure he thought I would come around eventually, but... Wusho dancing has always been the only thing I wanted to do. Oh. Mm. One day, he tried to get me to visit some other tea merchants to start building the right relationships, but I refused to go. We got into a huge fight. We, we were this close to throwing hands. I'm sorry, that's a very serious thing, but hearing someone say throwing hands is funny. It's very funny to me. Mm -hmm. But that is very depressing, I'm sorry. In the end, I was so angry that I, I ran away from home. I haven't been back since. Uh, don't get on my case just yet, okay? <laughs> it's not like I think I'm completely without fault. No, I know that it wasn't the right way to go about things. Probably. I don't know how the conversation went, so I don't have any tips or pointers to give. Yeah, I feel that. But my dad's stubborn. No matter how hard I tried to convince him, it just went in one ear and out the other. There was no changing his mind. I knew talking would only get me so far, but if I made it big and leave you a harbor, the results could speak for themselves. Yeah, results is the best way to uh, convince anyone of what you're doing. That that's a great. Yeah, I like his mindset because Gaming is doing a part. He's doing part-time jobs. He's working a part-time job, so he's getting money. He's still doing what he loves and he's passionate about. And he's like, I want results. I'll prove it. The thing is, if you want to convince anyone, a family member. Uh, your parents or otherwise of the thing you want to do as a passion show results. Yep. You gotta it's merit results. Yeah, merit. That's what I meant. Because merit is merit. At, wait, no, wait. What am I trying to say? <laughs> your, your results. Results is honestly the best word for what you're trying to describe and everything. You build yeah. up merit and you get results. That is because that gets rid of the thought process of oh, it's just a kid's dream. It's just a pipe dream. There's no you can't do it. There's no way you'll make it or you'll do it and stuff. So by showing your vault, revolts, results, uh, it can clear that away. I'm trying to say something, but my brain is just <laughs> no, no, no. I think you're doing a bang up job. Well, and I think another thing also to point out, and then, and here's the reality. 
if the thing that you love to do doesn't take off and the results are there's barely any return, then ultimately it's are you having fun? Because mm -hmm. let's say Gao Ming is doing wushu dancing and no one cares, but he still loves it and everything. Then, well, he'll just have to keep doing his odd jobs and his, his work where he does it to be able to buy food and pay bills. But then keep doing what he loves because even mm -hmm. if he's not making it a career. Not a lot of people are looking at it. I mean, as long as it makes you happy. Yeah, if you can't make a career out of it, that doesn't mean you failed. Just do what you freaking like and everything. There's nothing wrong with that. Because mm -hmm. we live in a world where there is a few billion people on the planet. And like, not everyone makes it into their dream job. I think what's important or is their your dream ideal or their uh, just life. ideal dream life in general. But if you're having fun and you're actually living your life the way God intended you to, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Mm -hmm. Genuinely. Like that's a huge, I think that, yeah, this is a really cool story. I like where this is going. Yeah. Coming. But I'm sure you both already know how that's going. Wushou dancing's just not that big in Liyue Harbor. In the past, I would go door to door from store to store, asking if they would be interested in hiring a performer. Most times, I wound up eating nothing but humble pie. Mm -hmm. Ooh. There's but, a good reason but, for the term starving artist. And, and hey, here's the thing about humble pie. Humble pie nurtures you to become better. Mm -hmm. That is the beautiful thing about a humble pie. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and you can't just rely on dreams to put food on the table, right? So mm -hmm. I found a job as a guard to make some money. And now I have enough there to get by and then some. Bro, whoever wrote this knew what they were doing. Someone, dude, I, t I guarantee you, the writer or devs in MiHoYo, this is someone's story. I guarantee you. Mm -hmm. A lot just of just a topic someone was really passionate about. Yeah, no, because this is, this is either a topic that they were passionate about or they lived it. I'm feeling like mm -hmm. they lived it probably. Still, change takes time. Gotta take it slow, you know? Paimon understands. Okay, enough of all that serious talk. Our tea's getting cold. Ooh, let's do something fun this afternoon. What do you say, huh? I'll organize. Actually, we kinda already have plans this afternoon. Dang. Wow, you just shoot him down like that! I mean, if you already have plans, you already have plans. That's true, that's we true. We told Yun that we would go to our kite-making workshop. <sighs> oh? Are you interested in kite making, Gaming? Oh, no. It's just that I happen to know Auntie Shenyun. I think you know everybody, if I'm being honest. It's no way to address an almighty and illuminated adeptus. I want to say that just in case you don't know. <laughs> uh, do you not know who she really is, Gaming? Okay, well, never mind. It didn't matter. Oh, I know that she's an adeptus. I met her during a delivery once. But hasn't she been in the city lately? She's even tried, with some limited success, to change her terms of self-address or something like that. Mm hmm. Yeah, she's improved a lot. She came to see me a few days ago to ask about luminescent dyes. Oh, wait a second. She doesn't plan on putting those on a kite, does she? I have no idea. Yeah, the whole night thing. Is that not something you can do? Is it too heavy or whatever? It's one thing to use it on cloth, but applying it to paper is another matter entirely. <sighs> Why couldn't she tell me what she wanted them for? Mm -mm. Yeah, she does seem to have trouble with that sometimes. It would be such a shame if everyone worked so hard on their kites only for them to get ruined in the end. Okay, I'll go with you. If Auntie Xianyun wants to use those dice in a kite, the formula will need to be changed. Great, the more the merrier. I wonder... I wonder why it has to be changed. Because would it weigh it down or would it burn uh, off? It'd probably be like, too like, heavy or something. Okay. Maybe, I don't know. That'd be so depressing. She works so hard on something for weeks and it just doesn't work. Ah, inventors. Yeah, I was about to say inventors in a nutshell, man. Hey, the Dendro girl's here. Hey, everybody. Oh, and they're dressed up. Oh, no, I know they're not. She's falling asleep. Ganyu. Ganyu. Come on, wake up. Some friends have arrived. Hello. God, you was just standing Hello, up asleep. Friends. Oh, girl! <sighs> you really need like a weekend off a month at least. At the very least. Just a hibernate? Like, jeez. Uh, on you. Oh, I have some mint oil. 
Perhaps we should try that. Why not wake her right up? A guest at Wanmin Restaurant recommended it to me. I've tried it. Its stimulative effects are much stronger than what can be achieved from <laughs> chewing on mint leaves alone. <laughs> mm hmm. <sighs> hmm. Apologies in advance. <gasps> Wait, on the Wait, horns! Tenha, not there! Uh oh. Oops. So why is it bad to put it on the horns? <laughs> I don't know. And I feel See, like I shouldn't it ask. She's awake. Oh, okay. Are you okay, Ganyu? Do you need some water? Or or maybe something to eat? Maybe she didn't put it maybe Where did she put it? On the horns, apparently. I, I thought. Why? I, I'm fine. I just feel chilly all over. <laughs> uh-huh. Huh. Was it that effective? Chilly, huh? Mm. A master always says a cool head leads to a calm heart. So, does this mean that heat's what we need to help you, Ganyu? <laughs> uh, Pilot doesn't think that's what the expression means exactly. I don't think it is. <sighs> I... I feel a bit better now. Hey, you're awake. Was I asleep? Must have been around the time I usually take my midday nap. You're skipping your nap to be here. Okay. Did you not sleep last night? That does seem to happen to you often. Mid midday naps are legit, by the way. If you can get away with a nap as an adult, some adults can't because if they take a nap, they'll sleep for like six hours. But if you can take like an hour nap, 30 minutes to an hour, if you, you can, can get take it, a power nap, do it. It is magic. It is insane. Especially if you're just mentally exhausted. Some of, Dude, I'm serious. Some of the best sleep I have ever gotten was a 30 minute nap just in mm. the middle of the day. Like I got home, got done with all work, was like, okay, I have something tonight. 30 minute power nap, woke up, went like, oh my goodness, I am ready to fight a war, basically. It's like- You got some smoke coming out of you. It's like, I'm scared for a bit. <laughs> That's never happened? No, no. Yeah, kind of weird. Hmm. Perhaps you should come work at Wanmin restaurant with me. We get off at 10 on the dot every night without fail. Well, as nice as that would be, the country would fall apart. I... I could never. I'm sorry. I seem to have missed your name. You are... Ogaming. I just realized, is the Leeway government a black company? In Ganyu's case? Potentially. Potentially. <laughs> Me? My name is Gaming. I work as a guard for the Secure Transport Agency. Gaming. The name sounds familiar. I believe I've heard your name mentioned around the Ministry of Civil Affairs. Oh, that's a good sign. You're making a name for yourself. People tell me you're an extremely enthusiastic worker, and you are very generous with your help. Bro. Hmm. Ganyu knows you, that's a good sign. Uh, well, you know me. <laughs> or, uh, I guess you don't. <laughs> you do, but you don't. Ah, uh, the awkward, oh, you're someone important. Oops. My name is Ganyu. This is Shenha. And this is Yao Yao. Mm -hmm. It's an honor to finally meet you all. Oh, you must be here for Auntie Xianyun's kite making workshop, right? Yes. I have neither made nor flown a kite before. As long as Master is willing to teach, I am willing to learn. That's nice. Also, I never asked, but is that hairpiece like heavy or something? That is an excellent question. I, I always notice it. It's really hard to miss. Mm -hmm. It's weird that the new skin kind of gets rid of it and it becomes a hair ornament, which that is what it is already. It's just massive. Me too. I want to participate in the kite flying competition with my best friend. Who's the bunny? The bunny or is yes, that someone else? It's more meaningful if you make the kite yourself, right? Wait, who is Yao Yao's best friend? I is, guess. Is it, is it the bunny? Or or maybe Jingling? I don't, I don't know. Your best friend didn't come with you? Well, Chi Chi's been uh, super busy uh, helping Oh, Dr. she's best friend Chi Chi. I'll meet up with her later and give her a huge surprise. That's really sweet. That's wholesome. Oh, I also brought bandages and ointment with me today. 
It's easy to cut yourself when working with bamboo. Is so it? I thought I should come prepared. I never thought about that. Huh. Wow, you're really thoughtful. Huh. That's slightly worrying. I know, that kind of terrifies me. I'm afraid I lack some of my companion's enthusiasm. Also, pandas just became way more metal in my head. Mm-hmm. I was originally planning to buy a ready-made kite and just enjoy the festive city atmosphere with everyone. I honestly don't... There's no shame in doing that. Oh. I'm, I'm, I'm just saying! You don't want her to go to her mom's class? No! No! No, ah, I'm not saying terrible. that! No! Well, wow. I dug myself in a hole. But Cloud Retainer is always going out of her way to look after her juniors, wanting us to have the best there is. She always puts us before herself. As any mom does. Or should, I guess. Should. <sighs> it was so thoughtful of her to arrange this workshop, so I simply couldn't let such consideration go to waste. Hey, little dude. Do there's, that. A, there's a fox. fox. I, th I think that's a fox, right? Uh, oh. It's like a fennec fox. It's, uh, it's chilling the against Gamma, and there it goes. My motivation for being here might be a little different, yes. But I'm ready to put in just as much effort as everyone else. Well, we're all here. But where the heck is Xin Yun? Shouldn't she be here by now? Sorry, I'm super distracted right now. I have a sugar glutter on me, and he's poking his head out looking at me. I don't think the camera sadly is picking it up. Yeah, no, it's not. Uh, no. Well, I mean, almost. It basically looks like my stomach. I'm just holding my stomach in the camera. It's like, Josh, why are you holding? What are you doing? Well, there's a sugar glider. There's a sugar glider. I'm not just holding my belly. It's That'd be weird. That would be weird. Who is it that speaks of oneself in such an ill-tempered hey, tone? Hey, it's her daughter. New daughter. <laughs> Master stuff to buy grilled tiger fish to share with everyone. Come uh -huh. get it while it's still warm. Uh oh, Paimon, sorry, Miss Illuminated Bird. Paimon always knew you were the smartest, coolest, and prettiest adeptus. Mm. Someone as wonderful as you is sure to have brought enough for Paimon as well. Wow, right? you are really sucking up right now. <laughs> It'll probably work. It, did it work? Wait. Uh, okay. Hasn't said yet. Yes. Paimon's life is complete! Yep. Okay. Hmm. It appears that we've ended up with quite a few participants indeed. Go ahead and divide yourselves into small groups. The materials are over here. The regular dyes and luminescent ones have been clearly marked. Use them as you see fit. As for how to make the kite, one assumes you all made sure to listen to the instructions one provided while we were eating. Yes? Are there any questions? focused a little too hard on the eating and less on the listening. I was kind of thinking that. I was like, why did you in in explain everything while everyone was eating? You That's can just... It's fine. Just, I... Everything's, everything's okay. She can help out. She can... Okay. Paimon knew she could count on you, Traveler. One will wait under this tree and avail oneself of the cool air while one digests. Do not mm. hesitate to seek one's company if you have any trouble, questions, or simply want to chat. We're not in any hurry to get started. Why don't we go see what the others are up to? Gaming should probably tell her that the paint is not good. Or they uh, illuminate the paint. Illuminate. Illu Maybe he already did? Maybe? Saying that he's not. Where's Gon, you know? Sleeping in a bush. Don't ah, disturb her. Over there. Oh. I'll well, start with the man, the myth, the legend. Hey, Gaming! Want to team up? Ah, okay. Yeah, huh? I was just talking. But I have to participate? But I thought I'd be done for the day after adjusting the dye formula. Okay, so he's already done it. Mm -hmm. You're that unenthused by kite making, huh? That doesn't seem like you. Just because someone's really passionate about some kind of form of art doesn't mean they're passionate about all forms. True. No, it's not that. It's just... Uh, it would take too long to explain. I guess I'll just make one then. I mean, it's fine not to be into it. Hmm. What shape should we go with? How about a butterfly? So freedom. Hmm. That does appear what to be what he's searching for. What do you think, Shuyu? Is there a particular design you want? I want a swanee. 
A what? Swanee? Uh, that might be a little hard to pull off. True, but I still want to try. They're super cute. Oh, are you talking about like a swan? I don't know. No, swan no, Swanee. They did not spell that like swan. Well, she said Swanee, but maybe she's just like saying it in a cutesy way. I have no idea. I don't know. Or maybe that's the kind of bird she is. <laughs> okay, it's decided then. I have no idea what that means. Gaming, can I do the coloring? <laughs> sure. I'll go ahead and make the frame for you. <laughs> awesome. Hello. Cool kite. Oh, I was hoping I could just have it under a bit. Nope. Game devs. Nope. Same on both sides. It's being worked on. <laughs> Auntie Cloud Retainer, look! Am I doing it right? Hmm, very good. Your frame is nice and sturdy. This design, is it a finch? <laughs> yep. Nice. Whoa! Are you gonna call a bird in like a Disney princess? <laughs> One is looking forward to seeing your finished product. No, she's whistling like a bird. That would make wait, a lot more sense. Wait, did you just get that? <laughs> wait. I don't know. I was. I thought she was whistling like a bird would land on her finger or something. I don't know. <laughs> it's the magic. <laughs> the magic, you what say. What color are you going to make it, Yow Yow? I love the bunny. Um, Staring into my soul. I haven't decided yet. If I make it blue, it'll be more like my friend. But if I make it gold, it'll be more like me. You can use blue and gold, I guess. Hmm? If you are asking for one's own opinion, one would advise choosing gold. When giving a gift, the key consideration is the recipient's feelings, is it not? One imagines your friend would much prefer a kite that reminds them of you. True. It just, it looks just like me. And there it flies. I mean, that is, that is very, very solid advice. Oh, hey, I never told you the kite was for Chi-Chi. How did you know? With age comes wisdom, child. One simply has a way of knowing things. Oh, cool. <laughs> Thanks, Auntie Cloud Retainer. I'm gonna start painting it gold right now. Good. One will watch. You two seem strangely unoccupied. Uh oh. One was under the impression that one was supposed to be doing the relaxing. Is your kite finished? You said we could talk to you. Oh, we actually haven't started yet, but we're going to start uh, right now. <laughs> Spoken like a true mom. <laughs> Moms, no matter what, have just this authority. Uh, no, that's not the word I'm looking for. They have a presence. A commanding they presence. They have an iron fist. No, a commanding presence, Daniel. They have this law. <laughs> this law. Once I get better at making kites, I'm going to make one shaped like Uruguay. Mm. you, Hmm. What? You gave him to me, and he's just the best. Uruguay? Uruguay. Mm. Wow. <laughs> one is pleased that you like the gift. The bunny is an invention. That makes sense. Mm-hmm. So it's like our crane, pet. Except, you know, that one shoots radishes. That can <laughs> nuclear um, strike Shepa, things. It would be great if you could refrain from putting things on my horns from now on. They're really quite sensitive. Mmm. So when it's cold, you, like, put, like, little, like, custom Mi mittens over them? Like, <laughs> little, like, horn warmers? Yeah, probably. I see. My apologies. I shall remember that in the future. Thank you. No harm done. Good. Could I touch them just once more, though? No oil or anything this time. I've just always wondered what Miss Ganyu's horns feel like. Huh? Please, I told you. Just call me Ganyu. Uh, well, all right. Just be gentle. And whatever you do, don't break it off. Oh, no, stop. Oh. You shouldn't do that anyway to normal horns because, you know, they got like 
blood vessels in them. I oh, think. I think you're the right thing. Yes, but why? No, you you shouldn't bring that up. Now I'm envisioning it. Ah! Oh, you know, you just walk up. Stop! There. Hmm. Ah! Firm to the touch with no discernible temperature. Oh, not unlike certain medicinal plants I've eaten before. Don't take a bite. Do not, do not nibble. Oh, still, Ganyu appears to be shaking like a cat whose whiskers have just been touched. I should stop. Mm. <laughs> uh. oh, I see. Then I'll apply the oil to your forehead next time. Oh, no need. I'll just refrain from taking afternoon naps outdoors. No, that afternoon naps outside are awesome. Mm. <coughs> anyway, we should probably get started on our kite. It won't be long before Cloud Retainer comes to check on our progress. Perhaps, perhaps we should just choose the most traditional style. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, they seem to be getting along swimmingly. Let's not disturb them. And right back to we the middle. We should get started on our kite now. Let's no. go. I were. Oh, wait. Were they? What? Oh, Stop. they're they're right there. Okay. Let's talk to you. The scissor-tailed swallow sure takes a lot of curved bamboo rods to build. Ugh. And she snapped it. It broke. Maybe let her do the painting. Unless she's having fun, then let her keep doing it. Ganyu <laughs> doesn't say anything. Just straight face palm. Wow. Well, that's a mood. <laughs> as long as she doesn't make it and thinks it's so cute and hugs it and then snaps it into a million pieces, <laughs> it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Okay, sure. I wanna. First, we have to decide on the shape. Hey, what are you laughing at? Well, we make it Paimon shaped. Not a completely crazy idea. Is it not? Okay. If nothing else, a Paimon shaped kite could at least make sure you never get lost on your travels and always find the tastiest food and funnest things to do wherever you go. Uh, that's not quite how that works. But, but whatever makes you happy. I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. Here. That's clearly how it works. Artistic license. Ooh, we should exaggerate this a bit. How about this? The word Paimon means. The Guardian Angel of Travelers! We make the kite. <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> well, Beautiful. Oh, that's great. Her, since the kite is going to be flying super high in the sky. That is a beautiful work of art. <laughs> we should make her look pleased with herself. We should make her look afraid. We should make her look guilty about something. I'm gonna let Daniel choose this one. Pleased, because that's the... No. Saying I want her to look afraid sounds wrong. And saying I want her to be guilty about something sounds wrong. So Smug Paimon. Smug Paimon. Ooh, like this? <laughs> the title of Champion Kite Flyer is mine! I saw that. I saw those yeah. curled lips for a second. For like half a second there. Yep. They had they had the smug face. Yes, yeah, the smug face. Yep, that's the oh, one. Wait, I want to hear the others. Since okay. The kite is going to be flying soup. Be Go. not afraid. It's too high. Someone say Paimon, she's about to faint. Like that? Totally. Mm, let's rethink it. Since the kite is going to be. Yeah, about the guilty. Anything wrong? And even if she did, she doesn't deserve to get shot up into the sky for it. Something like this. What in the flip? I actually like the energy of that one a bit more. Because <laughs> I feel like the traveler, if Paimon ever just did something really dumb, would just tie a string around her and just like a rock sling. You, you know? and me are canonically different travelers. This is what I'm learning from that statement. <laughs> it's like, wouldn't you just tie your friend up and just send them into the stratosphere if they didn't I mean, if they're going to be fine, then yeah. I, I don't think I would do it even then. If they would be safe and they wouldn't be hurt, yes, I would do it. I just know she has fingernails. So <laughs> there, that's the shadow. 
No, no, no. She has the weirdest thing sometimes. Yeah, no, she has fingernails. You're just noticing this? Yeah. How does she take care of those? Like anyone else. Tiny fingers. I know, but do you, like, need, like, tiny nail clippers or, like, a tiny file? Like, that's... I I mean... You know? I mean, I'm sure they make them in all shapes and sizes. Why not, but, like, Paimon-sized ones? I mean, you just get... This is not a slight Paimon. You just get, like, a child-sized one. It would work. I guess, but... I mean, if they make stuff like that for babies, Paimon would be fine. Like, it's like babies on, like, upward to child size. You'd be good. Sorry, Paimon. We're dunking on you a lot today. <laughs> I don't know why. Dale, you're feisty. You chose violence today. You woke up as, like, chaos. I... I always choose... I forgot immediately what it was called. Whatever the cute violence is. Cute aggression? Cute aggression. I always am in the mindset of cute aggression, says Daniel. <laughs> always. Uh, please, they're guilty. I don't know. Your choice, dude. Not mine. It is on you. So no matter what happens, I can be like, it was him. If it, you do good, I'd be like, you did It is that. time to punish the Paimon. Oh, Paimon totally didn't do anything wrong. And even if she did, she doesn't deserve to get shot up into the sky for it. Okay, you doing, like are you doing guilty? Yes. Oh my goodness. Punishment for the crime. Now that we've decided, let's make it happen. I kind of wish we could preview it first, but there's no way to do that. I kind of wish there was too. Yeah, canonically, you cannot do that. Like she had like her idea and then you would it's see like the a thought bubble or something. I, I don't know. To say, Kai Paimon might even rival real Paimon in terms of cuteness. Now we just have to attach <sighs> the string, right? Uh-huh. Alright. Gather around everyone. No, let me see it. You cowards. You cowards! <laughs> let me see the work <laughs> I have done. Let me see it. Oh, Shenyun's calling us. No, there's the there's the feet. Let me see the head. And, uh, we have, you cowards! We've already saw the feet. Show me it! Nothing new. No face for you. Darn it. <laughs> hmm. Let one take a look. Oh, I guess this is the reveal of all of Oz. Oh, here we go. What do they look like? Wow! <gasps> Ganyu and Shenha made a scissor-tailed swallow! It's so pretty. That's awesome. Oh! That's what she wanted to make. That is called that. Good to know. Got it. That is a very cute screenshot. Yeah. They look really good. Mm -hmm. For first this time. Is really good. Uh, oh, I thought you were talking about the look of everyone. Oh, no, I'm talking about the actual kites. Honestly. Yeah, no, they look good, too. I was talking about, like, the quality of the model and the lighting and all that. Oh, yeah, no, this, this is a beautiful shot. Also, have I talked about how much I love Gaming's design? And his colors and everything and how it all goes. Yes, you have gushed infinitely about that. I can gush even more. <laughs> yep. The coloring makes it look a lot like Master. It does. If the tail wasn't split in two like that, it might even be a spitting image. <laughs> uh, if you look closely, there are a few spots where the colors go outside the lines. Did you doze off while painting it on you? Wait, where? I don't see. It looks perfect. How dare you? I did the painting. See? It is magnificent. This is why, Hi, Mon. This is why you don't say that. You just don't. I stared at the paper for quite some time, but I simply could not recall the coloring of any bird. <laughs> Except Master. Or should I say that I'm too familiar with her crane form? <sighs> Even when she stands before us in human form, all I can see is blue and white. <laughs> Actually, that retainer really should have been in her human form on raising Shenhua. They get her more used to at least human-looking people and how to. Well, you got with you them. got some against magical birds raising children. Well, I have nothing against that, but I'm just saying one of the main issues she had is interacting with people. I like how nonchalantly you actually fought. You you just went with that. You're like, oh, I'm nothing. Against, like Dale, I'm just messing with you. Sorry, I'm so sorry. I'm you still. Birds. I, I love how you went with me. Of course, I, I, I'm here toying with you, and you're just like, what? No, no, I, I do not, and everything. I do not have I, any offense to birds. I do not have offense to birds children. raising children, even though in real life I think I may actually. 
And, wow. Okay, not again, nothing against birds for anyone who actually would wow. take that out of context. But like, Their I just think raise their young for this. No, wait a minute, human children, human children. Let me specify. I just think for safety reasons, maybe birds shouldn't be doing that. In this weird, like almost impossible scenario that we're talking about here. You saying cloud retain? How have you turned this on me? How have the, I, I, how have <laughs> my joke to you? Sorry, I won't flung do that back to, to me. I'll I'll stop there. I'm sorry. <laughs> this this you were about to bury me under a bus. <laughs> no, <laughs> of course not. Exactly. So I simply closed my eyes and painted from memory. Oh, uh, you painted it with your eyes closed. That's actually very impressive. No way. Talent. You, you can paint with your eyes closed. Wow, the disciples of Adepti really are something. Hmm. I'm sweating up a storm. <laughs> You are most filial, Shen He. One is flattered by the likeness. Aww. The swanee that Gao Ming and Shu Yu made looks very majestic. I'm sure it'll look even more impressive as it soars through the sky. Swami. Does, that does swanee. now. That does now ring a yeah. bell. Swanee. Swanee. Suwanee. Suwanee. Su okay. Suwanee. Suwanee. Yeah. I think. I don't know if that's. That's the American pronunciation, I guess. I am trying my best here. The eyes and ears glow in the dark, so you're sure to see it at night. Just look up. Is there a pair of eyes looking at me? Just staring at you. Your golden finch is cute too, Yao Yao. It is adorable. <laughs> it's all thanks to Auntie Cloud Retainer's guidance. What about your kite, Traveler? <laughs> it's beautiful. And if it isn't, da huh. Daniel's fault. Boom! It's perfect. <laughs> oh, that, that's actually really funny. I like it. Oh my goodness. That is the energy I was hoping it would be. Ugh. Very Paimon-like indeed. Mm-hmm. Oh, why do you say that, Shen, huh? <laughs> that one time the traveler suspected that a piece of meat was missing from their bowl, that was the exact expression on your face. There's different dialogue depending on what you selected. Ah, completionist, beware. This is why all those people have like five alt accounts. Yep. Hey, is that something that happened? It was you. Is that the Jade Chamber? <laughs> what? I thought the actual Jade Chamber was coming. Was like, that a coming down. brick on the back? Oh. I don't know. Who on earth tied a brick to a thing? Oh, who dares attempt such a flagrant display of impropriety by releasing a kite into one's territory without one's permission? That's the the flying machine is a big hunkin thing? Apparently. Never mind, Paimon is totally legal. I could I could strap her to a kite and fly her in the sky. Uh -huh. Or just maybe fly Paimon, I don't know. Is that legal? Maybe if I put like a little like. Are we talking like actual legal, or are we talking like humane Rules. sort of legal? Well, I mean, if she agreed to it for a prize. You did something like this about yesterday too, with the whole metal detector thing. What is with you and Paimon turning it? What is with you turning Paimon into things? Mm. I'm just still saying. In the future, we should have a, like a one-headed sword of her for like a anniversary thing. I'm just saying that'd be funny. I mean, look at her. She's the size of a one-handed sword. I don't know him. I don't know him. He's... I don't know Hello, him. Hello, no! I don't know him. Nah, he knows me very well. Stranger danger. Stranger danger. Stranger danger. I'm in your house. <gasps> You're in my house. Why are you in what the freak? House? What do you want about? <laughs> How dare. Oh, and to do so by making use of this? Crude piece of mortal machinery. Oh, one simply must know who it is that possesses such impertinence. Oh boy. Ooh. Nice. Continue attaching the strings, everyone. One will be but a moment. We're gonna just see like the clouds just gather on one spot and just there's gonna be a lightning bolt that just goes Cloud retainer! Or like a giant wall of water dropping on someone. And then she comes back, and she's, like, really pleased with herself. I then... am having a great day today. Yep. Traveler, Paimon, could I trouble you to go after Cloud Retainer? Nah, she's got this. 
Master's going to be okay, right? No, oh, she'll be okay. I'm more worried about the person who released the kite. Yeah, that is the concern here. Probably like Charlotte There's or something. Looks like we can glide over. <laughs> we got the Oh, uh, we got the kite. That's beautiful. You will now forever have guilty Paimon. <laughs> we get a lot of uh, items based off of Paimon, which I'm not complaining about, like the uh, Albedo painting. Oh, dude, that That's was something awesome. You still get. Oh. No, I think that was an event. <clears throat> I think. Going for it. You missed. Actually, is there any of those annoying flowers up here? Uh, yes. Oh, yes. They're probably on the They're side. All over the place. Anyway, has a lot of annoying flowers, like the hanging ones and the other stuff. You want me to have animal? You jerk. I don't want to have animal. Do I even have any one animal? No, I don't. I have not used my Navia team in a hot second. I'm doing that. Well, actually, no, it's not built. Because I have to, uh, I still have not grinded that out. Don't judge me. You're judging me. I'm not. I you didn't are. say anything. I feel the judgment. I know. What? Freaking. I, I am any? being judged. That is what is happening here. Yes. See? Boom. What? I really do love this outfit. Oh yeah, I also love the original, but I do Jean's like this uh, suit aesthetic. Both skins that Jean has are legit. What in the- Wow! What in the freak? Where are we? Oh, going to three things. Don't think it wants you to go- Uh, no? Maybe it does? Yeah. Uh, these things are always used to guide you places. Either areas filled with abundant resources, like three of these annoying things. Or uh, their puzzles, mechanics, yeah, or even side quests. Yeah, this, the, 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 chi, 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 I don't know how to pronounce that. That flower is definitely one of the, uh, my least favorite things. We are so screwed for the quest. No, we're not. <laughs> this is just going a lot lower than I thought it would. Please stop. Don't you dare go all the Where way. Where are you the taking us, Seely? Are you kidding me? Are you- You're cringe! What? Give me a second. Wanderer. Where is he? Are you sure it has to be? Yeah, yeah, it has no, to be. No, it has you. to be you. Believe me, boy, it has to be. You're the only character in the game right now that can fly. <laughs> Scare me. So much to climb that. Yeah. Stop existing. Thanks. That was a very solid 9999. Nine, nine, nine. Nice, nice, dude. Give us more stamina, gosh darn it. No stamina for you. On the bright side, stamina is pretty easy to get as long as you, you know, level up just a chunk of statues, you're good. Mm, or at least the beginning ones. There it is, thank god. So this is, they put the seal here to teach people about these flowers. Did they have to troll? Did they have to troll though? Abandoned property belongs to whoever Where's finds that quest? it first. There. So oh, actually, it's we're pretty, pretty not too up. bad. Yeah, this works. We can fly. Zoom, yeah. Whoop. Yeah, now nah, we're still on target. The beauties of having freaking Wanderer. I may not use him for combat a lot. It does come in handy in situations he like this. He is so good for swirl hey. teams. And breaking the laws of physics, apparently. Oh, yeah. Obviously. Yeah, right there, yep. Mm hmm In fact. Right there. Right there. Stay close and- No one would argue. It is indeed. Once 65 want meters. To. Want to? Argue? Like once if I want to argue. Uh, it'd be a waste of both your time and energy. And then it's over here now. What the freak? <laughs> I need like, that. I, happen, I guess. <laughs> hmm. This Fontanian device of mechanical motion is quite curious indeed. <laughs> oh no. Uh huh. Oh no. It was these two. Nice tassel for the deer tail. I appreciate the detail. 
That is nice. Now is hardly an opportune time for your musings. Someone among us was not sufficiently attentive, and now the kite has vanished. Calm yourself. Do you have any recollection of its last location? It's coming at you, hot. One believes it drifted in the direction of Mount Outsong. Perhaps it is mere happenstance, but one feels a certain sense of dread at the thought. <laughs> Your concern is misplaced, surely. No, it's very well that placed. giant wall of water, I feel it. Cloud Retainer is either in the city looking after her disciples, or secluded in her abode attending to her research. She will not notice that kite. We will now notice what? On the subject of said kite, however, one simply must remark on the genius of its windless lift technology. One cannot help but surmise that its ingenuity rivals that of Cloud Retainer's creations. Ah, she is right behind you, Ignore isn't me she? as I take a lunch break as these guys die. Still thy tongue. If Cloud Retainer were to hear you profess such a thing, we can both say farewell to any further use of the Supreme Cuisine Machine. One presumes that this kite belongs to you. Uh-oh. Huh? Well, I think you just shaved off 50 years of their life. Regard the situation with which we are now confronted. This is all your fault. <laughs> One's fault. One seems to recall that releasing the kite was no solitary endeavor. Say something, Mountain Shaper. Surely you can think of something to appease her. I love Mountain Shaper just like, this is on you. <laughs> just uh, not my fault. This is you. explanation shall only fan the flames of her wrath. It would be better to stay silent and retire at the earliest opportunity. Not a bad plan, actually. We can hardly avoid her forever. That may suffice during Lantern Rite. But what about the Moon Chase Festival? Sooner or later, she will discover our true identity. Ah. <sighs> Hello? Oh, oh, they're playing it off. Retrieve the kite. Absolutely not. <laughs> you retrieve it. How are you speaking right now? Uh, mental. That <laughs> is not our kite. Oh, so an adeptus such as oneself is mistaken then? Ah, uh, you're an adeptus? Please forgive us for any impropriety. These guys are dead. I truly They're dead. I no inkling of who could have released a kite into your esteemed domain. Pray, who could be responsible for such wanton behavior? Verily, verily, we were but delighting in the surrounding scenery. This locale is home to such exquisite... Uh, ah, mint! Mint, of course! Of course! Mint! Well, and if that's all, then we'll just be on our way. We finally caught up. You sure no. do fly fast in your Paimon. illuminated bird form, Chinyin. Travel her quickly, this. grab her! Uh, tie a kite to her. <laughs> As we practice. Moon Carver? Mountain Sheeper? What are you doing here? They're dead! They're so dead! Yeah. They are very dead! They are extinct! That's how dead they are! I'm just gonna okay. leave. It is of no consequence. Long has one seen through their disguises. One was simply curious as to how long they would keep up the act. Then you are not angry? Hm. How could one feel anger at the sight of two old friends enjoying themselves? Okay! One is also well aware of how enticing these city novelties can be. Wow! That's some good oh. character development there. We're not all gonna die! Awesome. Sweet! We were simply consumed by a fit of festive spirit. Seldom do we get the opportunity to partake in the delights of the times. By the way, I really like Mountain Shaper's voice without the um, the added, like, reverb and everything. It's, it's really nice and clear. Mm -hmm. However, we are far from being as adept as you in matters that require a deftness of hand. No worthy kite could be born of our own making. Thus, we could only take the convenient route, so to speak. And then... Like, Mountain... Sh uh, no, Moon Carver has, like, a really nice, like, gruff, like, rumble to the voice. I really wish they were playable. Like, I wish we had models. For I hope we Because I really models. do enjoy their voices and their characters, but... Yeah. Maybe one day in the future. Maybe. Your prowess in mechanics is unparalleled, Cloud Retainer. 
you wield the wind and waves themselves. Your singular talent stands unmatched across the land. Of this, we are well aware. Uh-huh. Laying on a little thick, aren't we? <sighs> it works, it's though. Working. One has guests to attend to. We will have to convene again some other time. Traveler, Paimon, do try to keep up. Can't you take us with you? Never mind. Are we already? Oh, all this flying for place to place is wearing Paimon out. Mom, don't leave us. Mother. She's like a baby chick. It seems that one's concern was misplaced after all. Then, should we continue flying the kite? Please keep a string to that thing. A splendid suggestion, but it would be advisable to change locations. That too. <laughs> Thank goodness one of you thinks. Perhaps your mountain would suffice? It is more than spacious enough. You have a mountain? That's a awesome. Fine idea. A fine idea indeed. You know, actually, yeah, Adepti, uh, the illuminated Adepti, like creatures and stuff like that and everything, I guess they are, like, even though they have, like, human forms and they do operate and have the intelligence of a human, they are still kind of just magical, mythical creatures. So that actually makes sense that they would just be like, that is now my mountain. If you have something to argue about that, uh, take it up with me. Take it up in that piece of amber you're in. Yeah, I'm just gonna be like, okay. I just leave the magical bird alone. Change. Where am I going? Oh. Over there. I think this is just Cloud Retainer's place, right? Yeah. Should be. Oh, I, why is this waypoint on the other side of the mountain? Because it's more convenient to, uh... Yep. Uh... And now you, you see, it's exactly my thoughts. Yep. It's not important. It's not important? Got it. La da 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 da! <laughs> la la la! They're back. Hey, no one died! <gasps> My mind's pooped. Uh, hi! Why are there only two of you left? After you left, Yao Yao and Shu Yu tired themselves out playing with their kites. Oh. Nah. Zhao Ming offered to escort them home. Aww. Before he left, he said something that I don't quite understand. Oh? Oh? What did he say? He said, A kite is always tied down no matter how far it flies or how high it soars. Its tether prevents it from ever truly flying free. Okay. Thinly veiled metaphor. Metaphor? Metaphor. Metaphor. Nice. He looked quite dejected as he said this. I mean, you can't always cut the string. And I wonder why Gao Ming doesn't like the whole kite thing. Because it reminds him of himself. Probably. Which is a little silly. Sometimes we see ourselves in different things. Yeah. Even if it is a little silly. Now that you mention it, Gao Ming did seem to have a rather strange attitude towards kites. Maybe he sees himself reflected. A tied bow, down by the string. Oh, if I were a kite, I would cherish that tether as a symbol of kinship and the bonds that tie us and... Shenha? <sighs> Frog. It may be an exceedingly slim Frog, and distant connection, but lose it, and you lose that which links you to home. Hmm, I get it. If Gaming truly sees a kite as a reflection of himself... Then I fear I understand his words even less. No, I think I get where he's coming from. Uh oh. Cat! Kitty cat is here now. Well, people often have different points of view depending on their mindset and experiences, right? It's actually quite normal. Just like some people can eat spicy food, but others won't go anywhere near it? Mm hmm. Okay, Cinder, I know what you want to do. You didn't know. Oh, okay. I had a feeling. I knew it was coming. Hi, good girl. Hi, sleepy baby. I, 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 I was like, I was prepared. The cat was going to jump up and the sugar glare was going to get crushed. Hey, good girl. There you go. 
I was, I am so glad I was ready for that. I'm like, wait, I know it's coming. Exactly. That's why tolerance and understanding are as important as they are. Yep. Uh, tolerance and understanding? What brought about this conversation? Did one miss something? I don't know. What happened? Wait, what are you, what are you, are you playing? No, uh, I'm you're playing. using Cinder. No, we were just playing chatting. the game. You don't have to butt in on every little thing, you know. Where are you anyway? Paimon, if you say that in this kind of context, she's gonna get the wrong idea. That's a little rude. That is, yeah, that is not what you say to someone coming in. Hmm. One was merely doing a bit of cooking. Yeah, you see, Paimon, and now you don't get to eat anything. Night fast approaches. If you are otherwise unoccupied, one would entreat you to stay and eat before you depart. I will say, I mean, I agree with what Paimon was stating. I do want to make that clear. Like, I get it. Like, yeah, if you're a parent or a guardian or whoever or a friend, you don't have to know every conversation going on. I know, but if you walk in one, but if like you walk that, in, it's like, like, yeah, you can give your two cents. You can be like, what does that mean? And everything. Like, what are we talking about? And like, stuff like what that. Are we like, what, about? what's going on? That's normal. Uh oh. That is absolutely normal. Don't, no, don't worry about it. She's going to jump on the PC. It's fine. As long as she doesn't hit the it's stop been record so button. It's so long since I've had the chance to enjoy your cooking, Cloud Retainer. Mm. Food! Uh, I am so hungry. You have no idea. Not. One has prepared a variety of meat and vegetable dishes. One is more than familiar with everyone's culinary proclivities. Okay, if Paimon doesn't get any food, can I have hers? I call dibs in Paimon's portion. Yes. Hey, Paimon's hungry too. It's not like the dim sum and grilled fish could keep her full the whole day, you know? No, that's enough. Shenhe, Ganyu, come with me. We're not invited. Oh, what's with all the secrecy? You're not trying to play favorites, are you? They're her daughters. Mm -hmm. As much as I would totally love to have her as I a mom. this is the reveal of the outfits. If oh. you're ready to serve the food, we can help too. Paimon's just inviting herself to dinner. Don't do that. Go to the abode entrance. Oh no, how on earth can I? You could have just walked around. You, you could have just, you just you could have went a little bit to the left and been fine. That's fine, it's fine. I'm sorry, I I love playing as a Farina. <laughs> Farina is such a great character. Huh. Both kit-wise and gameplay-wise. What? No, just the stock led to nothing. My eye caught it and went, huh? <laughs> I guess that's normal. Because lily pads float. They uh, usually are in oh, the ground, Oh, wow, though. I never noticed, um, who, not who tows. Gan Yu's little, uh... Ornament. Look at that. Yeah, that is very nice, and they glow beautifully in the night. What the heck? That kind of hurts my eyes on this TV. Yeah, well, our, that's our TV. That's not the game's issue. How's it look on the game? Ooh, it wow, looks that's pretty. great. If I could see past the cat. The cat is currently sitting in oh, front of the monitor. Oh, no. You're wanting to steal something. It's fine. Just let her be. So this, She's probably going to steal a pen or something, or a mm. coin. Man, those outfits are really pretty. If the whole monitor gets knocked off, though, we will probably have to pause the video. In fact, the video may pause automatically. <laughs> okay, yeah, just let, let her be. Yeah, she's distracted fun. by a cat. Sorry. Beautiful outfits. Uh, oh. Ah. Oh. Shalala. Shalala. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I can feel the wind brushing against my legs. This is a bit embarrassing. Oh yeah, she wears um, leggings, tights. What are those called? Uh, both of those work, but wow, what a thing, writers. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Also, I didn't notice the thing, uh, flower thing on her thigh. It's pretty. What? <laughs> just, I'm still not over the writers. Is the the writers is really good. <laughs> I should have asked- You know what you're doing! You check before I stepped outside. Uh-huh. Very pretty. But that it is. It's probably a bit heavy. The whole pan? What is happening here? She's getting ready to uh, battle. How do we look? That, uh, great. Great, amazing. Uh, why do I feel like that was a threat? Huh? She asked them just like that? How, how, how is your hair blowing like that? You look great. Yes. Uh, how does she have the wind? Uh, she's a sorcerer. Or, um... Adepti. Trainer. Trainee? That, something. but also... What is it called when you banish demons? 
Spanish no. exorcist. Exorcist. She's an exorcist. She knows how to use magic and stuff. Right. Is that you yes? You're pretty too, gone, you? Oh, how should Paimon put it? Uh, <laughs> the pose. So elegant and refined. Those outfits really suit you both. I like how she's uh, summoning I, the wind just to have a cool pose. Bro, I, I really enjoy the fact, like, this whole scene is like, we're just gonna say and write everything that you're thinking already, but we're just gonna make you face it. Given that one employed the services of the best tailor in all of Liyue, one would expect nothing less. Nice. Can we get one? Not, yeah. not like one of these dresses. <laughs> Can we like have a dress? <laughs> No, like, can we have an outfit? Actually, Please. I would love, um, like, for, um, why? What? Lumine? They have, like, oh, an Lumine? outfit like this? Lumine? Yeah, Lumine and, like, Aether should have outfits. I do not know why we don't have There's outfits no yet. I, I don't, I don't get it. Why? Why no, no out? I mean, yeah, barely anyone uses the starting character, but like still. Uh, at the same time. For cutscenes, that would be sick. In the future, when the traveler is cracked and they have their awakened form or whatever, and we have our signature that maybe, weapon. Maybe, maybe you'll get that. I don't know if that's a that's a hundred percent guaranteed, but like I really would like I would like something, and it doesn't have to be in cinematics. That's not what I'm saying, but like for these cutscenes, that could be that'd be cool. What colors have you been partial to lately, Shenhe and Ganyu? Lately? Why is Cloud Retainer <sighs> suddenly asking about what colors we like? Because. I like black. Black is a good color. One is gratified to see one's disciple has inherited one's own tastes. Mm hmm The color black doesn't get dirty easily. A virtue I've come to value recently. Dude, she's just like me. <laughs> That's low-key how I think about that. That is true. Honestly. And you, Ganyu? I favor blue and black. Oh. Why was that such a nice and little shot? And the material is sufficiently comfortable, yes? Yes, very. I simply cannot thank you enough, Cloud Retainer. For this gift. And the kite, too. Yeah, no. Secret to, like, anything. If you want to not worry about <clears throat> dirt buildup or anything or clothing if you ever you know working outside or something black mm. uh, Be careful if it's hot though. It's black absorbs. Well, duh, cuz yeah, you're gonna get heat stroke then and everything I know then on a hot day you should wear white though if you're doing like construction or a lighter work, color Yeah, like yeah, no, but black is a cheat. That's a cheat for clothing for cars for anything actually I know but for the sake of not dying of heat stroke and not having your you what if damn? Well, what if I want to die from heat stroke? That's actually a very silly thing to say. But what, what if I? <laughs> what if I want to have a heat stroke? And Let experience? me do what you would do if I said that. Bonk. <laughs> ah! How dare you? Uh huh. How can you bonk me? I was just asking a question. It's not that I really want to do it. I just wanted to, you know, voice the opinions of that one person on the internet. I could say a lot right now. No, but what? I'll choose not to. Good. Perfect. A wolf? <laughs> There's a wolf howling in the background. Thank you, Master. One is content as long as you are pleased with the gift. One hopes these garments will see much use. <laughs> we are so distracted today. I apologize. I'm guys. sorry. There's a cat being just the cutiest of batutiests right there. You can't see her. Sorry. You can't see her, but she's sitting in Joss's chair. She just super. She's loafing, up. but she looks kind of mad. No, nope, she's like falling asleep, so she's like. That kind of vibe. Mm. You sit down and enjoy a table full of delicious food. As long as you don't accidentally slip anything off your thing and. Seems psh, like on your new dress. Cuisine machine is just <laughs> getting better and better, uh, That is interesting. They changed into their outfits before eating. Golden crabs particularly good. The shell's deliciously crunchy. Stop. The meat inside is so succulent and stop, sweet. Stop, please. I, I can't stop eating. I am so hungry. I you got me starving at the very beginning of this quest. You I, can't my, do this to uh, me. My stomach is roaring. That's a good thing Ga Ming isn't here, or Paimon would have to duel him for the food. <gasps> you know, with chopsticks. It'd be a close match. You'd trounce him. He traveled all this way on account of the kite-making workshop. 
and he spent the whole afternoon looking after Shuyu. One was hoping to treat him to a meal. Mm. <sighs> oh, well. One will just have to extend one's thanks in person. He spent the whole day uh, playing with her daughter. Nice. Any parent would be very happy, yeah. It's rare for someone to make such a good impression on you, Cloud Retainer. That's because he's a he's a good guy. Good guy. I was gonna say a good boy, like a dog. But he really giving you that golden retriever energy. He really he? gives off the energetic puppy. I'm sorry, he does. <laughs> One has high standards. He appears to be a young man of much merit, and one is not the type who would see such potential squandered. Mm -hmm. It appears that he wishes to break free from the kite string that tethers him. Kite string? Huh, what strange metaphors you speak in, Shen He. Ever since you returned from one mean restaurant, your turns of phrase render one at quite the loss. Where do we even begin? Oh, do you know about the conflict between Ga Ming and his dad, Xin Yun? One has only heard that the two are not on good terms. Oh wow, even you heard that? Dang. He ran away from home and hasn't been back since. She was back gonna kidnap him and bring him back home. What an odd sentence. Oh? Ran away, you say? Oh. Huh. One believes we would all benefit from a more thorough retelling. Start from the beginning. Oh, uh, we're mean, just this gonna... isn't actually really our thing to talk about. Yeah, we're about to just spew the beans about this guy's personal life? What? Oh, okay. Paimon just hopes he won't mind. Yeah, th see, that's the problem right there. You can't just hope. You I know we're make... in a video game and it's all gonna work out, but at the same time... Yeah, in real, in real life, don't do this. Make it, make sure it's okay first. Mm -hmm. That can that can end friendships real fast. What? This shall not do. Yeah, oh, knew it. Lantern right fast approaches. We must make haste. Oh crap! I wonder As how they're gonna deal with this. One was contacting various tailors around Liyue. One could not help but be reminded of Minogius. Minogius? Oh. He possessed a singular talent for clothing design. He had an exquisite eye, not just for fabric selection and color pairing but also for what accessories could best accentuate a garment's overall style. Ah. This is building up toward the fashion event. Maybe, yeah. It'd be actually, actually weird if we have the Shiori fashion oh, Shiori? event. Shiori? Shiori. Uh, her fashion event, and we're just casually dropping this guy that makes really good stuff and is technically the best. Yeah, anyway. I'm assuming next patch of I Genshin. we're gonna, like... I think it's gonna be a fashion Clash kind of show of the thing. Fashion. Clash of the fashion. If it if the patch is if the, if the patch is called that, I I want I want you to buy me dinner. Why am I buying it? I don't know. Just I'm like, right. Yeah, I know. So you can in your victorious <laughs> and everything buy buy me dinner. Now I'm gonna buy something nice for myself. You're gonna buy something nice for yourself? Oh, okay. At a gathering see, see. of adepti, Bonanus once complained in secret to some of the ladies in attendance that the skirt Minogius made for her was too long and impractical, lamenting that it would only hinder her in battle. Uh huh. However, when one asked Minogius' opinion, he remarked that the train of the skirt would serve to enhance her adeptal countenance by exemplifying a certain elegance. Minogius was that type of person. Haven't we heard of When Minogius it came before? to topics relating to garments and accessories, not even Rex Lapis could best his stubbornness. Am I am I fooling myself? I feel like we've heard of Minogius before, like years ago. Maybe. And later. Whoa. <clears throat> uh, one seems to have strayed off topic. Uh-huh. One means to say that Lantern Rite should be a day of reunion. It is a time to address problems before they turn into regrets. Mmm. True. Sorry, I have a sugar glider just right there, and he's so photogenic. I had to take a picture. Yup. Fate is fickle. The cruel reality of this world is that suffering and misfortune can befall any of us without design or reason. If there is a chance for young people to remain insulated from this reality, 
One should do one's utmost to make it so. Mm. That's nice and all, but... Do you have any ideas, Cloud Retainer? Hmm. Perhaps Adeptal Arts could be of use. Oh, no, no. Mechanics, perhaps. Hmm. One fails to see its use in a situation such as this. Violent? No. No. Is there anything I can do to help? Hmm. Combining our efforts is a fine idea indeed. Aha! One has an idea! How about this? Transition to another bush? Does that make sense to everyone? <gasps> nice call. I know their hallmarks now. Yep. Oh, Paimon really hopes this works. Hmm. One's designs never fail. Now then, I counsel rest for all, and to make the necessary preparations. One shall see you in two days. Don't yawn, Daniel. I'm sorry. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. So this is gonna be one of those events where we have like three main parts and then the fourth part will be like conclusion. Maybe. It'll just be like the closing statement or whatnot. Well then. Uh, do we chill here? It's been, we've been recording for like the last two hours. Probably. We have like only a day more to record this though, so. We do. Three and four is either gonna be tomorrow or we're gonna split it up later today. I don't know which. Figure it out. Figure it out after food. After food. I need food so bad. Let's right? eat and see how we feel. Yeah, down for it. Okay, with that, oh, love you, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, what? We should grab the time dialogue first. <gasps> you're right, you're right. Add Astro. I'm gonna grab this first, just in case. Yeah. Very convenient. Add Astro. Thank you for complete. And thank you. Get out of leeway. <laughs> Get out! That's fine, it's good enough. Wow. And this now we wait. We wait for the dialogue. Oh, bro, my stomach. I'm so ready for food. I don't know what I'm gonna make. I'm gonna make a sandwich. Or maybe chips or soup? Something. I don't know. All I know is I am famoush. Famoush? Carry out the plan! Let's go find Gamin. Hope everything goes well. Yes, indeed. There. Now, we will leave it off of there for now. Okay. Unless we transition into another thing. Guys. I have no idea. The, we are, these recording sessions have been very long. And so it depends like how it's all edited down and everything and what the video, the final product looks like. This is either gonna be multiple parts or one big long video. I don't know which. We'll find out together. In the next one. In or the next scene. <laughs> Oh. Hi, Gaming! Paimon sees you've certainly gotten an early start this morning. Playing games already, are we? Hello. Who won this time? You the one buying dim sum again? Oh, he looks kind of sad. He looks... mellow. Yeah. Hey, when you put it like that, it makes it sound like I'm always the one losing. Yeah, he's sad. Ah, perfect, you're all here. Uh, there's an important commission I need your help with. All right, I've got the time. Where are the goods? I can tell something's wrong. <laughs> well, it's not just goods this time. I need you to escort a tea merchant and their wares from Chaoying Village to Liyue Harbor. Uh, a very important client has requested to meet with him. Uh-huh. Mmm. Mm. Uh-huh. Meddling. Oh. Letter Tanner, you gooby goober. Sure. Uh, what's this merchant's address? We're here. It's probably... Uh, uh, oh boy. If the client's that important, then this must be a very crucial, very pressing commission, right? Does um, Paimon know? Of probably. course, the sooner you complete it, the better. I would advise you to depart as soon as possible. Fine by me. <laughs> All right, um, don't work too hard now, Longjo. 
We will set off then. I assume we're in on it. We're in on it, but are we? Are we truly? Apparently. Well, I meant us, like the player. So can the Adepti control what parts show of them? Oh, hey, we teleported. You know, I wonder. So then does Cloud Retainer like purposely leave her claws like that? And wait, no, but maybe Gan she Yu thinks it looks, maybe she thinks it's cool. You know, like it looks awesome. Like so I mean, Gan Yu just purposely keeps her horns out. Maybe. You're a bit or quiet today, Gaming. Oh, do you want Paimon to tell a story? Uh, we're almost there. I'll take a rain check. He's nervous. You know, I don't know, because Gan Yu, like yesterday, she pointed out, like, they're really sensitive. Would you leave a weak spot open to you? I think it's probably just a core part of them. So what's Zhang Li's? Zhang Li, uh. Being old. <laughs> I think they are all old. <laughs> I don't know. I got nothing for Zhang Li. Yeah. Um, he's got the floating geo orb thing. Comet thing. That's like the best I got, man. Uh -huh. I don't know. He looks like a human. He's a very well built human, but dog? Uh, That's fine. That's fine. It's okay. It's like a extraterrestrial uh, space time dog. Sorry, dog. I can't scoot you. Whoa! I'm sorry. Sorry. We can't pet you out of there. Nor can I read your mind. <laughs> Is this his dad? You must be the tea merchant heading to Liyue Harbor. We're here to escort you. Hmm. Oh, boy. Dad? Ooh, goat! <sighs> oh, so you're Gaming's father. It's nice to meet you. Uh-huh. Just leave this delivery to him. Trust Paimon, he's got this in the bag. Gaming is super good at what he does. Mm-hmm. Everyone at the Secure Transport Agency says as much. Even the Ministry of Civil Affairs has nothing but good things to say about him. That is true, but also... Seems like you've nice. made some sort of name for yourself, at least. <sighs> Thanks, Dad. The the goods are all in order? Yes, they're all here. Then let's get going. E <sighs> Ugh, ah, man, I do not want to be here. <laughs> yeah, I really, really don't want to be here. You think otherwise, communicate it. Don't make me give you the monkey translator. The monkey translator? Yeah, from Cloudy with the Chains and Meatballs. Oh! Okay. Yeah, okay. I, A very important client has asked for you by name. You kind of have to come with us. Paimon doesn't know how we would explain ourselves if you just didn't show up. Plus, you'd be missing out on a huge money-making opportunity. Oh, wait, we're transporting the goods and him? Mm -hmm. Oh, boy. I see. I suppose I will have to trouble you all to escort me, then. Let's go. <sighs> I feel like, as a dad, I would be overjoyed if my kids were just beloved by everyone. If they were just, like, super friendly, and they were just known and loved by people. It's like... And the trick is, I think it's a mixture of pride, shame, and something else. Yeah, because his dad, I think, clearly loves him. Mm -hmm. It's just he's worried about him and not expressing it correctly. Cool I fire do, thing. Uh, what? Is this, a, is this a puzzle? I don't know, but it's worth a shot. We're going to find out. <laughs> now? Where, really now? Really? Wow, that's probably a... Something. Side quest, I guess. Maybe, yeah, for new for this area, like a little hidden interactable puzzle, something. And then there's, I think, a. Oh no, there's not an exclamation point here. Oh. I, I don't know what that's all about. I don't think that's just there for no reason, though. Oh, hi. Come on, Farina. Oh. Yeah, just tuck your legs into the teapot. There you go. Yeah, I, I hope his dad realizes, like, hey, Gaming may not make, you know, a million bucks a year or whatever. Neither but it's does like, his dad. Neither do, well, I don't know. He's a merchant, so who knows. But 
It's one of those things, it's like, if your kid's really, really happy and able to support themselves, you know? Have fun. And Enjoy. This area is gorgeous. Look at that. That is really pretty. The music is also adding a lot to this. It's so cool. Very whimsical. What does this remind me of? This reminds me of something. And I don't mean real life for anyone who's like, this is China. I, I want to go to China so badly to see all of just the land and the mountains and do those cool highways that go through the mountains. Mm -hmm. That's like sick. But I feel like this reminds me of like a game or something. It's just pretty. It's a giant bar. <laughs> a giant bar. And then bar. <laughs> and then bar. The, the bird crow. is talking. Okay. <laughs> what the heck? There's just like two people casually. I'm uh, being a person and a crow. I did not just say two people. <gasps> two bars. Wait, how would we have gotten? And none of them are goats. There to the dock. To there. Yeah, no, that makes sense. Are you trying to like calculate it in your head? Like, okay, this is the path we would take. I guess if we got a boat. Yeah, probably like a ferry or something. But we have the magic of teleportation. We traveling by foot, peasants. That's a straight peasantry. <laughs> I'm fine. Have you all been just quiet? Coming! Don't you usually have some delicious snacks on you? Come on, bring them out so we can share them. I'm fine. Thank you. That is the uh but, stop talking but voice. The winter melon cake he gave us last time was so delicious. Have you ever tried it before, Mr. Ip? Uh, Paimon. Do not want to be here. I don't want to be here. <laughs> also, something I don't think I've ever said is I really like the, um... What'd you call this? Yeah, it's not... It's almost visual storytelling, but I like, um... Oh, how Genshin's when you... way of reminding you of past things you've done. Whenever you commit... Uh, commit? Oh. Whenever commit. you complete, um, like a major side quest or a moment of... No, there's usually something that you can see in the distance. Be it like the pillar done. or the tree in the desert and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. Or uh, with Inazuma in the distance, you can see that mountain glowing. Yeah. Uh, just uh, little things. Just little side quests that you've done and you can actually physically see when you're, you're walking around. Sure like, I remember next. doing that. How about I yeah. take you on a walk? You yeah, know, that, that was like three-ish years ago. Mm -hmm. Which, yeah, that's pretty cool. Dragon Spine was the first ever update, right? Uh, yes, Dragon Spine was Which was a great scenario. update. Like, that's so cool. You have a free-to-play open-world game, and your first update is a giant mountain? That's sick. Mm. That was a really good first patch. It also added a lot of new enemies. I know a lot of people didn't like the whole uh, hot and cold mechanics. Okay, like, well, that mechanic mechanics. I enjoyed it. Daniel, you were, like, okay I'm, with it. I was okay with it. I used a pyro character, but for those who didn't, had to, you know, have one. I That was me. A bit I, I had to use all the puzzle things. I didn't actually, I didn't find it annoying. I, I, I'm, I'm I one know, of those but if people. you're running around trying not to die and suddenly have to switch a member in your party to light a campfire so you don't die. Yeah, I mean, that was me. Well, I'm just one of those people. I, I know. I'm that annoying guy who's really positive about everything. That's disgusting. <laughs> This place looks nice and open. Why don't you all rest here for a second? I assume we'll get like a heat version of that. Because I assume we'll oh, have a volcano in, in the fire. Oh, in Notlon? Probably. Yeah. yeah, I feel like Notlon will have a volcano. Well, if they go for that aesthetic, it is the place of dragons, but it's it's uh, it's, it's America, right? It's like north, south, and east. No, the Americas. East, what the freak? North, central, and south. Yes, I know my Americas. I'm from there, believe it or not. <laughs> Would you believe me if I said I was from the Americas? I know. <sighs> I know. Crazy. <laughs> huh? What about you? You're not going to join us? Hi, Cloud Retainer. Oh, yep, bird. I'm not tired. I'll keep watch. Oh, but... Just let him go. Man, I really don't okay. want to be here. <laughs> just share amongst ourselves then. Did you know, Uncle Ip, that the flavor of these cakes changes depending on... Halt! Who goes there? Oh, canonically, he uses the Black Cliff Forge sword. It, it matches his design, so... It does. Ah, one signature. Just 
You want signature weapons for I four want, stars? Or just, just him in general? I just want characters that have weapons that are aesthetically pleasing. I just want a transmog system for this game. That'd be nice. It appears that one's movements were overly conspicuous. <laughs> this is, uh... Okay, guys, I, I'm pretty sure you can't die, but <laughs> just don't die. Ga Ming uh, has some kick to him. Oh, that is so funny. <laughs> Do not die to a spin dash, please. Enough of your musings. Focus. Focus on the matter at hand. Present your exquisite ornaments at once. <laughs> <laughs> I'm robbing you! Please give me your money! Uh, I love this. They're so goofy. Indeed. Bring them forth readily and without protest. Oh, yeah, yeah okay. <laughs> uh huh. What do we do? Thus dares defy us and all that. It seems as if these two are acting alone. It won't be difficult to subdue them, but they might have something else waiting in store for Dad. The best way to keep him safe is. Beat them up. Leave this to me. I'll handle them. Traveler, Paimon, take my dad and the goods away from here. No, coming. It's too dangerous. Bruh, you're a merchant. This is what I do. A thorny foe indeed. Let us depart and seek a target softer in blows and disposition. <laughs> what? You didn't even... You didn't... Uh-uh. <laughs> Don't think I'm gonna let you off so easily. Get him! Get him! <laughs> away! Let us away! <laughs> <laughs> well then. Uh, okay. Coming! There he goes. Don't worry, he's a great fighter. Paimon's even seen him take down a dozen or so treasure hoarders all by himself. He did, in fact, do that. But coming, I. <sighs> Is there more if to he it? had just stayed by my side and learned a family trade, he wouldn't have to put himself in such dangerous situations. Yeah, he's worried about him. We just have to trust him. Let's go on ahead. We'd best get away from here in case there are other bandits in the area waiting in ambush. All is going to plan. So where does it go horribly wrong? When we actually get mugged, you know. Okay, we should be good to stop here. Uh, who the freak? I. Who are you? What? Zhongli? Oh no! What is he doing here? Wait, what is Zhongli? What? He's flying a kite. <laughs> of Hu Tao's ghost. Okay. Yep. Good sir, please listen to me. Reel in your line and leave this place as quickly as you can. There are bandits in the area. Bandits? Acting in broad daylight? <laughs> Uh huh. Oh. <laughs> Is this kind of secret? Some secret code, Paimon? It's like hillbilly. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Oh yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yep. That's what hillbilly is. Yep. Mm. Or is that slap? I don't know. What? I have. I. I know what you're going for. Yes. Ah, I see. It appears many people are catching a chill as of late. If your throat is bothering you, Paimon, perhaps some tea and rest are in order. Uh, nope, no need, no need. Paimon's fine. She just, uh, had some cake stuck in her throat. Ow. You must have figured it all out by now. They're just playing dumb on purpose. If there are indeed bandits in the area, then we should inform the Millilith at once. The guard that was escorting us is already on their tail. Oh? Well, if that's the case, such matters are best left to those with the necessary expertise, wouldn't you agree? <sighs> I suppose you're right. If ordinary people like us got involved, we would only cause more trouble. Yeah, ordinary people like all of us. Every single last one of us here. Yep. Yep. Mm-hmm. Mm. 
Since we find ourselves otherwise unoccupied in this beautiful area, why don't we find a quiet place to relax while we wait for good news? Hmm. That would be lovely. Hmm. I really like where the story's going. This is really awesome. I just don't know how it's gonna end. Cause it's all a sham, basically. Well... So, uh, Uncle Ip does have a reason to be worried. After all, Ga Ming, the guard we mentioned, is his son. Ga Ming. The name sounds somewhat familiar. Ah, yes. That is the name of the Usho dancer who has been performing around Liyue Harbor recently, is it not? The what? Wait, is it Wusho or Wu Usho? What is the uh, W silent? But I thought it was. Wu but I thought it was Wushu. It's Ushu. I. Wait. Is that right? <laughs> uh, Gaming Ga Ming says Wushu, and it's his thing. Is Gaming saying it wrong? Who's saying it wrong? What voice director's wrong? Or is Which it both one? correct? It could be one of those things where it's both <laughs> are technically correct. Is it like how technically herb and herb? Or technically or right. tomato or tomato? Even no though one no says one, tomato. No one says tomato. I've yet to see one person say tomato. Well, I haven't went over, maybe somewhere in the world. I haven't, I haven't gone all over the world. But I, let us know, do you say tomato? Is it like bottle and bowl? What? Or water or water? <laughs> you said it the same. No. Water. 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 T and D. Oh, that's in the Americas. I was talking yeah, about the, uh. Oh, wait, is there another version? What other version do you have? Like the, the British kind. The British kind. Wait, what's the... What's the British? You do it. The war? Or, no, I said that wrong. You said it wrong. It's, it's more of an O. There's no... no okay, okay. I'm There's not want to. I will admit, I'm being mean. I know what you're saying. I just really wanted you to say it. I'm sorry! I knew what you were going for. I wanted you to do it. I, you have to say the whole bottle part, though. Like a bottle of water. 40 <laughs> bottles of water. <laughs> yeah. So heads up, if you ever come Ameri to America, do be aware, we say water and water. Water, wa- It kind of depends where you are in America. Bottle, water, wa waddle? Four T. <laughs> Four T. <laughs> Wait. Deep thinking with Josh here for a moment. Do you ever notice that four T is just four and T put together? Yeah. Why? Mm. How did we take a number four or for someone, and then the word T, and then combine the two. 40. And then 40. And I say 40. I 40. just realized I do the D thing. Interesting. T or 4D. Or, or, oh. Many different pronunciations I've just, in America, and that is because our language is like water. <laughs> sloshing around everywhere. <laughs> I feel like that. Messing everything no, up. That's language in a nutshell, because there's no rules that define. Uh, not defined. Oh, uh, I don't know what the word I was looking for is. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, there's just no rules to, like, languages and everything. It, from, like, at this, today, there could be a word that does not exist. What am I saying? Today, there could be a word that, like, sounds like gibberish, and then in 40 years' time, that word will be common. Yeah, sometimes you just make up a word and it sticks. It just sticks. Then some people intentionally make very stupid-sounding words trying to make it stick, and then it doesn't stick, thankfully. You sounded very passionate about what you just said there. Do you do you have a word that you can think of off the top of your head? Quite a few. Really? Give us one. No. What? But yo, that would be so so lit, fam. See, the thing is, no one says that anymore. <laughs> like immediately. That lasted like a year. <sighs> Lay it on me, dog. Now that one is a bit more. Yeah, no, I 100% would say that. I, <laughs> I, uh, the secret to Josh speak is, uh, American surfer dude, uh, early 2000s kid. Yeah. That's, that's how I talk. And, yeah. Indeed. I cannot help but admire his skill. He truly encapsulates the spirit of the Suwani. Suwani. Suwani, See, is, the, the Suwani is the critter, yeah. Usho dancing has become more well-known in Liyue Harbor recently. However, although performers are seeing budding success, they have no doubt had to face many hurdles along the way. 
ones not so easily understood by spectators such as ourselves. You know, wait, I just realized, Gumming has the dog. That hasn't come into play with the story. No, it hasn't. Is that dog just there? <laughs> Is it just a thing? Maybe it's like chilling at Lantern Rite and it chooses him during it? I don't know. I, I guess we'll have to wait and see. We've got this part in the next. Technically, it's a part of his... Kit. Kit. Is it a part of his... Shiny thing that he has? Is it symbolic? Is it just symbolic? <laughs> Is it low-key just symbolic? I don't think so. It's it's really, at it. Do you see this dog on my arm? That's my imaginary friend, but you can see it. If you ask me, what truly deserves admiration is perseverance in the face of adversity. That is a rare attribute indeed. True enough. I have heard many of my acquaintances praise Gumming for his kind, selfless, and courageous disposition. To have a child so accomplished and upright, you must be a very proud parent indeed, Uncle Lip. Dang, hit him right where it hurts. <laughs> just gobsmacked looks on their faces. Uncle Yip? Seems like Sean Lee has decided to skip the formalities. <laughs> uh, well, he... He's a hard worker. Yes. You should be sure to tell him you think that when he gets back. I... Mm. Your son is young yet. It's normal for someone his age to be a bit hot-headed. It's understandable to find talking about such things in person difficult. If there's a particular sentiment you wish to convey, perhaps we could pass it along for you. No, no. It wouldn't be right to ask that of you. <sighs> this thing between us has festered for many years now. How long? In truth, there are some things that simply aren't easy for us to talk through. I've been in the tea business for most of my life, and I always hoped my child would do the same. Otherwise, how would he support himself? Over the past few years, I heard how well he was doing for himself as a guard. How his work was taking him to farther and farther off places. I also heard that he never gave up on Wu Show dancing. It made me happy. But I was also worried. Ah, <sighs> yep. You when you're that. young, you can handle all that physically taxing work and manual labor. What young person isn't capable of making a living that way? My concern is what happens when you get old. Every time I get to thinking like that, I cannot help but be reinforced in the belief that I was right. That I was right not to give in. Ah, you're projecting. Oh, wait, no. Wait, you're not talking give about... In. Given on your stance to your son, or not given to your want to, to do something else other than tea? What are we talking about here? Wait, wait, Every time I get to thinking like that, I cannot help but reinforce the belief that I was right. I don't, uh, continue. So, yeah. I often regret introducing him to Wu Show dancing as a kid. Wow. If I had known how things would turn out, I would have never taken him to see those performances in the first place. <laughs> That's pretty good. Yikes, dude. That's a pretty, uh, terrible take there. Yeah. It is only natural for a parent to strive to send their child down the right path. Good no job. No one would begrudge you that sentiment, Uncle Ip. You need not worry. That was a really good way to spin the conversation in a good direction. You seem quite young, Mr. Zhang Li. <laughs> Yet you speak with such wisdom. Perhaps I have misjudged your age. You look tired compared to Zhongli, actually. Your words are too kind. Truth be told, one of my old friends has several grown daughters. Ah. Rather than fretting about their future, however, she prefers to let them find their own way. Yep. For Shenhua, maybe a little too distant, but... <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, you could have been a bit... You could have maybe been a little more hands-on with her. Preferably. <laughs> the, the whole just... 
you know, eating mint mint grass in the middle of the field and stuff, you know, like nothing nothing against that. Cause I'm sure it's lovely, but you should have, you know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not a parent. Who am I? What am I to say? <laughs> but maybe. I don't know. I, like I don't know something. That she is more easygoing than I could ever be. I fear I lack such an open mind. A bit. It's good you know that. Uh, oh, I meant to say earlier, there is no need to be so polite. Uh, feel free to call me by my name, Yiptak. Yiptak. That's cool. Mm. But there's also a difference between self-aware and observant. Yeah. There's quite the difference. Sure. So, do you also think I fret too much, Mr. Zhongli? Oh, trick question, because I think it is proper for a parent to always be worried about their kids. That's just what being a parent is. Mm -hmm. But then you have to let them live, <sighs> and that means, you know... That's not exactly what I was hoping to convey. Only a fool would ask a parent not to worry about their child. Mm -hmm. But think of it this way. Raising a child is not unlike flying a kite. Hold the string too tight, and it can no longer soar. Ooh. Mm, that's actually a decent analogy. As yeah. my friend once said, if your children are aiming for the stars, clipping their wings will only cause them to come crashing down. You need to let out the line for a kite to soar. <sighs> it seems I was too stuck in my ways. Mm -hmm. You need not reproach your heart for caring. You simply need to loosen your hold a little. Indeed, with such a big heart, why not allocate the time you usually spend worrying about Gaming to the pursuit of other things? Like going for a stroll, drinking tea, or taking in the scenery. You never know what surprises could be in store. Things can change in the blink of an eye. Look at Zhongli having a really good conversation here. This writing is stellar, by the way. Mm-hmm. <laughs> The blink of an eye, you say. Do things change so quickly? Yeah, yes, in fact. Things can drastically change in the blink of an eye. Bro, I wish people would sit down more like this with drastically different viewpoints and talk it out like this more often in real life, honestly. Mm, people are more interested than arguing than talking. Yeah, it's like, come on. Children grow up in quite the same way, do they not? Day after day, year after year, sometimes in the blink of an eye, but always when you least expect it. Mm -hmm. As a father, I'm sure you know that best. I remember when Cinder was an itty bitty little baby, and now she's so big. I remember when our cat was a potato. <sighs> I remember when she now she the is palm just my hand. a very large potato. <laughs> she used to be a spud. She used to be a spud. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, you can say that again. One second, Gaming was a kid. The next thing I knew, he was ready to fly the nest. Actually, he, he, he did fly the nest. Yeah. He really did. He hopped out of that nest and learned how to fly. <laughs> yeah, yep. Sean Lee certainly has a way with words. Surprisingly. Yeah. Moment of truth. Okay. Don't let fear oh, and shame hold you back. back. Or pride. Or pride. Throw it out. All of it. Just out the just finestrate that those suckers. Hey, got me, we're over here. Dad, traveler, Paimon. Good, you're all here. Oh, and Mr. Jong Lee from the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor? You're here too? <laughs> He's like, what are you doing here? He was flying a kite. <laughs> <laughs> a fated meeting indeed. We were just enjoying some pleasant conversation. Uh, is everything resolved? Well, you could say that. What does that mean? Oh, you boogers. Traveler, Paimon, come with me. I need to talk to you. Hmm. Huh? Oh, okay. I'll come right out and say it. Those two bandits, you sent them, didn't you? Uh, wow. I did not. We actually did not, believe it or not. I did not hire them. I did not do anything like that. We may have known uh, about it. Uh, uh, so, that's how we're starting off? 
can't look me in the eye, huh? I guess I'm right then. We did not. I uh, I still stand by that. Not lying. The truth, Your Honor, is I did not do we that. We did not do that. Do a lie detector test. Boom. I'll be fine. Okay. But how'd you know? <laughs> Wait! <laughs> <laughs> Imagine actually saying I'll take a lie detector test and then it says you're lying and you're just like, but I'm not. Like actually, like you're telling the truth and you're just like, what? What is your name? Uh, Joshua. And he's lying, your honor. Uh, uh, uh Jeffrey. Nope, oh, too late. It's the truth. Wait, what? <laughs> Gilbert? King, yeah. that's the truth. <laughs> what? I'm Gilbert now. He's Gilbert. I'm hey Gilbert. guys. <laughs> the name's George. <laughs> At first, their mannerisms seemed a bit stilted. But once I got close, it was obvious that they possessed great skills. I was mm. right on their tail, and it should have taken only a few steps to catch up to them, yet somehow I was never able to close that distance. People with that level of skill would have gone about things differently from the start. Like sneaking up on us while we were distracted. Unless, of course, their real motive was to lure me away from the group all along. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Don't look at us with those cool you're eyes. pretty quick on the uptake. Hi, Mon. Yes. <laughs> I just have a lot of experience. I've dealt with many a ruthless bandit in my time, but I've never seen ones like them. In the Skilled. End, I told them they would make good guards if they ever wanted to get back on the straight and narrow. And that they could hang out with me and leave you a harbor anytime. Aww. Uh, you ever consider you might be a little too good at making friends? <laughs> Never. For people like him, it's as easy as breathing. That, I'm that's, guessing you yes. guys were trying to help resolve things between my dad and me. Yup. <sighs> I appreciate it. I, I really do. But this conflict between us has been going on for a long time. Even if those two were real bandits and. I was able to subdue them and show them what I was capable of. It, it wouldn't change anything. You've seen the way he talks to me. I have, and it's it's unsettling. It's not good. It's yeah. not like that at all. Your dad really cares about you. You should see the way he talks about you when you're not around. Zhang Li was talking things through with him, and he nearly agreed to let it go. <sighs> you don't believe us? He won't let it go. He can say as much as he wants to other people, but he won't talk to me. I'm certain of it. Will you talk to him? That's you the question. You wanted to prove yourself to your dad. Why don't you tell him about all the hard work you've done these past few years? Will that even do anything? I'm not sure talking is enough. Mm hmm. I don't think violence works either in this situation. I do, yeah, <laughs> I, I, I concur. You won't know unless you try. Just like how you won't know if something is delicious unless you taste it. That is true. Some things even smell awful, but taste actually kind of good. Or vice versa. The vice versa is a far worse exam, is a wor the worst experience. Like, wow, that smells really good. Oh, <laughs> I've, had, I've had coffee brews like that. It's like, wow, that smells delightful. That's amazing. I'm, oh! I want to oh, oh. I, I cry now. <laughs> I rather, am crying. What are you talking about? I would much rather eat something that tastes good but smells bad than eat something that smells good but tastes bad. Yeah, no, if it smells good but tastes bad, it's just going to be a scented at least candle. If it, at least if it smells bad but I drink it, I can at least be like, wow, that was surprisingly good. That reeks, but man, that was it's, good. It's like, here's a random example. I don't smoke. But certain cigars, unlit, smell great. Unlit. Unlit. If you light them, they smell like crap. But unlit, very nice. I am. Uh, I was going to say unfortunately, but I don't know. Maybe it's <laughs> maybe it's for the best. I can't stand the uh, smell of cigarettes when they're lit. It is. I don't think that's a bad thing considering it, it's pretty much poison to you. you like going, just breathing in it. In in general, I think, right? I mean, putting anything in your lungs is not great. <laughs> just <you>. hum, gas. <laughs> well, I mean, just any kind of thing that's not, you know, uh, oxygen. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. Even but then, yeah. pure oxygen isn't great for you either, for, you know, if you do that little. 
Anyway, that's yeah, been, you know, but I used to know someone who would, uh, they oh. didn't smoke whatsoever, but they would just put cigarettes, these were like really nice smelling cigarettes into mm -hmm. their car because they were like scented candles, basically. Yeah, because they would smell nice. Yep. And it would make the car smell nice and then they just chuck them after like a week. Mm -hmm. It's interesting. Yeah, it's when they're lit that it's like, oh. <laughs> I have to run away now. <laughs> it's like lighting a fire with a bunch of rats. I just, okay. I, I, I scurry right out. I, always, I, dude, I feel bad though when someone like, is a smoker by me? Cause it's like, I'm not trying to be rude to you. I just cannot breathe the stuff and everything. Cause I feel like I'm going to pass out and everything. It, it kind of actually caused me to pass out. It, it will. I don't know what about me and my body. Just there's nothing about me agrees with it. <laughs> yeah. Listen to us. It's time to put these people skills to good use. You can make friends with anyone. So why not your dad? Good luck. We'll be rooting for you. <laughs> I'll do my best. <laughs> you are very knowledgeable, Mr. Zhongli. I'm impressed. You sound so familiar. Who are you? I don't know. Despite my being in the tea industry for several decades, it seems, I still have much to learn about the art of tea tasting. You flatter me. It was nothing but a few humble musings. Tea have you drank since we've been gone? I like it was alcohol. <laughs> Ip Doc and I have found many a common interest. Our friendship, much like a cup of tea, seems to grow stronger the longer it has to steep. Well said, Mr. Zhongli. Gaming, Mr. Zhongli is very knowledgeable. You should take the opportunity to learn from people like him when you're in the city. Yeah, no, actually, that's not terrible advice. Huh? Oh, uh, of course. Ahem. Young Lee. Whoever wrote this, by the way, knows exactly what to say as, like, or how to write a dad character like this. Especially an awkward dad. Yeah. That sometimes says the wrong thing. Or phrases things just a little, like, okay. <laughs> I have very much enjoyed our conversation, Ipdok. But I, unfortunately, have some unfinished funeral parlor business to attend. <laughs> Got some dead people to go take care of. Mm -hmm. Oh, I, I hope I didn't keep you. I don't remember the reason. Why is he worked with the funeral, funeral parlor again? <sighs> Just lacks work He's a consultant. So... Yeah, what do you consult with a funeral parlor? I guess parlor? he just knows a bunch of ceremonies, I guess. And then probably knows the people as well in the ways of doing things. So yeah, maybe that's it. I guess. I, yeah, I don't. Apologies I don't for know. taking up so much of your time, Mister Zhongli. No need to stay on my account. When you're less busy, let's find a time to meet. I'll treat you to dim sum. It would be an honor. Zhongli, you two have a nice chat, all right? Please take us with you. No, don't leave us here, please. Take the cameraman. Oh, you got your wish. Oh, thank you. But I'll still listen. Should we sit? Uh, sure. There you go. This is a I really long legs. Are <laughs> I don't think it works like that in Genshin. No, it doesn't, but it, it mentally helps. It Thanks looks faster. Us talk things through with Uncle Ip. Good thing you were able to pick up on what we were putting down. I have been around the both of you for some time now. You could say I have a certain level of expertise in that regard. You can read Paimon. Nice. Mm. As for my role in the conversation, think nothing of it. I hardly did anything noteworthy. Untrue, actually. You said a lot of good things. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you never change, do you? Uh, why did you have us walk all this way? Paimon thought we just had to go far enough to be out of earshot. I mean, we're not that far away, Paimon. A friend approaches. Nice. Hello. Oh! Hey, everyone's Hello. here. I've been here the whole time. Yeah. Are you just invisible? He, no, super hearing. 
a oh, ghostly uh, kite. Could that elusive director who be coming to Wangshu Inn once again? Hey. What is she doing here? Uh, I suppose it matters not. Given her relationship with Rex, well, Zhang Li, I might as well go pay my respects. Hey! Call back! He was willing to talk to someone without them instigating the conversation. Well, I mean, last time she dragged him out of this place. <laughs> that would leave an impression. Yep. Uh. <sighs> Oops. It's you. I thought you were Director Who. Ah, your arrival is most fortuitous. Do you want to try out this new gadget? Shung Li's just playing with the new- The addition of the power source makes the takeoff more stable. It's just that... He seems quite immersed in the study of this device. How does it work? I, it's just like a little fan put on a kite. And it just, I know, but it looks like a big hunk of metal. I mean, maybe it's a very powerful fan. How would that work? I have no I, I kind of want to make one now. That'd be kind of cool. DIY I fear project. It's almost too stable. It completely negates the pleasure of seeing one's kite sway with the wind. Ooh. It's a bit of a shame. Yeah, that's a good point. I, I mean, don't it, see it on that kite, actually. I mean, it's actually kind of swaying right now. Shh, Dale, shh, shh. Truth, you cannot silence. In shh. truth, I'm here because Director Hu dispatched me to purchase some items in preparation for Lantern Rite. I see. Much like she does every year. Much like she'll do next year, I would imagine. Hmm. Am I wrong? Or has she once again sent you out to buy, what is it, sesame oil or something? How <laughs> he said that. While we're on the subject, I do wonder why she's so <laughs> obsessed with using sesame oil in the preparation of mixed vegetable dishes for lantern rite. A recommendation from Shang Ling, perhaps. What do you think, What Shang? is, what, wait. Mm. Sesame oil? You know, I don't know if I've ever... Is that a real thing? I'm assuming that's a real uh, thing. I guess it is. Yeah, I've only met Director nice. Who a few times. I'm hardly the best person to ask. Well, you've only met her a few times, and yet she still dragged you out last year. <laughs> yeah, she has that energy. Ah, and is that not a sign that you should visit Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor more often? It wouldn't hurt to grace the parlor with your presence now and again when you are otherwise unoccupied. I love what they've done with Xiao's character. I, 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 sorry, that's totally, that's on topic and off topic at the same time, but. Oh, it is sad. It is mostly in events. Yeah, no, it new is. players won't be able to experience. If, if you're a new player, you definitely will have to look up the cutscenes of past, You're gonna like, go from his story quest where he's super edgy and gruff. And coming, to, becoming better, becoming better by the end. True. But. But then jumping to whatever event he shows up into later, it's like, oh it my is, goodness, what happened to you? It. I think if you're new and you don't know, you're just going to think, okay, he lightened up after the story quest and everything and some time has passed. I think that's how you'd take it. But as someone who's played it from day one to now, it feels so natural. And Xiao is mm -hmm. easily probably the best developed character in Genshin, actually. Actually, uh, event wise, also Albedo, most of his character yes. development has been in some really important details as well. Yeah, Albedo and Xiao have had some awesome moments, and I kind of can't wait to see Albedo again. It's been a while, actually. It has been. Uh, he'll probably show up in the. Uh, I know there's not. Well, that'd be cool if he showed up in Next Patch with Chiori and everything. Mm -hmm. That'd be fun. I don't think he will, but I. He's an artist, so maybe he'll do some design something. That'd be cool. I'd not take sure it. If that's his expertise of art. Bro, he. I don't, I don't care. Show up. <laughs> show up. No, but yeah, actually, don't don't show up because then you'll be no, on the banner. No, you're gonna be on the banner. Okay, no. never mind. Don't do that. Never mind. Ignore that. Take it back. I take Put it back. Put him on a banner where I'm not interested in like anything else, and then I can finally get Albedo because I have really? a sword. I have a ton of artifacts. I have literally everything for him. And you have uh, 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 Navia now, who really likes Albedo. So there's we have every reason to pull him now. Give Please. us time. Do not. Do not. Do not have him come with like either Chiori. Or uh, the knave. Don't do not dare do that. With I'm the gonna knave. be so mad if he comes he back in those if patches. They, if they bring him back with the knave, I'm gonna be so upset. <laughs> I can see it now. Actually, I hate that I can see it. I can see the knave and then him right there. Because the Albedo thing. just sadly is not one of their top sellers, so they always bring him back with like another character that they know everyone will pull. Because then it, like it so buffers cool. the padding of the money they Even make. Even Albedo is. Really stinking He's really good. good. This one here is a traditional kite, one without any equipped mechanical device. 
Director Hu tasked me with studying the differences between the two to determine which one is of greater merit. Ah. Many hands make light work. Perhaps you could test out the other kite for me? Aw. All right. This is wholesome. I have made my comparisons. If speed is what you're after, the mechanical kite is the better choice. Wonderful. I shall pass that information along to Director Hu. I'll leave these two kites with you. Perhaps you can find a few friends with which to partake in the activity. You might find it to be an enjoyable use of your time. Mm, and I'm guessing Hu Tao is interested in winning the prize. Oh, uh, wait. Who enjoys kite flying? In Genshin? I don't know. I'm okay with it. Yeah, I, I, I like it in real life, but in Genshin, I can't speak for anyone but myself. I feel like my kite always gets destroyed by the end of the day whenever I fly one. Uh, we live in a place that's very windy, so that's just kind of to be expected. I know, but I feel like every time I have fl tried to fly, fly a kite, it's been a few times where breaks. it hasn't been destroyed. And then it breaks the next time. Maybe. It's usually know. the first to it's, second time. We probably are just buying cheap kites, if I'm being honest. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> well, I would imagine someone of your talent and wisdom is more than capable of finding out. So, you were testing out the kites for Hu Tao and even roped Xiao into doing it for you? Paimon didn't ask earlier because the situation was uh, awkward. <laughs> Very. I would hardly say I roped Xiao into anything. I simply sought the help of a friend. Besides, we did the testing together. That's wholesome. Uh, seems like our pool of competitors is growing. Uh, competition's not important. It's not the important thing right now. Do you like kite flying, Xiao? I like how the other one is. It doesn't matter. We'll win anyway. Oh, yeah. Main character energy, I tell you, man. <laughs> Careful, man. Not every main character wins every battle. That's true. In fact, I'm more impressed when they don't. <laughs> I suppose I neither like nor dislike it. Although, watching a kite gradually ascend into the sky does bring me a certain peace of mind. Perhaps they're a bit like shell lanterns in that way. I guess if you want to see it like that. Especially if you light it on fire. Oh, wait, no. Bad idea. Hmm. Kite flying is also a pleasant form of relaxation. Have you ever thought about making a kite, Xiao? Cloud Retainer taught us how. We can teach you if you want. There's no need. Minogius was the only Yaksha among us who had an interest in matters of ornamentation and design. Yep. Let us play as them, Genshin, please. It's Especially the big buff guy. And keep is, him is that Minogius? buff. I'm so sorry I interrupted you. Keep him that buff? Yeah, Just I keep agree. him that buff. Minogius Give us a big man with four arms. Was Minogius the one that uh, looked like Zhongli, but wasn't? I think so. I don't- who the freak was Minogius? I don't know, but I want to play as them so badly, and they're all adorable together. Oh, the Yaksha? Yeah. There's a big old happy family, they're adorable. When they were. And then they killed each other. Here, keep it and going, we'll but I'm, I'm looking at I'm looking up Minogius. I want to see which one that was. I'm pretty sure we've heard that name. Sisters? Genshin Minogius. Min what? My fat thumbs. Min typed in Min you Minfolius. You your big fat thumbs. Yeah, I called it! Look at that. Called it. Yeah, let us play as him. Let's go. He looks awesome. I know who I'm talking about. When Lantern Ride is over, come find me near Pervasi's temple if you have the time. In fact, he actually looks more like a dragon than Chocolate does in his human form. Yeah. Uh, sure. <clears throat> it's getting late. I should go inform Director Hu of our findings. How has she been, by the way? Be sure to say hi to her for us. The last time I spoke to her, she mentioned that she would be visiting Chaoying Village in a few days. If you have the time, perhaps you could also make the trip. If you happen to run into her, you can pass along your regards in person. We'll keep that in mind. Take care, shall we? See you later! See you next time. Bye-bye. Sorry, that was cringe. Bye-bye! <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it was great. Uh.
Ah, speaking of cringe conversations. <sighs> Cameraman went back. Gunning. Here's the thing. Here's the ah! thing. Cameraman can't die. We know this to be a proven fact. They so, can suffer, though. Yeah. So here we go. Also, I hate the awkward silence to uh, the eventuality of talking at the same time. <sighs> it's a great trope. Uh, you can go first. I don't have anything to say. Yes, you did. I'm gonna poke I'll you. Go. I still don't want to leave Liyue Harbor. Oh. I can't say I support that decision, but... <sighs> Come on, listen. Listen. Hey, let me finish before you get all worked up. <sighs> okay, good. Good, the dad isn't getting temperamental either. Good. Sit, Shinha, sit. You must be tired from your journey. Shall I pour you a cup uh, of tea, or would you prefer something else to drink? Hi? Oh, is this a part of it? I assume. No need, I'm not tired. Please don't put on a fake argument. Don't go that way, please. I don't think it'll go that way. They're gone, Master. Perfect. The time is nigh for us to make an appearance. Do you remember the plan one recounted to you? Yes, Master. We aim to give them a demonstration of familial love. <laughs> and it's you two? And it's... I mean, they they have a wholesome relationship. Do not get me wrong. I would not call them normal, though. Like... A, a demonstration of familial love. You know what? But that looks different to a lot of different people and everyone's got their quirks, so... You know what? They're great. They'll be fine. This is gonna be hilarious and cringe maybe, all at the same time. Maybe... Maybe a different... I love Shenhua. But maybe, um... Maybe one of your other daughters for a demonstration would have been... How a dare you? Choice. How dare you say or imply that maybe Shenhua... Everyone Shenhua's is thinking it. It's like, ah, here, daughter, would you like a plate of, a plate of grass? And she'd be like, ah, thank you, mother. They'd just be sitting over there going like... <laughs> but that we're is... the normal ones. Uh-huh. So I'll have whatever you are having. All right. You said that so... Firmly. What are Auntie Shen Yun and Shen He doing here? Just how many people are involved in this scheme? I suppose all I can do is just take a seat and see what happens. I'm gonna, I'm gonna barely make it through this, man. <sighs> Deep breaths. Deep breaths. Perfect. I just so happened to have bought some Sunglow tea recently. Yeah. It's quite the delectable variety. I'm glad. I'm glad you did. <laughs> I'm glad you did. And it would be if one has not been forced to drink it every day in the hopes of whittling down one's considerable stash. One has more than had one's fill already. Yeah, this is why you don't buy in bulk. I mean, it's good to buy in bulk to a degree, but, you know, oh, pace it. yourself. Such thoughts detract from the present need to keep up the conversation. Yes. Has work been busy during the holiday season? Do you need my help with anything? Uh -huh. Drunk guests can sometimes cause trouble, but I deal with them as you taught me, by pinning their heads against the table. Perfect! Yo, never mind! This is mother. legit! Gr uh -huh. Yes. <laughs> Are Auntie Xian Yun and Shen He serious right now? Yes, why? She's deadly serious. That was a joke. I got that. <coughs> oh dear. While one was busy orchestrating this act, one seems to have forgotten about Shunna's various eccentricities. Yep. <clears throat> what, what, uh, what I meant to ask was, have you made any new friends? We live so far from each other. It would be a great comfort to me to know you were surrounded by good companions. Huh. You already know of my past circumstances. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Recently, I've been conversing with Guoba in the kitchen at night. Guoba can't talk, but his companionship is a comfort. Would you believe that he's the, the poor child? Her one friend can't even talk. <laughs> Dang. 
This is not going as planned. I guess maybe Garmin didn't <laughs> so bad after all. Perhaps I've been too hard on him. <laughs> you know, this went way I better. I got a wheeze out of me. <laughs> Dang, I don't do that often. <laughs> no, you do not. <laughs> it's it's a treasure when you do it. Man, I, I'm loving this. This is a good. This is a good quest. It's good. <laughs> I can't. The, the face on Ga Ming is perfect. I have nothing to add to that. That <laughs> is just beautiful. <laughs> Let's move on, shall we? Do you have any plans for today, Shen He? Uh -huh. How about we do something fun? That sounds about right. Take her to do something fun, and perhaps don't she'll drink tea. Don't drink bit. tea, please. Don't drink tea when you're. Like we used to do when we would carry stones up and down the mountain from dawn until dusk, picking herbs to eat for dinner along the way. If that is what you ask of me, then that is what I shall do. <laughs> Look at that. She's suddenly realizing maybe I should have raised her slightly differently. <laughs> yep, I'm noticing my past mistakes when you say it out loud like that. <laughs> yeah, that's the best way, by the way. <laughs> yeah, that's the, I saw that coming. <laughs> As soon as he, yep. Dad, uh, here, have some tea. Or, or no, wait, let's not have any just yet. <coughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I simply can't listen to that any longer. <laughs> Coming. I'd like to finish what I was trying to say before. I don't support your decision to stay in Lido Harbor <coughs> because living there is too hard on you. If you come home, there will be people to help you. I'm not saying we have to live under the same roof. I know our personalities are too similar to avoid butting heads. But you'll have your entire family around you. Oh. Your aunts, uncles, they'll all do whatever they can to help. You could get a less taxing job, and we could... We could grab dim sum together from time to time. Huh. I didn't know dim sum was such an important affair, Master. Shh. <laughs> Just think about it. Okay? You don't have to decide now. Dad really has changed a lot. He would never have said these things to me before. But I... <sighs> Still want to do what you want to do. Thank you, Dad. The thing is, let the bridge be there. It's okay for that bridge to be there, because if you ever need a place to go... But, you know, like, visit your dad every so often. Yeah, visit your family, let them know that, you know, you still... Grab some dim sum with them. Yeah. You know, occasionally. Let them know you're alive and everything, and then, you know, keep doing what you're doing. It's been long enough, don't you think? Oh, I'm unsure hopes they've made up by now. Oh, they're drinking tea in silence. That's not a good sign. Did Xian Yun's plan not work after all? <laughs> uh, you know. Uh, hey you two! Paimon's sorry we were gone for so long. We got to chatting with some friends and didn't realize how much time had passed. Perfect timing, actually. We seem to be just about done here. Yep, uh, let's go. I'll get the bags. Gaming has grown a lot taller, hasn't he? Oh. <laughs> hey. I'm oh, sorry. <clears throat> hey, wait. <gasps> there we go. Oh. Master, did I say something wrong earlier? I tried to go along with your questions, but when I saw how you and that man reacted, I started to wonder. No, you answered it honestly. <sighs> Not at all. Certain unforeseen variables may have presented themselves along the way, but the outcome proved favorable. The plan was a success. You know, Cloud Retainer, maybe you could have packed like lunches for your like training when you're carrying rocks and maybe instead of eating grass and herbs, maybe stop like with a sandwich or a salad if or you want like a stick. You were some to something. I don't know. Something. Anything other than herbs. And it's like, ah, she is enjoying herself. 
You know what's really wholesome to me though is that when she asked, <clears throat> when she asked Shenhua like, like, do you want to have fun later? She immediately is like, oh, training and herbs. That's wholesome. I like to imagine like the first time they were doing it, Cloud Retainer's like, okay, she looks pretty hungry. I wonder what we'll do. And she just looked back and just saw her eating grass. Like, oh, that's fine. Oh, I guess she's okay. Yeah, don't need to go buy food now. It'll be perfect. <laughs> Humans can live off grass, right? Apparently. <laughs> then I helped. Yes. Yes, you did. Remind me again, Shenhua is like a half human, half adeptus, right? No, she's human. Right. But didn't she have some kind of power or something? Uh, she's... Uh, she, she like, she killed, she killed the monster and everything. Yeah, I'm trying to remember her backstory. All I remember is the red strings on her help her not, uh, or help her deal with the, her murderous, um, Yeah, it's intent. the murderous intent, because she killed the monster and everything, right. Because she was a sacrifice, I think, yes. I think so. That was it. She's like, you know what, instead of being eaten, how about I kill the thing? It's like, you go, girl. <laughs> girl power. <laughs> Naturally. Your purity of spirit is one of your greatest strengths, Shenhe. True. You need not change who you are. <sighs> you you could have done a little better job, you know, maybe raising her, but you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. see, that's on Cloud Retainer, though. That is not on Shenhua. Shenhua has just got to be herself. That's that's what she got to do. That's what she has to do. Where to now? Ah, Charlotte. I forgot. Yeah, you were in the you were in the beginning of this quest. Yeah, you're involved with the flying mechanic of Bigger Benzons. The what? Hello. You must be Mr. Ip. Thank you for coming all this way. My name is Charlotte, and I'm a reporter from Fontaine. You can find me writing for the Steambird. I invited you here not just to purchase your fine tea, but also with the hope that you might be willing to sit down for a short interview. What do you say? An interview? To advertise my teas? That's big. I suppose you could think of it that way. We Fontanians are big tea drinkers, too. The Fontaine Market. Then I'll need some time to adequately prepare. Perhaps we could sit down and discuss the questions you intend to ask in advance. By the way, this is a very real thing. Whenever you ever see an interview, be it live, on a... Like, uh, I think live streams are more raw, like with like YouTubers and stuff like that. You get it. But when well, it comes to like, sometimes they're poorly planned, but, but you, you know, usually still... go, you, you usually, uh, the host will usually go over like the kinds of questions they'll ask. Yeah, I know. But when it comes to like newspapers or TV or anything, all the stuff is like already written down. They're like, these are the things you're going to ask or we're going to ask you. T occasionally they'll throw in a curveball that wasn't planned. Yes. And you can definitely see it when it happens. Cause the person mm -hmm. will be like, oh. Uh, 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 some of the best interviews out there, by the way, have you ever seen, uh, it's it, it's Henry Cavill, right? Who does Superman and everything. I think so. H have you seen some of the interviews where they ask him about like his gaming knowledge or something about like the Witcher or they'll say like, do you have any other things? And he'll go off about like Warhammer or World of Warcraft. Mm -hmm. And then like the co-stars around him will just like, they just, they just don't know what to say. And they just kind of all sit there really awkward. Mm -hmm. Just kind of looking around like. Are we for real right now? You know, are we talking real? video games right now? It's well, yes, we are. Yes, we are. And he's the one in the right. And yes, and he's literally the Chad in the middle of everyone just doing this. And everyone He's else. the cool one. You're not. It's like, it's it's fine to not like video games, but it's so funny to watch how awkward sometimes the people look around him. I know, but sometimes whenever the, whenever an actor is a, more of a nerd. Because he's so real. He yeah. genuinely is so just like, this is what I like. Mm -hmm. This is me. In I know, but you occasionally see like a co-star or like the uh, other person like look at him weird. Like, what? What? Video games? Oh, what? Gross. And they just look like the jerks. Oh, bro. Dude. Okay. Out of con there's context. There's two friends. This is so, this is so off topic of this video. But uh, on that topic, I recently saw an interview where some like random clip asked uh, the guy who played Edward, but also is uh, Crud, what is his name? He's Batman now. Oh, you're talking about that clip. That clip where they talk about Final Fantasy and they talk about Tifa and Aerith and everything. Mm -hmm. And Catwoman is just, the girl who plays Catwoman is just like judging them. What the flip? She's she's messing. A lot of people took that clip and like kind of like slammed her for it. She was just having fun. This is like a friend of hers. They seem to be nice and friendly to each other. She mm. definitely teased him a bit for it. But yeah, it's definitely the, the the gamer in the room with the non-gamer in the room, and it's just 
hearing him talk about like the waifu and everything of who's better waifu material with someone who has no clue what the heck is going on was great. Look that up if you want to see it. It is fantastic. I think it's like a Quite Batman fun. interview or something. Something like that, considering that those two are there. Yeah. Of course, of course. Please follow me. Is this person is also involved in your plan? I have no idea. She's the very important client. And here I thought I had lots of connections. <sighs> I suppose I've been humbled. You sure know all kinds of cool and important people. Well, they're usually the playable ones. Over here. Yoo-hoo! Over here! Uh-huh. <laughs> even, Shen Yun? even in human form, I really struggle to not see a crane standing there, if I'm being honest. Yeah, she does stick out like a crane. Yeah. She probably wants to talk about the next phase of the plan. Let's go while your dad is still distracted. Aha, uh -huh, yes. No, okay. Just making sure. That's dangerous, but fun. I take it that all is going well? Don't worry, Shenyun. Everything is going according to plan. I knew it. I knew that was all an act earlier. Auntie Shenyun is really something. <sighs> yep, all an act. A whole conversation. It all planned. She was so determined to help me. She didn't even care about making herself and Shanka appear foolish in front of my family. She truly knows how to look out for others. I still have a lot to learn. Yep. And so a misunderstanding was born. <laughs> but a good one at that. A good one. A misunderstanding nonetheless. <laughs> As for the next step. Oh no. What's wrong, Gaming? Don't tell me you're the ones footing the bill for all that tea. I can't let you do that. Nah, we're rich. In game. Yeah. Fret not. Reimbursements will be made. Exactly. Think of it more as an investment, as Ningguang would say. Yeah. We pulled together the Mora so that Charlotte could place the order. She's going to bring it back to the Steambird as a gift, as well as a sample of the regional specialty. Fontanians will probably fall in love with your dad's tea as soon as they lay their eyes on Charlotte's article. And once all the money from the new orders begin to roll in, getting our Mora back will be a piece of cake. Spend money to make money. Yep. Oh, okay. Business-related matters always seem to go over my head, but I refuse to let you all lose Mora on my behalf. I'll pay you back right now. No. Oh. We can talk about such matters at a later date. There are more important matters for you to consider at the moment, are there not? Also, like, low-key, actually, probably a bill that has a few zeros on it. You probably don't want to do that. At least two. Uh, I'm, I was thinking at least, like, five or something. Oh, that's kind of hot. It's <laughs> kind of hot! Did you say, were you going to say hot or high? Which one? No, don't do this bullcrap where you just don't answer me, and so you yes. just leave it to- No! Also, Cinder, are you okay? <laughs> Cinder is in one of the rooms, chilling out, playing with something. I don't know what I've she's doing. I've been thinking about it the whole way here. I have an idea. Oh? What? But I'd hate to cause even more trouble for all of you. Hmm. That is for us to decide. Indeed. Accurate. Yeah, we're all friends here. Plus, we wouldn't be here if we didn't want to help, right? Just tell us about- Okay. Whew. So, tell us about the plan. Like the idea of yours. Uh, Daniel, this is not the time to be doing one's hair. Sorry. <laughs> I felt a knot. <laughs> There's a crane in the water. Got it. Just leave it to us. Super easy. Hardly an inconvenience. Wait, why didn't we didn't hear the plan again? Let's why do you do this? Make it happen. No, why? Why do you do this to us? So then we can be surprised on the plan. But we have to do the plan. Well, we're not in on we the plan. We need to do those things we talked about, but we also still have the kite flying competition. Paimon, what things did we talk about? I will tie you to a string. Since Xiao already tested out those kites for us, 
Why don't we also go buy one of those mechanical thingamabobs or whatever they're called? We actually bought... it to our kite! We bought them all. You just slap it onto the kite? I guess. I thought it was like made with it in mind. Doesn't it need to be... No, it just attaches to the kite. Well, like when... It just, just attaches to the kite. Well, I don't think that's how that no, works. No, you just click it on. No. Just, kites are made of sticks. That's not you how put that it works. on the stick. Oh, it's just made of sticks. Click. Is it that easy? Yep. Sticks and cloth. A special cl kind wow. of cloth. Wow. Boom. Just fan goes on there and boom. Works like magic. See? Like magic. Like magic. Hello again. Welcome back. I see you returned from your trip. I really do have to thank you for all your help from before. Thanks to you, my daughter was able to build a kite with her grandmother that very same day. She even wrote a long letter telling me how much she loved it. What? I'm sorry, who? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be rude, but <laughs> who? Wait, did I forget? We've done this quest over a few days, so am I forgetting something? I don't think so. Are you talking about the kite making class? Oh, you should really be thanking Gaming, not us. Oh, it was the package. The package we delivered with Gaming. Okay. Ah. Oh. I was like, what granddaughter? I was like, wait, what grandmother? What? What is what? <laughs> I'll be sure to. And are you here to buy a kite? Please, take your pick. Oh, we already have a kite. We want to buy them. one of those, um, device thingies from Fontaine. Do you sell them separately? Ah, yes. Here you go. Please, take it, free of charge. The directions are in the box. It's not hard to install at all. Um, it doesn't feel right for us to just take it. Well, nor would it feel right for me to take your Mora. <laughs> Good luck in the kite flying competition. I'll be rooting for you. Mm -hmm. All right then, thank you. Uh oh, it's hey, flying it's time. I mean, I think it's, I think Cloud Retainer and her daughters are probably a shoe, to, a shoe in the wind. But you know, no. we'll try. This is now the kite flying competition arc. Yep. Where we have kite offs. Let's get down to business. To, to the fly. Oh, what? The planes. The planes? Like we I don't know. We to do. Hills, valleys, planes. I don't know. Did we, um, did we miss the interview? Could we have talked to them? I didn't think about that. Wait, they're behind you. Yeah, you're right. Keep going. Right. Crap. Oh, were they there? They were uh, to your left. Yeah, Charlotte and the guy. Okay. Well, I didn't see them! Flip, man! Ah, well. Man, MiHoYo Games, you, you have to be so careful to not miss dialogue when it comes to, like, the little optional story bar part things. Barts. Barts. I don't know what I'm saying. English is hard. Story it's, it's hard? It's starred, man! <sighs> well. <laughs> oh! Ooh, cutscene time! Oh! Really? Cutscene in part three? Okay. Okay. Aww. That's adorable. Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. Ah, oh, that's that's adorable. Soothes the soul. Ah, oh, and they're all dressed up and madam. Ping, yeah. Oh. Yes. I think so. Well, no. Ooh, I don't know. That's that one guy and his daughter. Oh, look at him. Come here. Allow me. Ah. Uh. I'm on fly. Oh. Dim lights. Oh, what's going on? Did something happen? Uh, what should we do? Oh, should we get the mill? Wait, is this not intentional? I don't know. Oh, okay. It is. What's that? A boss. Oh, that's sick. That was very nicely animated. Ah, oh, he's walking on water? How? Farina? <laughs> Woo! Oh, that's very fun. 
That is very fun. How in the Nouvellet's giving him a pass, you know? <laughs> oh, this is cool. Woo! I would love to see one of these performances in real life. Mm -hmm. Okay, that was cool. Oh, they're here. Whoa! Hold up! Whoa! Wait a minute! <laughs> what is oh, hey, no. Wait a sec! Hey, I mean, it's cool, but... We're doing an anime moment here! Oh, that looks uh -huh. sick. That's low-key a thumbnail right there. Woo! Okay, what is happening? This is just a lot of fun. Who did the direction on this? This is awesome! Man! Dang! Aww. Seriously! Everyone at MiHoYo's cooking lately, man! Mm-hmm. Aww. Just a reminder, she's not wearing Have her skin, by the way. Pictures already? Oh. Uh, I need to load more film. Oh, crud. What? Oh, kites. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, Spider-Man's coming by, Daniel. Ah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Aww. Oh, it's not gonna show ours because no, I'm gonna. Play. Oh, that's another picture, maybe for a thumbnail. Whoa, whoa, what? What? Wait, the wind. <gasps> oh, well, that's gonna help. Nah. This cutscene is so long! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Being as chaotic as ever. Freaking, she's such a gremlin. Happy Lantern, right? <laughs> Happy Lantern, right? That's awesome. Come on. Aww. What in the- this That's is the kite great. they made, too. <laughs> Come on, give him a hug. Give him a hug. Oh, that's actually really sweet. I'm tearing up. I'm not- I mean, I'm not. What? Man. Man. We don't feel emotions or whatever. <laughs> we punch our emotions. <laughs> yeah, right! <laughs> <laughs> that was so cool, Pineapple almost wanted to join in! You saw that, right, Traveler? Let's go Bro. find him! Dad. This is the part where you don't walk up to them. Why are we walking up to them? Because we're the main character. Uh -huh. This is where you would just like, you know, make like a tree and leaf and all that. You would not know. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, kitty cat time. It was because of the pun. My pun summoned the kitty. Hi, good girl. This is her idea. Uh, her... Come over to me too. <gasps> there you go. Ed. Oh, well, it was momentary. Yeah. <laughs> it was, you got it. She gave you some attention. Boring. It's her daily, uh, I need to come and remind you I am here and uh, stop playing video games for a sec. The important one is here. The important one is here. When I am here, nothing else matters. <sighs> that was a really good cutscene. That was. I think I'll head off now, if that's okay. Also, that was the beautiful rule of it doesn't need to make sense if it's cool and fun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they also really, really want you to pick Gaming. Oh, no. Gam and Gaming is great for new players, honestly. His damage is actually crazy. It's insane. Mm. I'm actually kind of sad he's not a five star or his damage would like just peak. Peak. But him being a four star is more, you know, uh, constellation friendly. Yeah. No, this is true. And his constellations are good. Good girl. Do you want us to walk you back? No need, no need. Master is waiting for me right over there. <sighs> hmm. Son. Man, you guys have... You guys are the same. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Well, at least you're laughing now, and it's not as awkward. I suppose I'll go first this time. There you go. Okay. 
your performance. I've seen many wushou dances in my time, but I've got to admit, what you pulled off there was breathtaking. Wow. I... I never thought I'd live to hear you say that. Oh, that's so cute. You're serious about doing this professionally? Uh, I'd say. A absolutely. I, I know it'll be difficult, but... Then it doesn't matter. There you go. Aww. What I mean to say is, of course it'll be difficult. But if that's your decision, if that's your dream, then it doesn't matter how difficult it is. As long as you put in the work, then any obstacle can be overcome in time. Honestly, most dreams are like this. Most dreams require a fair bit of work. That's a lot the, of hard work. Yep, that is the reality of a dream. Mm -hmm. And it makes it really when better, I was young, I in also, my opinion. <laughs> actually, how about we save that story of my past for another time? All I really want to say is... I've changed my mind. And much like this kite, you also deserve to soar to new heights. Good job, Zhongli! Dad. Man, if Gaming was a five star, this would make me pull him. <laughs> this entire, oh, no, this 100%. Made me 100%. This is one of the, uh... I said this about Cloud Retainer's quest, so I'm gonna... I'm, man, I'm really putting myself out there. Uh, some of my favorite quests have been from this patch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cloud Retainer's quest and this I mean, quest. they just made Gaming a really likable character. Who is... I, all these... They're different. MiHoYo is one giant company. Oh, but... Hi. hi, Cinder. But everyone at MiHoYo is cooking. Impact 3rd is launching part 2 officially. Mm -hmm. uh, Panacone, Star Rail, and uh, Fontaine's every patch from 4.0 of Genshin has just been 10 out of 10. No, mm -hmm. I'm... I'm really enjoying it. Freaking... Son... Son? <laughs> Haven't heard that in a while. Well, he said it twice, but you talk, you guys said it at the same time, you know. Well, actually, he said Gaming. The subtitle said Son. Oh, you're right. Huh. Because, you know. Sub translators. No, not even translators, <laughs> just subtitle people. What? I bet you're wondering what's gotten into me saying all this. Please do not post that. <laughs> the cat's right by the stop record button. Okay. Well, um, <laughs> a little bit, yeah. Anyway, I know I've never found the chance to say this before, but... <clears throat> say it. To me, Gaming, you've always been a great kid. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right. That's everything I've got. Did you have something you wanted Did to you say? Did you get a hug him? Hug him? No. There it yes! is. Yes! Nah. <laughs> Seeing the two of them talk things through like this really gives Paimon a sense of accomplishment. Yeah, but it's all because of you, Paimon. Mm-hmm. 100%. Give yourself a pat on the back. <laughs> now go. Over there, your friends are still waiting for you. Huh? But you came all this way. I'll be staying in Liyue Harbor for a bit longer. When you have time, we can grab dim sum together. Your treat, right? Dad, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> Go. <laughs> okay, then I'm off. Is there anything else you'd like to do? Hmm. I'd like to find and thank Auntie Shenyun, as well as everyone else who's helped me out. If everyone has time, maybe we could all get together and go fly a kite. 
So what what's gonna happen in part four? Wrap up, I guess. This is kind of wrap up. No, now we're now now it's the the wrap up wrap up. Wrapping up wrap up. The wrap wrap it's the up. Wrap up wrap the, the, I was about to say the wrap of the wrap up wrap up. Got mm -hmm. it. Is there anyone we need to talk to before we teleport? Is there anyone oh, standing? Are done. Look for like the dad. Is he on the bridge? Is it just he is. Wait, that no. is him, right? No, that's the guy and the girl. <laughs> you freaking people. <laughs> Where are you? Oh, there's Charlotte. Okay, there she is. Crud, I don't know if we're gonna be able to find everyone. We may have to look it up. Yeah. I know Jure pointed out some. Oh, Lantern Right was simply amazing. Mm. I'm not sure I'll be able to sleep tonight. Okay, you click all these <gasps> buttons, I'll look up the location. Mm -hmm. Oh, the two Fatui ones are over there. I They're back! Get married already! How about Sorry. a mechanical vertical lifting device? Oh, that? Yeah, interesting story. It was invented by a guy from Fontaine. His name is Eildeson. Eildeson, that sounds like a pretty metal name. He's always tinkering away at some mechanism or another. He's even asked the Steambird to write about his inventions on more than one occasion. Ooh, inventor character? Probably not. I believe I have a direct like quote from Maybe. him about this particular one. It, ah, yes, here it is. The device is powered entirely by mechanical components without the need for any additional energy source. Basically, it's a manually operated cranking device. How high it can fly entirely depends on how much force you can exert. Combining this invention with a kite. What a great idea, right? About the interview and working together with Gaming's father. Oh, my conversation with Mr. Ip went really well. I've already sent the first draft of my article back to the Steambird. Wow. It's a piece that contains all the pertinent information while also telling a story. I'm quite proud of it. Hmm. Oh, that reminds me. I should thank everyone who made this possible for me. Especially that spirited lady with those peculiar turns of phrase. Miss Shenyun was her name, right? Uh, yep. It was all thanks to your connections and creativity. I would have never thought I'd be able to bring such a special gift back to Fontaine with me. Uh, about lantern rides. This was my first time experiencing a foreign holiday in person. It was so exciting. The festive atmosphere, the contagious holiday spirit, the profound storied cultural traditions steeped in symbolism. Oh, I almost forgot. Kuching even gave me a kite with a poem on it that she wrote herself. That's nice. It goes, dreams are like paper kites. With them do our hopes take flight. Sailing high above the clouds, they yearn for something more profound. Yet try we may and try we might, a deeper truth waits in plain sight. Ooh. Though we hang our hopes in skies abound, many joys lie on the ground. Mm. I want to include this poem in my special feature on Lantern Right. I'm sure a lot of people will love it. Until next yeah. time. And happy Lantern Right to you. Okay. Uh, did you look up the location? Yeah, no, I got them all right here for you. Uh, so, okay. boom. Who else are we looking for? A lot of people. So these guys, next, Vlad and Nadia. So talk talk to the uh, Fatui people. Oh, they actually have voice lines? Yeah, no, they have voice I think they have okay, things they to have say, like, every year. Wait, you don't have... Nope, there's your masks. I thought they were... You proposing yet? It's been several years, been my like, guy. It's been, like, four years, my dude. Okay, do you ever think that there might be some kites that can no longer be retrieved after being sent up into the sky? I guess so. Even if you could control the line, the wind might decline your commands all the same. True. Speaking of that, should we go buy one? I mean, I haven't flown one before, so I'm not sure if it'll... it'll if it, <laughs> I haven't flown one before, so I'm not sure it'll work out. Oh. Or, what say we make one together? I've seen kids discussing the patterns they want to draw on theirs, so it might not be that difficult. Just because children can do it does not mean it's easy. Mm -hmm. Just want to point that out. The two of us! Sure, let's give it a go. Are you married yet? Uh, hopefully soon. Like okay, who else? I like how the community has just gathered together and like to root for these people. Kiss! Kiss! Okay, no, sorry. I'm bringing it back in. Uh, we're also around Mountain Shaper and Moon Carver. Looks like they're right there. Like in the middle of Charlotte and Vlad. 
Oh, yeah, they're there. What? Given your present countenance, one presumes you are missing some old friends again. One cannot help but be reminded of them. Aww. Especially when they make giant statues of them. Pray <laughs> speak. Unburden yourself of these sentiments. One simply wishes Minogius were alive to witness such peace alongside us. Oh. Or is that the other dragon? You know, now that I look at it, that is Minogius' hair. That actually may be Minogius. Oh, it's the, Yoke, it's the Yaksha mask as well. Yeah, that isn't Zhang. Okay, I feel silly now. Yeah, that's Minogius. So that's what he looks like in that form? Sick. Please bring him, bring him back or... Oh, yo, you gotta understand. Dead characters. Dead characters. They're popular. Bring them back. <laughs> Please. Doesn't even have to make sense. They it don't doesn't need a, have to They make don't sense. need story quests. They don't need anything. Just playable. Uh, ooga booga. What time? I, I don't would, know. I don't know why, but part of me assumes they plan on making the Yaksha playable at some point or another. I really hope so, since they're all really cool. I mean, hey, I'm also down for designing a character that is just dead, though. You yourself say that all the time. I'm talking about dead playable characters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what if you just have dead characters and not playable? <laughs> oh, you mean like Senora? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like Senora. Sin, sin, yeah. That's how you say it, right? I think so. I know you were trying to say that in spite, but like, I'm not going to let you get to me. I'm not letting you. I'll let the I'm going to let the comment section eat you alive. I'm fine. I'm fine with it. Well, I mean... I would wish we could play as her. Look, you don't get to say that and everything. You never liked her and everything. No, I didn't. Yeah, so you didn't care. <laughs> when the Shogun killed her, you're like, yeah! <laughs> well, I was honestly surprised they actually killed someone. Oh, with someone who was also definitely going to make them a lot of money mm -hmm. as well. But we have yet to get a dead playable character. I think they could bring Senora back if they ever do timey-wimey stuff, uh, like with the Yaksha and stuff. If we ever go back and try to get the good ending of the world or something. Maybe, maybe. Do you think that's the final chapter? Maybe. That'd be sick. I don't know. I don't know what to Or expect. maybe we'll get all the dead characters when Tavat is done and the storyline's complete and we're moving on somewhere else. Maybe Genshin will be like, aha! Also, oh, bang, pow, boosh! All also, these playable characters. That'd be cool. That would be cool. He was so skilled in matters of craftsmanship. Kite making would scarcely prove to be a test of his capabilities. Were he yet amongst the living, he could have opened a kite stall. One is certain it would have been an establishment rich not only in profit, but also esteem. How did he die? I think it showed off how they all died. Was, uh, was he was, the one that got impaled? <laughs> I think he may have been the one who died. Yeah, got killed by someone. I mean, they, a lot of them died, but you know what they I mean. They all died, but one of them killed the other. I yeah, I think remember. he got stabbed by one of the crazier ones, if I'm correct, right? I think so. Dang, that sucks. And if, as in the past, he were unable to involve himself in matters of the mortal realm, we could sell the kites in his stead. When we finished, we could bring him back wine and partake in drink and good company. Mooncarver. Those are now but fond moments in our memories. Indeed. The dead are gone, so as the representatives of the living. Let us take in the sights for a bit longer, if just for his sake. Oof. By the way, I looked up how he died, so... and Um, uh, yeah, so he eventually succumbed to the karmic debt in Paris, so he, he went crazy, but he also was in, in pay, uh, or wait, uh, he, yeah, so he's the one who died in battle against Bon, uh, Bonanas? Bonana? One of the other ones. Bonanas. Yeah, Bona dude, it was, it's really hard not to say Bonana. Uh, Bonanas, the Hydro Yaksha, uh, she fatally wounded him. Uh, I, apparently she was also crazy in the Lord, so I think they both went crazy and they, like, just fought each other, and yeah, he died. Not depressing at all. Not at all. Look how cool he looks. Yeah. Um, going off the float, maybe a catalyst user? Maybe? Could be anything, honestly. He's Geo, whatever yeah. it is. Yeah. Looks more like the Archon than Zhang Li does. <laughs> hey, yo, Zhang Li's in incognito mode. Can't let people know. 
ignore him as he sends planets down to crush people. <laughs> yeah, ignore it when he does that. Like, uh, okay, where else are we going? Uh, I have it. Uh, we've got like two or three more groups to talk to. Uh, Chi Chi and Yao Yao, up there, up the stairs, oh. I think. Yeah, somewhere over here. Wow, there's a lot of people to talk to. Chi-chi, meow-yao. No, uh, Ningguang and oh. uh, Beidou this year, which is interesting. Ah, <sighs> I don't have to deal with Ningguang. Poggers. <laughs> I'm sad. I'm happy. <laughs> Sup, guys? So, you're still a big fan of Winter Melon Cake, then? Guess what? We gotta focus on him instead. He's cool. I like him. Coming is awesome. Coming is awesome. Yeah. Way better than that nerd in the sky. The nerd in the sky? I've never heard huh? someone refer oh. to Ningguang like that. <laughs> I guess you heard everything Paimon was saying, huh? <laughs> of course. She was talking about you. As your father, how could I not listen? True. Remember back when you were a kid? And you would sit on my shoulders to watch the Wusho dance. Oh. On our way back home, you would beg me to buy you some winter melon cake. Ah, that's adorable. We would only buy two at a time. But before long, we tried the winter melon cake from every vendor that street had to offer. <laughs> there was also that's awesome. that one time you used your pocket money to treat me. Do you still remember? Yeah. I remember. That was the best winter melon cake I ever had. Oh. Let's go back sometime. The shop's still there, and I remember the way. My treat, just like before. Are you sure? Absolutely. After saying that, heck yeah. <sighs> uh, and then Yaya. Yeah, the heart feels full. Yaya yeah, yeah, and Chi Chi should be. Somewhere on the stairs, the ones that you came up. Or maybe they're up there? Eh, they're probably up there, aren't they? Yeah, because I didn't see them on the stairs as we walked up. Nope. Nope. Yeah, because we had to walk right by them <laughs> to get the gaming and yip talk. They're probably just up here. Where are you? Where are the gremlins? There they are. There they freaking are. Hello. Our kite is so high up. Um... Yeah. Thank you for inviting me, Yao Yao. <clears throat> I am having a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. I'm glad. If you want, we can go fly kites some other time, too. The fun doesn't have to end today. Really? How about we do it during the day next time? That way, we can see uh. the design better. When it flies super high up, it will look exactly like a real finch. Pay no attention to the fact that it's definitely day right now. Shh. Okay. I'm saying. Yeah, you're saying that. That says uh, something. Can I take oh. this kite to bed with me? Oh my goodness! <laughs> but of course. This event makes my heart feel full. <laughs> it really does! Uh, it looks like we got three more groups. We got Shenhua and Ganyu, uh, Jin Yun and Kaching. Jin, Shan, Shan Yun? How, Cloud Retainer. And Zhao. Okay, uh, where are they here? Uh, oh, they're at the restaurant. Right there. Yo, nice, dude. I can't believe you Oh, well, there's a restaurant marker on the map that I wasn't paying attention to, but yeah. Well, I, did I don't get it. Was. Is something wrong, Shanha? Tell me. Perhaps I can help. The color black doesn't get dirty easily, so I thought this outfit would be acceptable to wear to work. But Xiangling told me it was inappropriate. <laughs> but inappropriate? How? Don't. In the. No, I, but. <laughs> She but. probably just meant the outfit isn't suitable for that particular environment and occasion. Th it's also, also probably gathering with friends, a nighttime stroll, or an important banquet. Your outfit is more than appropriate, Shenha. Probably slightly flammable too, right? Depends. I mean, she's more of a waitress than working in the kitchen. Yeah. 
Or does she help in the kitchen too? If she's in the kitchen, then that's not acceptable. But Sadly, yeah. If she's just carrying dishes, maybe. Or being out in the front, getting people to come, then it could, it depends on the owner. Man, work is a little slow. Reaches outside, grabs someone. <laughs> we have a customer. We have a customer. You're hungry, right, sir? You want to eat, right? Yes. <laughs> So you're saying it's only something I should wear in front of important people. Sure. <sighs> I suppose that's another way to think of it. Yes. Sure. Uh-huh. I never float to your boat. And then, uh, ka and Cloud Retainer are... There. Oh. Uh, well, since I'm here... Ad Astra. Yes, Happy Lantern, right? I like how you can still, um... Talk to her about like Catherine. Thank you for coming. Who are you? <gasps> You're here. Yes, she is. Shun? Is it Shun Yun? Shan? No, it'd be Shun Yun. Oh, it's her house. Duh. Hmm. Uh, one may have won the kite flying competition, Yu Hung, but this prize should truly be reserved for another. Oh yeah. You need not be so humble, Honored Adeptus. Among all the kites, yours was quite literally a cut above the rest. Please accept this prize. You deserve it. They designed inventions without her, and she's like, and I took that personally. I did. Besides, I'm quite certain we owe a fair share of the success of this year's lantern right to you. Yeah, the whole wind gust thing. Mm-hmm. And Gaming. If you insist, then one can hardly continue to refuse. However, there is another matter with which one would ask your assistance. Sorry, there's a cat. Of course. Hmm. One would be much obliged if you could distribute this case of Sunglo tea among the Millilith on duty. Get rid the of it. The security of the festivities rests entirely on their shoulders, after all. One presumes they could always benefit from something to invigorate their spirits. <laughs> and, and that right there is how you get rid of excess stock while looking like a good person. <laughs> mm -hmm. Cloud Retainer is so thoughtful and attentive to other yep. needs. <laughs> of course she is. I expect nothing less of an esteemed adeptus such as herself. Give it a sec. Understood. I'll get on that right away. <sighs> a fortuitous result indeed. One's tea surplus has hitherto resolved itself. <laughs> I was like, oh, they're going to do the mind thing where she's like, thank God. Oh, <laughs> Someone okay, took everyone. the tea. Uh, no, that's not everyone. Shao's at his temple. Or uh, the uh, bird's temple. Oh, yeah, that place. The built place. Where is that again? There's a waypoint next to it. Okay. Uh, that is... It has to be in the older area. There. Yeah. We couldn't see it because the marker was yep. blocking. Oi. Hi! Traveler. Oh, nighttime. Just as I thought, you stopped short of stepping into the city again. Being in the city isn't the only way for me to appreciate the lights and beauty of Lantern Rite. I actually... Look, Leoa Harbor lies just beyond this mountain. In all honesty, being outside the city would give you less light pollution, potentially, so... Mm. As long as I stand at this vantage point, I may freely behold the sights of all the kites slowly ascending into the sky. Can you see her, by the way? This is what uh, she's no, doing. She, okay, this is what she's doing currently. Yeah. The cat is just, the TV is in front of her, and she's kind of there, just staring at us. Giving that bombastic side-eye. Yep, the side-eye is extreme right now. For me, that is enough. Oh, all right. I invited you here because there is something I would like to do. Oh? I want to release a shell lantern, and I'd like you to be there for it. He's doing a lantern! Did you make it yourself? Yes. <gasps> I apologize for its crude appearance. I have little skill in that regard. It looks amazing. You are very kind, as usual. Mm. All right. It's time. Mm. 
ba 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 dun 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 bum 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 da 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 wa wa bum bum as the Shao lantern slowly disappears into the tranquil night sky, Shao's expression softens. Traveler. I like how there's bandits right Thank there. Oh, sub Shao. Ah. Easily, yes, easily one of the most beloved characters in Genshin Impact from yeah. the dev team. Mm -hmm. He's a just such a good character. I think Farina's definitely up there now. She's like the new one. Okay, well I don't. It's really hard to. Uh, it's really hard not to love Farina. Yeah, no, it's really hard to not love Farina. And Gaming. Gaming is very legit as well. Then Gaming and Farina are probably some people's favorites now. Probably, yeah, in like more recent memory, yeah. Mhm. Mm Really Man. is pretty seeing them from far away, winkling yeah. like little fireflies. Look like stars. Yeah. Man, look at all those people. Time to go glide down there and grab a bunch of them. The the lanterns, not the people. Of course. Just to clarify. <laughs> Just in case anyone was like, what? What are you talking about? <laughs> Do you have to wait another day? I also think because it made it night, uh, I was really hoping you would just- uh, Honestly, I kind of thought we had already waited a day, if I'm being honest. Yeah, I thought it did, but now with Zhao turning at night, it technically counted as the same day. I guess it was the day, yeah. Whoa, don't yawn! I can't help it. You mini! Ah! <laughs> oh, lightning! Ah, oh, what a festive it's time. Oh. Oh, we have to wait a few more hours. No, Farina, don't worry. It's not flood. Oh, crap. Oh, I'm sure it's fine. Don't worry. <laughs> I should tell you all. There is lightning about to hit us. Nah, it's good. Oh, I was half expecting to see a light. Whoa, crap. Was it 11 or 12? 12. 12, sorry. Get ready to dodge. This lightning bolt's taking its time. Nah, it's fine. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, crap! Hey, guys! Didn't Sean Lee say he and Cal was oh! planning on spending some time in Chow Ying Village? <laughs> we didn't have anything else to do today, but why don't we go have a look around? Maybe we'll run into her. Yeah, let's do that, Paul. Uh, I, God, that. I have to thank you, because that was just <laughs> perfect timing. Thank you for that. Literally could not make that up if we tried. <laughs> oh, perfect. <laughs> oh, the freaking. Sun feels almost as hot as those studio lights I'm in front of all the time. Good thing there can only be one sun. You are very pale. Your complexion is very fair. Yeah. Sun would be rough. I feel you. Mm -hmm. But don't be crisp. The trick, the trick to being super pale, I'll have you know, and yet loving the sun is just not caring about it. Genuinely, just go out. And then like a lizard, shed it. <laughs> well, I mean that, yeah, because it builds resistance, and then you're tanner, and then you don't have, you don't get burned as easy. That, yeah, basically. Ow. <laughs> it's, it's how it works. That hurts. <laughs> like a lizard. Who the freak? Who? Huh? Did you hear that? I did. Sunshine! Blue skies! Good vibes! Someone's perky. I'm sorry, who is talking? Why do they sound playable? <laughs> it's something about bullfruit and good vibes. What? So Paimon wasn't just hearing things. This <laughs> a new character introduction? Mm, that voice sounds really familiar. Does it? It does? Well, we've got the time. Why don't we go check it out? It's the dog. The dog? Is it the spirit dog? Maybe. I don't know. But Let's they're- see what's up. We haven't met the dog. Wait, well, no, we haven't. Or at least canonically. Almonds, cocoa paste. Sounds delicious, that's for sure. Dude, cocoa paste does sound good. 
A lively voice invigorates your steps and you ascend the mountain in no time. Who the freak? Who is this? I have no idea. <gasps> what are they doing here? Navia? Chloren? Chlor Chlorenda? How do you say her name again? She's hanging out with her aunt. Yeah, her aunt. Enjoying this aunt, aunt. Uh, Either way. Daniel, I just said aunt. I wasn't correcting you. I, I How would, dare you. You can say it both ways. I Nadia, just. Clarin! Yo! Ah, well, if it isn't my dear partners. So, was that you screaming? You sounded very different. Yeah. I told you that something good was going to happen during our travels today. What are you I doing here? I have to say, sometimes the Steambird's astrology column is spot on. Well, you know, the devs love all the Fontaine characters, so they had to spotlight them. Mm. Where's Farina? It's right? just your lucky day. Are you guys also here to catch the festivities? Oh, and that reminds me. Happy Lantern Rite. Happy Lantern Rite. And to you. Happy Lantern Rite to you, too! Uh, wait. wait. If you're here for Lantern Rite, then what are you doing on top of this deserted mountain? And that voice we heard, that was you, right, Navia? It was? <laughs> oh, impressive. You could tell it was me from that far away. You've got good ears. I had no clue. You Not sound an idea. Your screaming voice is actually really different. It's very mm. crisp and clean, but I, I thought a new character was being introduced, honestly. I was hoping, but oh well. That or your voice is just really loud. Yeah. Hey! Well, of course it is. After all, I'm a boss. Indeed. You know what? I suppose it's an asset. Sure is. Having a loud voice is a handy tool when it comes to communication. Oh, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. That wasn't even Paimon's point. Paimon just wants to know why you two were shouting from the top of this deserted mountain. There was something about almonds, maybe? And buell fruit? Ooh, is it some sort of secret code? No, it's not a code. The words are meaningless. But it's the vibe behind the man. <laughs> Kelly's Heroes. If you haven't seen it, Watch the movie. It's, it's great. It's amazing. Perhaps, but the act of shouting was very meaningful indeed. That's just what mountain climbers do, right? After all the hard work it takes to make it to the top, as you stand on the summit looking out at the vast scenery, it's not easy to resist the urge to release those emotions. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna just be straight honest with y'all. I agree wholeheartedly. But I'm gonna be that guy. This is not very high up. How dare you? It's more like a hill than a mountain. Eh, whatever. But still, yeah, no, if you go into a mountain or if you go into, like, like a, a, a cavern or anything, it's like you got to shout because there's going to be an echo. Or maybe there won't be, no matter what. And then Scream. you anger the thing that was sleeping right next to you. Okay, then, well, like, hopefully there's no bears around. But, hey, at least you had fun as you get freaking mauled to death by the bear. <laughs> at least you have fun as you're being eaten alive. <laughs> uh, Help me. <laughs> I see. So it's not that the shouting that matters, but the act of shouting itself. Yes. <laughs> exactly. That right, it's fine. You get me, partner. You're, yes. Sure. I was afraid that it would cause a disturbance, so I asked the locals around here, and they said it was fine. Apparently, most hikers like to shout when they get to the top, so the locals are used to it by now. That's uh -huh. nice. So you see, it's not just me. I guess everyone shouts from the top of a mountain at some point in their life. Hundred percent, hundred percent with you. Oh yeah. Uh, speak for yourself. Oh, Chlorine. Chlorine. When you're stressed, don't you ever just get the urge to do something for no reason? It's at this moment I realize she is still not playable. Yep. The duelist girl. Wow. And the medic girl. They're making us wait. <laughs> not really. If I ever get stressed. I just go hunting. Mm. Oh, that's a pretty good way to relieve stress. Do you think I will get her? Those are people. Probably. Do you think you'll get her uh, next patch after Oh, when? Chiori? I have no idea. I wonder if she'll be next after Chiori. Mm. What I choose to hunt depends on my mood. Huh? <laughs> um, anyway, why don't you it two give it a try? Shout anything you want. It's a real stress reliever. As long as Paimon has clothes on her back and food in her belly, Paimon doesn't think there's any stress that needs 
leaving. Then just scream, I love food. And I prefer to keep things bottled up inside of me until one day I can and the bottle shatters from the amount of pressure inside. And then you, what, explode? Oh. That was kind of dark. <laughs> I bet you guys are just too embarrassed to let loose. Usually that is the case, yep. No need to be shy. Even Farina was shouting from the top of this mountain earlier. She's here? Who? Oh? Huh? Did Paimon hear that right? Farina's also here? Tell Is me Nuvlet's also going to be Let's here. Let's go. Wait. Well, someone needs to stay behind and make sure the country doesn't crumble. That's true. Dang it. Believe in your ears. It <gasps> is indeed as you heard. Believe in your ears. Actually, that explains more why you're here. Yep. Actually, the reason we climbed this mountain in the first place was also because we heard the sound of shouting. Oh, Farina? Yes. We could just about make out someone yelling things like, Help me! And what should I do? So we hurried up here to check it out. What? And so then you started screaming out, Good vibes! I'm eating by a bear! Bro, you got that bear in you! Bro, you just gotta fight those negative waves with some positive vibes. Yeah, that'll help me stop bleeding out. Yep. <laughs> you just gotta tell that blood to, you know, think, good, think happy thoughts and to get right back into your body. And what do you know? Miss Farina was standing right there, all red in the face. She practically sprinted back down the mountain the minute she saw us. Oh, was she practicing her lines? Probably. Ah, that reminds me. I believe what she actually said was, So help me, I will figure out what I should do about this script. <laughs> oh, she was venting! Respect! Genuine so respect! you could actually hear what she was saying? Why didn't you say so earlier? I thought someone was really in trouble. Literally, she was <laughs> losing it up there. I figured we would come block. check out the situation either way. Why not let her keep some privacy? In all seriousness, oh, writer blo writer's like block sucks. Farina in the middle of some stress relief as well. She probably would have never thought. No, she definitely would have never thought she would run into anyone she knew all the way out here. Was she alone? I think so. Uh, we ran into Nervalette on the way here as well, but he was already on his way back, so they probably weren't together. Dang it! He left! Dang he was it. here! Man, the country is in shambles. There's no one running Fontaine right now! Bro, maybe the bunny. The bunny nurse. She's yeah, she's the secret shadow leader. Yep, there you go. What? Nervalette was here too? So many people from Fontaine, inexplicably here. What was he doing here? It couldn't have been for vacation. I think it just might have been, actually. But apparently he only stayed for half a day before heading back. He's a very busy man. Yeah. Mm. Nevillette is not the type to take much time off. Taking even a half day for himself is already a huge step in the right direction. More than Ganyu does. <sighs> That's sad, but That's true. That's really sad. Didn't Charlotte publish an article on the Liyue tea industry recently? Maybe he was inspired to come buy some tea after reading that article. You know, you know just like you were. Loki, I don't know why, but for half a second, I thought Navia was a uh, Hydro character with all the sapphires and everything. Mm. I've really never thought about that. That is, they're really pretty. I, did, did people, you, what did people think she was before? Like we had like the official uh, confirmation. Geo. Geo? Oh, I mean the hair and the gold the, and everything. From the, yeah, everything else. Yeah, okay, not the ribbon on the left arm. Hey, we didn't see that at first, so, you know. Well, I'm just saying every Geo character kind of looks like this. I guess the color scheme matches, yeah. Mm -hmm. My situation is completely different. I'm here because I was asked to accompany you. The tea purchase is simply an added bonus of this location. Uh-huh. You Fontanians in your tea drinking. Oh, that's not for me. I lost a bet with Ridesley, and now <laughs> I have to buy him something. You made a bet? It was just a spur of the moment sort of bet. I think they make bets all the time, if I'm being honest. Ridesley gets really invested in that sort of thing, but he couldn't care less about what he wins in the end. You could give him mint plants that you plucked from the side of the road, and he wouldn't even mind. Oh, he's just like that one guy. You'd do anything for anything. I can respect that. If only he was that easy going when it came to talking business. <laughs> hmm. In any case, I'm pretty sure the tea you bought is this region's specialty. What is it called again? 
Uh, Nervalette even mentioned it earlier. The tea. Buy ten boxes, get half off. Yes, yes, that's the one. Oh, I'm so sorry. You didn't really buy ten boxes, did you? <sighs> Please. Do I look like someone who would fall for that sort of marketing trap? <laughs> unless, yeah, see, here's the thing. It is a marketing trap unless you actually need 10 boxes. Then it's a great deal. I mean, if you're visiting a country and you can pick it up and then take it with you, then you just have it. Yeah, so as, as long as customs will let you get it through. Uh, yeah. That reminds me. You guys said you only came up here because you heard my voice, right? I hope it didn't put you out. You must have had other plans for the day. It's literally been five minutes. You're fine. Oh, that's right. Who tell? A few days ago, we heard that a friend was going to be in Chaoying Village. So we oh, decided no. to come and see if we could run into her. <laughs> what? Who Tao and Farina meeting? I don't know. How are you prepared? I don't know if I am. Oh, boy. oh dear. We've been chatting for quite some time. I'm sorry for keeping you. You know, I, I like how Hu Tao and Farina go so well together, and yet you have yet to use that team. They go perfectly together. Mm -hmm. I occasionally use it. You do? Oh, mm -hmm. sick. No harm done, partner. <laughs> That's good. We should probably head out and look for Hu Tao. Indeed. No need to stay on our account. We just got up here, so we're going to stay around for a little longer. Oh. Mm. Go and meet your friend. We can meet up in Chaoying Village later. Sounds reasonable to me. Sounds good. We're going to head down the mountain then. See you later. Oh! What do I have to do to get you to yell from the top of this mountain? Name your price. You really want to hear it that bad, huh? Yes. I'm just curious is all. I have a feeling you'll say something amazing. <sighs> I will pass. I prefer to let action speak louder than words. Fair enough. Anyway, time to jump off this mountain. Now's not the time to sit, Farina. Now is the time to move. We're going to meet you. <laughs> you must run. I hope I don't. Missing. Oh, no. She's down there. Oh, no. They they, they are meeting. Oh, here oh, we go. Oh, boy. Are we, Dale, are you prepared? He Sorry. wasn't prepared, apparently. <laughs> I grabbed a chip and I just inhaled a bit of it. Zhongli, Farina, and Hu Tao. What a combination! Two jokesters and the straight Chai man. village is known for its tea, but you know what else they have with tea? That's right, dim sum! Mm -hmm. Didn't Gaming say something about dim sum being eaten in the morning? Oh, Paimon wonders if we can still get some at this time of day. Afternoon tea might be more appropriate at this point. Oh, well that's fine too. Paimon doesn't care what kind of tea it is as long as it comes with some tasty snacks. Mm-hmm. Paimon's yeah, like, I don't care about the tea. What kind of snacks. yummy things we can Thanks. find around here? Uh... Paimon's not seeing things, is she? Is that Farino standing between Zhongli and Hu Tao? Hmm, judging based on the hat, I would say so. Agreed. Wonder what they're talking about. Everything. Mm, Zhongli knows a lot of stuff. Maybe he's telling Farina about Chaoying Village. Oh, or maybe Hu Tao is trying to rope Farina into being one of her clients. Want to make a bet? Hey, this isn't the Fortress of Meripede. But Paimon could be convinced for the right price. Let's say, loser buys the winner three huge bowls of seafood kanji. You monster. Since Zhang Li is there, Haima bets things are pretty tame. It's decided then. Haima votes for tour guide Zhang Li. Then I vote for Hustler Hu Tao. It's probably right, gonna be both. No time to waste. Let's go see who's right. We'll buy each other lunch. Oh, I see a chest. I see a chest as well. Wow, hello there. <laughs> oh, great. Now Paimon's shouting too. Yep. Oh, well, aren't you a sight for sore eyes? Seems like our luck just keeps on growing. 
That we were able to meet you both without prior arrangement must mean that this is quite the serendipitous meeting indeed. Mmm, quite serendipitous. Uh -huh. Oh, so both of you are acquainted with the Traveler and Paimon then. I have keenly felt the passage of time since our last meeting. What? <laughs> I mean, it's correct. So many charms all in one place. I don't know. I'm cool with either, I guess. I think both are fine, honestly. Uh, what chow? Do it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you didn't learn that one from me. Uh -huh. I must wow, admit, she's disappointed. I'm a bit surprised to see you here, traveler. Dang, I should have picked the other one. Yep. But you messed up. Being as you're a hero who's been all over to that, it makes sense that you would be well traveled and well connected. I love to see that Farina's actually traveling. That's mm -hmm. great. Since we have found ourselves in each other's company within this fertile land, allow me to take this opportunity to wish you a happy lantern ride. Do you think Farina will be like the actual character that we see throughout like many, many different events going forward? Because she's going to be traveling. That, that'd be awesome. I'd love that. Mm -hmm. Happy lantern ride. It appears you have been to Fontaine then. Indeed. Given your proclivity to spread good deeds wherever you go, it's no surprise that you would make the acquaintance of a celebrity as illustrious and celebrated as Miss Farina. Uh, that's quite high praise. What I mean to say is, you flatter me, Mr. Zhongli. Although I've built up a certain following within Fontaine, it is no reflection of strength or wisdom. I stand before you right now as nothing more than an ordinary traveler in search of beautiful scenery and creative inspiration. Ah, that's why they're traveling. There is definitely more to Mr. Zhongli than meets the eye. I could tell as much from our conversation earlier. Ah, some uh, echoes of being the Archon. Given his breadth of knowledge on both academic and worldly matters, there's no way he hasn't heard about what happened in Fontaine. Is he just feigning ignorance for my benefit? It's okay, you don't have to overthink it. No, 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 no. I, yeah. You're no common tourist. I simply won't have you talk about yourself that way. I mean, I think she's right. I do think Zhongli is feigning ignorance, but there's no reason to worry about it. Oh, does that mean Hu Tao also knows? Oh, wow. Okay, now she's overthinking. Yeah, this is... You may not have heard, friends, but... Uh, um, Miss Hu Tao. Miss Farina is now one of my esteemed clients. Well, we owe Paimon dinner. Oh, no, that was our bet. Oh, that was our bet. Oh, you're right. Uh, 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 yep. <laughs> Did you hear that, Paimon? Did you hear that, Paimon? She's Hu Tao's esteemed client. Hey, you win. Nailed it. Even though it was, it was really a coin flip, honestly. I guess Paimon will have to break into the hidden stash at the bottom of her shoe. That's where you keep everything. Your oh, shoes. I should have known. You take those off. Uh huh. What's this about winning something? Don't tell me. You two were placing bets on us. It was Paimon's idea. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Oh, we just <laughs> standing on the side. Take guesses as to what you were talking about. Oh, I see. That means you, my friend, must have guessed that I was trying to promote my business to Miss Farina. Oh, you know me. And I know I you. Do, my friend. Yep. What was Paimon's guess then? Paimon thought Zhang Li was showing the newbie around. Ah, by newbie, you mean me, right? If that's Paimon. the case, then Paimon's guess was also correct. Oh, that's right. Mr. Zhongli was telling me about some great sightseeing spots in the area. Oh. <laughs> you see? Paimon was right too. So, we're nah. back to square one. Since both of our guesses were right, there can't be a winner or a loser. Fine. Keep your secret stash then. Hey, don't be upset, traveler. Hmm. That was a weird face. That was... How about this? You buy Paimon a bull and Paimon will also buy you a bull. Uh, as for the third bull... Since I was the subject of the bet, perhaps it should go to me? 
You know, as a congratulations for the huge deal I just struck. There you go. Thanks. I'll buy you a bowl anytime you want. But don't you dare try checking in early on that. <laughs> I was just joking. Anyway, I should be the one treating you. The funeral parlor is about to bring in quite the sum after all. If any character hurts Farina, the entirety of the Genshin community will we'll grab them. pitchforks, will grab a rope, and torches. Don't know why it's always torches, but it's pitchforks it feels and a torches. It's cliche, you know? If <laughs> why? Like, why they're always doing it at night. <laughs> I don't know if the word you're looking for is cliche, but uh, I yeah. Well, I mean, I theming and the mood needs to be right. I guess for a good like mob, you know. Yeah, actually, it does take some unifying things to get a mob under control. In reality, mobs can happen at any time of the day, but it's more oh. terrifying and cinematic if you do it at night with torches. Quite easy to cause. Quit it, you! It is. Oh, Paimon almost forgot to ask about the most important question! Did I... something happen recently, Farina? Huh? What do you mean? Yuguchi? I... Well, you know, with you enlisting the services of Wangsheng Funeral Parlor and all. Oh, well, yes. Really? Oh, no. Paimon is so sorry for your loss. Although Paimon may have not known the person, please accept Paimon's deepest... <sighs> whoa, 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 it's not like that, Paimon. Well, uh, did you buy one for yourself? You I feel mean, comfy you know... laying in one? Huh? <laughs> but Paimon just thought... Since you hired the services of a funeral parlor and all. Hey, it's not that big of a stretch. It's really not. Really, Paimon? It's not like you don't know me. Do I look like I know anyone who would ask me to coordinate their funeral? Well, since you're kind of dressed in all black. Ever since the death of your... Anyway. Oh, what? She's got blue. Hmm. Miss Hu Tao is simply helping prepare some props for my film. Oh, okay, that's better. Not too long ago, I read a collection of horror stories from Li Yue. The content was spectacular. In fact, I still feel the need to sleep with the light on even now. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> anyway, that's not the point. Now that Fontaine's biggest star has returned to the stage, I figured it's about time the industry enjoyed a breath of fresh air. You might even call it a brush of fresh. I'm not saying that. Fresh tear? Hey, what? <laughs> that's pretty good. I'll have to remember that for my ad posters. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, bring me up to speed. What was the joke? I didn't get that. Tier? T. Tier? What? Oh, Don't just pass it me by. <laughs> I'm walking. What do you mean? What is it? What's the joke? It's fine. So I'm not kidding you. Come to Liyue just to enlist the services of Wangsheng Funeral Parlor? I make my own puns, thank you. <laughs> well, huh? not exactly. My original plan was to just relax and enjoy the sights. But then I ran into Miss Hu Tao and Mr. Zhang Li, and well, you know the rest. I suppose it was meant to be. Twas a fated meeting. Ah! It was a fated meeting indeed. Zhongli sure loves his lofty turns of phrase. But if you ask me, it's all thanks to that man who stopped to ask for directions. Oh? Who was it? It's someone you know. Wanna take a guess? It's Nuvalet, wasn't it? What? How did you guess that on your first try? Magic! Very impressive, my friend. Your guessing game is spot on today. Always is. Dialogue. More of it. <laughs> Pitiful expression of Farina's face. What? What are we doing to her? We're gonna leave out the part about her shouting. Huh. Paima never thought Nevelette would be the type to get lost. Probably I'm wasn't sure lost. he didn't get lost. <laughs> Even I was able to find my way to this place without any trouble. Unless he surprisingly has his Zoroisms. I'm not sure. No, he gets around. There's no he way he gets lost. He was already getting ready easy. to leave by the time I arrived. 
He just wanted to ask someone about the quickest way to get back to Fontaine. I'm so sad we don't get Nuvolet. Yep, that's exactly what he asked. Maybe we can talk to him afterwards. You know what I just realized? The fact that they got that really famous voice actor for Nuvolet, they have to pay him probably a decent amount every time he shows up. Mm -hmm. This area is full of mountains and rivers. It's normal to not know the fastest route. Swimming would probably be the fastest route of them all. So, were you the one that for pointed Nuvolet? him in yes. the right direction, Hotel? Of course. I'm also a guide of sorts, you know. So naturally, I also have a great sense of direction. Wait, a guide isn't like the whole afterlife? Yes. <laughs> but, speaking of your friend... What? What about him? He doesn't get out much, does he? Nope. Ah, uh, no wonder. He was stiff as a board and way too polite. I would have never guessed he was here on vacation if you hadn't told me. He's also just like that, I will say. He is just like that, and he's also very nice, so... <laughs> all in all, he was only here for half a day. I'm pretty sure he is the only one who would consider that to be a vacation. Hmm. Oh? This gentleman you speak of must keep a demanding schedule. It'd be hilarious to see the two of you. <laughs> Bro, I would love Zhongli and Nuvolet meeting. <coughs> Considering he's gonna judge you. That would be... You're right. That's why they couldn't have him here. Oh, I just got that. Wow. Yeah, that meeting is actually pretty important. I'm sure he does. You didn't see him, but he was dressed like he was about to attend some important meeting. It wasn't anything like what someone would wear on vacation. Out of nowhere, mid-conversation, a just pillar of water comes and just destroys Zhang Li. He's walking by, he's like, I I know who you are. <laughs> uh, and the only problem with that is, one of them has their powers, the other does not. <laughs> That's kind of one-sided, actually. Yeah, Nuvolet would probably beat the crap out of him. Probably. Canonically, yeah. I think so. Which is weird to think about. But yeah. I mean, if he's going to judge Celestia itself... Well, cause, yeah, he's pretty strong right now. Well, yeah. So, Nuvolet has all of his power fully back. I think it, he's still kind of recharging, but, like, he's pretty well, much level amped. him up all the way canonically at that point, whatever that happens. Yeah, so he's He's amped. at his, like, peak power. Yeah, and Zhongli... The Zhongli we play as, is that the Zhongli who has like a bit of his power with the Gnosis no. or did he just no, no Gnosis? Probably not. Got it. Okay. It's probably just him with whatever remnants remain. Got it. Kind of like how Venti still can use wind even though he doesn't have his Gnosis anymore. Very weakly though. We haven't seen Venti in forever. We saw him just a bit ago, didn't we? Did we? No, oh, it feels like it. Is that so? Wait, you didn't see him, Zhongli? Unfortunately, no. That's a good thing, as we were just saying. At the time, it appeared as if Director Hu and Miss Farina were having quite the productive conversation. I know matters of business can take much discussion, so I decided to fetch some tea for them. For your well-being? That was a good thing. Actually, they probably would have taken it somewhere else. I don't think Nivlet would immediately, like, just straight up freaking kill Zhongli. I think he'd have words, though. He would judge him. What that means, I don't really fully understand. And if just they yet. did fight, probably not in the middle of a village. And, and it really depends what's going on with Celestia. We still have freaking no idea what happened. What a shame. That gentleman seemed like a sophisticated sort of guy. I actually think you two would have hit it off. See, if he wasn't the Archon, I would agree. Mm hmm. I kind of still Is hope they that do. So. Eventually. Judging by how Zhongli is acting, in taking into consideration Nuvolet's true identity, could Zhongli have been avoiding him on purpose? <laughs> probably. probably. Yeah, probably. I assume he sensed his presence of, <laughs> I'm going to- Well, I'm gonna go get some tea now. Yeah. Zhongli's like, you know what? I don't feel like dying today. I don't feel like, uh, dying. Cool. Mm. Nothing? Mm. <laughs> ah, I see. Anyway. Truly is a pity. Is what it is. <laughs> to borrow Miss Farina's turn of phrase, perhaps it just wasn't meant to be. For now. Zhang Li was just hiding in a bush, just like with two little things. Like <laughs> He's on that mountain over there in the bush. It's just right there. I see you. With a telescope, like, okay, is he gone? Sweet. <laughs> well, 
with the traveler around, I'm sure you'll have a chance to get to know each other at some point. <sighs> yeah, I'm sure. Just, yeah, I don't that's going to be a pretty important plot point. Yeah, I, eventually? Guy, he's got more friends than he knows what to do with. So, is that what the final chapter will be? Like, all the characters coming together? Once we're done exploring? It's whatever the apocalypse is that's coming. Lovely. It's whatever, <laughs> um... Shneznaya is preparing for. Yeah, because we do Shneznaya, and then we do final chapter, which will be... Yeah. Maybe a new area? Maybe not? I don't know what to expect, actually. It'll probably be a new point of the map. Something like that. I'm probably excited to learn what their plan is. You know, it'll probably be like a void place or something, I'm assuming. It'll Either be... that or Conria or something else. Yeah, maybe Conria. Yeah, that could be a possibility. Underground. Oh, an entire expansion underground. That... Elden Ring. That'll be interesting. Not seeing the sun for a long time. I don't know if I like that. Ooh, well, we went wait. to Ankonomia. That was sick. That was really that cool. That was a pretty cool place. That was, one, that was really cool. I don't also, know. the biggest uh, pain in the butt bosses to get to. <laughs> Do everything. Ah, oh, you want to level up Yelon? You're ready for an investment, right? Wait, was it Yelon? Was it Yelon, actually? No, no, no. no. It no. wasn't Yelon. Who was it? That was... Crud! Who was, was there, that? Uh, oh, hello. Hi. I uh, don't remember. Uh, what Yalon was the big uh, spinny worm thing, so mm -hmm. it wasn't Yalon. Who didn't need it? Was it Shenhua? No. It was a character I had that needed it, but I don't remember who at the moment. Bro, yeah. No idea. I'm good with people. Well, that's certainly true. Oh, that reminds me. If you get the chance, you should try and talk to Nervalette into loosening up a bit. Hmm. Just tell him the Palais Mermonia isn't going to fall apart if he disappears for a few days. <laughs> he shouldn't keep himself cooped up all the time. You know, honestly, ironically, Fontaine is set if someone wants to take a vacation, admittedly. They actually, like, between the, um... Unlike Leeway. Yeah, unlike Leeway, unlike, oh, actually, a lot of the areas, I, th I think Fontaine is pretty tight. Yeah, Between, except for all the, you know, the main the, issue there. The whole trafficking problem they've got going on. Well, that's, that's pretty bad. That's pretty bad. But, like, between the Melzines, like, the overall city part and ruling that and, like, getting that all working together. That, yeah, I think that'd be fine. I think I can. I think Nubilet. right and lovely, except for the one massive glaring issue it has going on right now. Yeah. Uh, but other than that, great place. I think, yeah, I think Nubilet could take a vacay. Yeah. Even clams open their shells to let in fresh water every once in a while, right? Yes, but what do otters do on their day offs? If he's really that much of a stickler for protocol, he can fill out a leave of absence request. He'd uh, have to approve it himself since he handles that sort of thing now, but you know what I mean. <laughs> how does that even work? How it does make sense. It does make Seems sense, but how does it work? This gentleman is also it. in charge of something pretty important. He's the fair and imperial eudex of Fontaine, head of the highest court in the land, otherwise known as the demon who controls all the paperwork in Fontaine. <laughs> I like that. Hey, uh, sounds like a pretty uptight sort of guy, all right. Actually, I mean, he's really nice and easy to get along with. I honestly thought he was going to be terrifying going into Fontaine. Yeah, no, and then we just sat down in the theater. He's like, oh, hey. I'm like, oh, Yeah, he was, so, he was so he not was really what friendly I... friendly and open. Not what I was expecting at all. He's actually really not uptight. I don't know if that's just the English version of him, but... Low-key, I thought he was going to be the bad guy when Fontaine was Genuinely. announced. I was like, oh, this is the bad guy, 100%. Uh, but no, he's uh, really nice and easy to get along with. And a good guy. How did you not get along with him? Actually... No, I... There's... They're different. They're definitely different. In my experience, a leader needs to be able to roll with the punches. That also includes knowing when and what to prioritize. Hu Tao, I hate to say this, but I think he has a little more experience with that than you do. Just, just a tad. Just a little bit. It seems like your friend still has a lot of growing to do. <laughs> sure. This is one of those moments that you're like, should we tell him? Should we tell him? That's like, should I don't we? think we should. Nah. It's funnier not to. If I remember correctly... He's already several thousands of years old. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you're quite right, Miss Hu Tao. Yeah, yeah. Oh? Traveler, Miss Farina. 
Those two individuals over there appear to recognize you. Oh, it's Navia and Cloran. Just some very other important people. Hey, over here! We saw you all chatting over here, and we're wondering if we could join in. <clears throat> um, please, excuse the interruption. Mm. <laughs> so polite! No apologies necessary. Any friend of the Traveler and Miss Farina is a friend of mine. Ah, straight to the point. I like it. These two would get along. 100%, I feel. Probably. Oh, my. <laughs> it... Dude, who town needs to get an exclusive deal with the uh, the duelists oh. in Fontaine? Honestly, dude, who town is like two steps away from being a part time um, duelist? Yep. That's the wind. Mm, it's getting just late. The wind. There's a door moving. It's just the wind. It's just the wind. It actually is. We have windows open. It's hot today. I see Cinder sleeping down there. Oh, you do? Oh, lucky. I can't see her from this <laughs> angle. Nerd. Well, I got the side eye earlier. Oh, yeah, well, I see her sleeping right now. With, like, making a cute face as she's doing so. Both sound awesome to me. Um... <laughs> if we want to catch a boat back before dark, we should probably get going. Oh. Indeed. Then, Miss Farina. Oh, uh... Uh, yes? When are you planning to head back? Do you need us to escort you? Oh, um, I... I don't think that will be necessary. I mean, you're not my subordinate anymore. You don't need to look after me. Bro, I hope we get the same type of character development that we got for Xiao for Farina. Like, over the mm -hmm. years. That'd be awesome. Um, I didn't mean it that way. She just needs... Let her be happy. Yeah. It's normal for friends to travel home together if they run into each other on the road. She had to correct herself. so mean if they give me my wish of them killing off a character eventually. It better not be Farina, of all people, please. Please don't. Okay, I hate to say it, but I was thinking the exact same thing. There are a lot of mountainous roads in this area. I imagine they'll be even harder to navigate after dark. Exactly. Just like in those ghost stories. Ooh. Eight paths converge in a wood. Beside them an old house is stood. If you dare to go inside, not a soul will greet your eye. Oh, well then it's empty. But if you take a closer look, there may be something you mistook. A candle flickers to and fro, yet there is no wind to make it so. What is its secret? What could it mean? In this wood, where mystery screams. Ooh. <laughs> uh huh. Ladies, no, uh, I mean, friends, please take me with you. Stop bullying the... <laughs> Puto, this is where we come in and we bonk you. I, I'm just pointing this out. Of course. But Farina? <laughs> Gotta say, Farina, you are really quite the character. You Stop are you. picking on her. You are wait, also. Wait, did I hear you mention that Clorand used to work under you? Then you must have also been a leader at some point. Uh, well, that's, uh, all in the past now. Besides, <clears throat> being a leader is hard. It wasn't the right job for me. Yeah, don't ever put her in that again. No, 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 she's a great leader, but it has to be for the right thing. Like, leading a troop and everything like that. She's got that, mm -hmm. 100%. But maybe the stress of leading an entire country for... 300? Eh, long time. Three, was it 300 years? I don't remember. Something like that. It was like a really, really freaking long time. Really and it, like, the, long time. And the whole thing was also like the doom and gloom of it all, too. It would have been better if it was all like sunshine and rainbows. Happy go lucky, la la la. No, yeah. it was the, if one person even found out everyone was doomed to die and everything you did was in pointless vain. Yeah, so it was like, it was like several hundred years of stress. 
Yep. Yeah. Mm, fun. I prefer how things are now. I can come and go as I please and get to enjoy the sweet taste of freedom. Oh, yes. And macaroni. Should really learn another recipe. <laughs> I see. Well, okay. you certainly picked an apt place to relax. Chaoying Village is an exemplary choice. This is totally a place I would go for a vacation. It's I gorgeous. 100% could stay here for weeks. Uh, I'm going to be real with you. When you said macaroni, I thought you were actually the one saying that. I forgot about the whole Farina plot point of she loves macaroni. I was uh, like, she only knows how to make macaroni. I low key was like, Daniel really wants macaroni. I guess I should check that later and see if we have some in the cupboard. I'm good with macaroni. <laughs> but I'm just hungry, regardless of what it is. <laughs> Well, y'all have a good time. Only the best. <laughs> oh, have you and had a good time? I've learned a lot too. <clears throat> Thank you so much, Miss Hu Tao and Mr. Zhongli. <laughs> it's fine. You've thanked us more than enough already. The next time you're in this neck of the woods, I'll treat you to some dim sum in the city. Man, everyone suddenly knows what dim sum is. Dim sum. Dim sum. Is that some kind of liyue term for snacks or desserts? They are a part of it. It's basically a table full of as much tea, sweets, and good company as you can manage. That sounds amazing. Oh, I actually... So it's basically a tea party. <laughs> sounds great. Actually, now that you say that, Dale, you and me have probably been to that without realizing it. Just with, we, didn't, we just didn't know the name, in all seriousness. Hmm. Because we've definitely been to a few gatherings like that are based around cultural stuff and everything, and that wow, that's kind of cool. I've never thought. I know this now. Mm -hmm. Cool. Make sure to order the winter melon cake and the lotus flower crisp. They're so sweet and delicious. Paimon knows you'll love them. You're hungry, aren't you? I'm starving. <laughs> Ooh, okay. <laughs> I'll be looking forward to it then. Have mercy wait, on me, game. Wait. Didn't you guys say you were here on vacation? How come you're all going home empty-handed? I mean, memories. Not, ah. You don't always have to buy a souvenir, especially if your house can't hold anything, like, genuinely. You're not bringing home any souvenir? Well, sometimes you bring, like, snacks and stuff. Yeah, okay, food, that that's, like, one of the best types of souvenirs. You, you may think, well... Ephemeral. Ephemeral? Well, they fade, and you eat them, and they're gone. But, like, in all seriousness, pictures, memories, and food genuinely are the best souvenirs. Because everything else, my whole rule of thumb is, if you can't if you can't think of a place to put it, you probably shouldn't be buying it. <laughs> so, you might as well eat it. Yeah, eat it. Put it in your belly. I can do that. <laughs> so. Of course I am. I bought tons of fun things to bring home with me. Oh boy. But I am a sucker for a good souvenir, I must admit. Even though a I usually don't have room to place anywhere. A parasol, a little tin frog that jumps. Oh, and a stuffed toy of a mythical beast. Ooh. <gasps> Clorand is the one who didn't buy anything for herself. Oh, she's fine, <gasps> probably. So, all you're bringing back with you is that tea? No, actually, that's good enough, honestly. And yeah. some tea-flavored hard candies. They're for Siege Ween. There we go. That's good Forehand enough. And isn't much of a shopaholic. You know, I've never had like. Wait, I'm sure that's a thing. Like candy made of tea. I, that's got to be a thing. That sounds like great. How they like coffee cakes as well. Yeah, coffee cake and everything. That's. Yeah. But that's like well, its own one thing. One of us has to practice restraint. Hey, I'm hardly reckless with my mora. I'll have you know, all the purchases I made today were well within my budget. What about you, Farina? Me? Oh, well, I bought some tea, of course. I just had to try all the varieties recommended in the Steambird. Ah. Uh. Other than that, just some bits and bobs, you know. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. Mmm. <laughs> they should all be things I can use, I think. You fell for some marketing traps, then. Uh, now Paimon's even more confused. She bought ten boxes. If you bought that much stuff, where did it all go? Into one of Linny's magic packets? Maybe. I mean, you might as well keep them. Oh, <laughs> actually. Monsieur also, Nivellet took them with him. Can we? <laughs> oh. I can just imagine like a <laughs> sky high tower of boxes and just like. Uh, can, by the way, uh, did, did I hear that wrong? Or did Paimon call the packet a po uh, the pocket a packet? Packet a pocket? 
I think she, because it's a, it's a magic pocket. I think yeah, she said packet, of, though. Packet of magical pockets. Packet of magical pockets. Wow, try to say that ten times fast. <gasps> no. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? Why does he take them? He's not hoarding treasure, is he? Uh... He's a dragon. I was about to say, he's a dragon. <laughs> and that's quite the imagination you've got there, Paimon. Monsieur Nervalet just saw the amount of bags we had and offered to take them back for us. How? I felt a bit bad at first, but uh, I really did have a lot of stuff. <laughs> uh huh. He even offered to deliver my gifts to the Fortress of Meripede for me once he's done with the day's work. Wow. That's nice of him. Novelette is a man of his word. If he says he can do something, then he means it. And that's the power of being a man of your word. Yep. Or a woman of your word. Of both. Both. <laughs> See, even Clorand was happy to take him up on his offer. If even his trusty subordinate agreed, then who was I to refuse? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Wow, he seems like a real gentleman. Maybe he's not as uptight as I you thought. Have, yeah, you just gotta meet him in a good space. Mm -hmm. Maybe he was just sensing Zhang Li nearby, and he was like, <laughs> "Target acquired." <laughs> Hold up, just give me a moment. I'm charging right now. Charging what? You'll see. He just coughs, <laughs> and Zhang Li's like, "Oh man!" <laughs> <laughs> Put shield up suddenly. Why'd you do that? Giant pillar of water gun just hits him. That's why. Oh man, where did that? Man, that's crazy. It's crazy. Where'd that come from? If only the funeral parlor had an employee as thoughtful, proactive, and responsible as him. You'd probably be in a lot better business. Right, Zhang Li? Um, why are we in the middle of this? I'm not responsible for anything that's happening. Indeed. Oh, gifts to so if we go to the entrance of the fortress of Meripede, really? we will run into Nevelet. <laughs> now they have us doing this. We don't know exactly when he'll show up. Oh man, I can't wait for Natlin characters to suddenly be in, <laughs> in leeway too eventually. Yeah. Yep. Oh, that reminds me. A new year of work is about to begin. Mm -hmm. If there's anything you want to talk about, Zhongli, you know you can come to me. I'm all ears. Does the director have any concerns? It just seemed like you were a bit preoccupied today, and much less talkative than usual. He barely said anything other than, Is that so? And indeed. He was trying to survive. If you ask me, I'd say you're having a midlife <laughs> crisis. You're getting to be around that age after Lutau, all. Lutout, you have no idea. He had that a while ago. Yep. Is that so? Uh, You've got no <laughs> idea. I jest. Given its distance from the city, Chaoying Village enjoys a much slower pace of life. Surrounded by such peace and tranquility, I also seem to have developed a proclivity for inactivity. I apologize for making you worry. Ah, um, I see. What do you think, Traveler? Is this atmosphere putting you in a lazy mood, too? Out of smile, out of sight, different words, you're not gonna lie. Wow, you are getting really good at these kinds of lines. What'd you say? Indeed. I have no idea. <laughs> I'm just yeah, it, Daniel, I have a real quick question to ask you before you click these guys. Um. Yeah? The Chinese New Year is different than the New Year in a lot of the rest of the world and everything. Mm -hmm. So the question is, what is the calendar? Like the calendar, I'm assuming, other than you know the language difference and everything, like the barrier there. But like, I'm assuming the the calendar would start from that point, right? For China, I guess. I've never thought about that. It's one of those questions that you never really think about dog. until you actually are faced with it. By dog. Guys, explain to us, how is a, a, a Chinese calendar compared to a, um, uh, a calendar in the Western world and stuff? How does that work? I'm really intrigued to find out about that. Not sure. I may have to look that up, but if you guys, if you guys know anything, let, let us know. 
Well, everyone, make sure that you've got all your belongings with you before we leave. If there's any souvenirs anyone still wants to buy, the time is now. The time is now. Reliable as ever, Miss President. <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? Glorand is right, though. You really are reliable. It's not what she's saying. It's the way she's saying it. I will say, but I never thought you'd be so easygoing outside of work, Glorand. The tone of voice you use when you're working doesn't exactly make you seem like the type who enjoys interacting with people. <laughs> well, I try to keep my professional and private life separate. That includes my behavior. There you go. Yeah, I can respect that. Mm -hmm. You take care now, Traveler. Paimon. Don't worry, your partner is very strong. Ah, trying to act cool now, are we? <laughs> well, I guess it's not an act for you, is it? <laughs> that... ow. You are indeed quite strong. Please stop. <laughs> it's been great talking to you all. I'm really glad I decided to come to Chaoying Village. Yeah, like, just, okay, imagine me as a traveler. Yeah, just, I am strong. Imagine, just let me shoot things with my water gun pistol. Pew, 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 pew. And then let Nuvalot instantly show me up, because, yeah. Yeah. Maybe we could go on another trip together sometime? I do hope. I do hope Fire Traveler is... <laughs> I like Hydro Traveler. I like it. The I think problem it's funny. Is, he is just the worst version of Nuvolet. Nuvolet. There's a Nervolet. Is how good is Hydro Traveler? I actually haven't looked into that. Is he good? I don't think as good as Nuvolet. Because I think Electro Traveler is actually quite good, and I think the same thing can be said about Dendro. I think Electro and Dendro Traveler were both okay. They were good supports. Uh, yeah, they're okay. They're there, especially if you're free. If you're like completely new and free to play. I just really hope. That Pyro Traveler is an actual good fire DPS that you can have as your main DPS if you want to. Yeah. Spe for new people, especially. Mm hmm. Look at the Melazines. Because, yeah, I don't. Because Hydro Traveler, I think the issue is he's supposed to be on field, right? Yes. Because the alt you could switch off of, technically, but that's yeah, it. Yeah, but the alt isn't that great. It's okay for application, but it's moving, which makes it the tough. Because there's just better Hydro characters. And yeah, and the ones then, you're most likely to get. Yeah. Like, you have a really good chance. There, like, there's so many Hydro characters that are good. It's kind of silly. Look, it's mm -hmm. Nuvalet! We left out! Hello! Oh, it's you. It has been some time since our last meeting. Ow, indeed. It actually has been quite some time. Few people frequent this location. Since I was able to conclude my work early for the day, I thought I might take a walk and avail myself of this area's peace and quiet. Mmm. You call this early? Do you always work this late, Nevelet? Strictly speaking, that depends on the agenda for the day. <laughs> yep. Sure enough. I am hardly bereft of time, however. Bereft. So working late is of little consequence to me. I love really? how he talks. If you have so much time on your hands, then why did you only go to Chaoying Village for half a day? Hmm? First, I should clarify that I was referring to my lifespan, rather than the time at my disposal on any given day. Second, I was unaware you possessed knowledge of my trip to Chaoying Village. That, you know, that actually is kind of freaky. Imagine someone who just, you know, backpacks around all over the world, comes up to you and they're like, What's up? We haven't seen you for a few, I don't know how long. And then you're like, yo! And you're like, yeah, I know about your trip. And I'd be like, what? <laughs> <laughs> you know about my- why do you know that? Why do you know that? How do you know that? Did you see me? Why did we you not say hi? everything. I see. Thank you for informing me. Bro, I thought- Now nah, you see, I have a perfectly reasonable explanation for all this. I thought that was a whale. The plant over there. I don't know why, but I thought that was a whale. You have an explanation for what? Huh? Oh, of knowing the info. Oh, I get it. I get yeah, it. Perfectly reasonable explanation. We're fans of yours. I was stalking him. Yeah, of course. <laughs> As one normally does. <laughs> yes, they have been safely delivered. <laughs> I have to hand it to Clorant. Just a simple gift delivery, and she has the great and mighty Udex at her beck and call. I was just passing through. It was merely an act of convenience. All right. 
Then I hereby confirm receipt of the goods on behalf of the staff of the Fortress of Meripede. Oh. A verbal receipt of confirmation? Is such a formality really necessary for a small matter such as this? Guess not. This quantity of tea, though, seems a little excessive for a gift, don't you think? Before you know it, they'll start accusing me of taking bribes. <laughs> ah, about that. Is it really the ten boxes? Twenty? How many? Probably. Much of that is my own excess, I'm afraid. Oh, he fell for it too. Oh? <laughs> Why? What happened? Did you actually give buy him- ten boxes, get half off. <laughs> I love you, Nuvolet, or Nervolet, or whatever you- I, I'm gonna just say Nuvolet, ah, cause, yeah. That explains it then. Well, go it's ahead Nervolet. and leave them to me. I'll get through this stash as fast as I can. I'm really bad at the R in his name. Cause it's not, it's, it's an R, but it's not. Mm -hmm. In my brain. Have my <laughs> thanks. Oh, there's something else I'd like to give to you. This is... A stone slate, engraved with a symbolic design. Well, that is an apt description. It is, in actuality, a legal codex. A legal codex, huh? Hmm. Before the advent of modern writing utensils, information was recorded on stone slabs such as this. The law was no different. Oh... okay. Since ancient times, the scales of justice have symbolized the fairness and impartiality of judiciousness. Mm. As a tribute to that sentiment, this slate was designed after a traditional legal codex and engraved with a symbol instead of text. Hmm, interesting. During my travels recently, I chanced upon a roadside stall offering tourists the opportunity to try their hand at the ceramic arts. So I decided to have a go. Oh, you made it. We joked with Cloran some time ago about gifting you a legal codex. So, here you go. Really? <laughs> ah, so that's what this is about. I did not expect you to remember it as well. In any case, I hope this can be considered as a reasonable attempt to join in on the venture. <laughs> it was a good attempt. It, it was a great attempt. It is a very good attempt. Yes. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised. Even your sense of humor centers around the law. That's an impressive level of commitment. <laughs> well, a gift of this significance deserves to be put on display, and I know just the place. Front and center in the fortress's showroom. Ah, surely there's no need for such a grand gesture. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. I don't have anything like a showroom. But we do have a storage room. We can put it next to all the mechanical parts Sijuin is collected. That sounds good to me. Oh. So that's Aww. what you were doing in Chaoying Village. Indeed. Of course, while I was there, I also took the opportunity to taste the local spring water. Oh, how does it taste? The aftertaste is much purer than what I have delivered to me in Fontaine. It stands to reason that the long-distance transport has a tendency to imbue the water with extraneous emotion. Mmm. If you want to experience the true flavor, you simply have to go to the source. Perhaps I should organize some time off to do the same elsewhere. Yes. As they say in Leeway, a balance between work and play is sure to keep your troubles at bay. They Except everyone in Leeway has a terrible working... I was about conditions. to say, wh who has said this in Leeway? Nah, I, no one. No one, right? Yeah. No one. Every, everyone we know is unhealthy work addicts. I mean, it's fine if they enjoy their work, but you just, you need to be able to s step back so you don't burn yourself out. That's the important bit. Mm -hmm. Then we are of the same mind. It appears my desire is justified. There you go. If you say so, but you, oh. know you don't have to justify a vacation, right? You can just take one. You know what? Mm -hmm. He'll probably be in the next wind bloom. Probably. That would make a lot of sense. Actually. Or in Azuma's firework festival. Something. Or in Nahida's birthday. Yeah, just something. He'll be. He'll be in one of these things. I, uh, wind yeah, bloom the should be flower festival. Wind bloom should be around the corner, right? It should be after the whole <gasps> Chiori event, probably. Uh, probably. After I'm, all, I'm assuming. You're hardly bereft of time. You can do. Hey, don't make fun of him. You're quite right. 
I suppose I suffer not from a lack of opportunity, but rather a lack of inspiration. There you mm -hmm. go. However, after reading a few articles about Li Wei's holiday traditions, the idea popped into my head and made itself quite at home. Seeing as I was free of responsibilities for the morning, I decided to depart at once. How was it? Refreshing. My spontaneous outing seemed to inspire quite a few other spontaneous decisions as well. <laughs> Take, for example, my foray into ceramics. At first, soil from the ground is granular and unforgiving, but had the right amount of water, and it becomes soft, moldable, and able to take shape. In the past, I never thought about how quotidian vessels were crafted, but now I have participated in their very making. Qu quotidian? What quotidian. is qu quotidian? What the I have no idea what that means, but I love it. <laughs> this is also something I made today. Oh? Oh! oh. What? Oh. In the world. Oh. That's amazing. That's your second thing you made? That's First? A, that's what? incredible. Is it a ladle? That's him. Mm-hmm. It's, it's, it's mine now. Is that what you look like? Are you ever going to turn into that? <laughs> yes. Do it now. Right now. <laughs> turn into this. <laughs> I love how everyone guessed what his dragon form was. And little did we know, he was Nessie the whole time. He was Nessie. <laughs> I should have guessed. <laughs> it looks more like glass, by the way. This is beautiful. Mm -hmm. Whew. A big ladle. Hey! That's a ladle? I meant that it was supposed to be some long-necked sea creature. It's both. That was indeed one of my inspirations. Amazing. It's oh, incredible. Really? You like it? Yes. Yes, it's a, it's so good. I'm glad you're excited. We're not even pretending. This to is tell great. You the truth, given your unexpected arrival, I find myself quite unequipped to give you the welcome you deserve. Around such an important holiday such as this, human custom would dictate that gifts should be in order. But I'm afraid this is all I can offer, if you'll have it, that is. Do you made it by hand and everything? Yes. That is precisely why it would do me such a great honor if you accept it. I will use it every Thank day! Thank you! Thank you! You are most welcome. It is now... Happy Lantern right? It is now my family heirloom. <laughs> You'll be passed down for generations. He will be alive for generations. Yep. That reminds me. <gasps> reminds you? Of what? Hmm. Advice. Approve a leave of absence request for myself. That sounds like it could easily lead to a vicious cycle of self-indulgence, something which couldn't be in further violation of protocol. See, that's what I was wondering about, because, like, I could mm. never see Nouvellette being the okay guy of being like, yeah, I'll just give myself a vacation. Then make a Nouvellette vacation section of law. Yeah, I guess. Make you someone, can, like... You can go for so many in days. Of that. Yeah, and then give it to Melzine to look over it. But I suppose I understand her point. You should take a day off, though. My proclivity to refrain from personal outings does, in part, originate from a sense of responsibility toward my duties. But it is also due to a lack of desire to engage in the human world. I just want to give Nuvolet a hug. Sorry, spontaneous thought I just had. But I just, you do. But now I see that the human world is indeed full of many interesting places to discover. Could have I told you that. I'm excited for where this is going. And I think it also is- Oh, we did get it! That's amazing. I think it's also making him leave for the next event, because next uh, next patch should also be in Fontaine. Should be. Maybe. Lantern right marks the start of the new year in Leo. Or will it take us to Inazuma? In the spirit of the season, then. I have no idea. I wish you a year of success as vast and endless as the open ocean. Thank you. Thank you. Well, back we go. This was an amazing quest. This fourth part was just, let's uh, plug every other character. Except of, Inazuma. Except Inazuma. Yeah, poor Inazuma characters. We just focus on whatever the new region is. Uh, it's, it's usually the new region. That's usually what they Cat. got. Cat on a hot tin roof. I think that's the only, okay, I love, I both love and Sir Pounce a lot. Daihe, Dahi. Wait, isn't that the president's name? No, Me. it's different. It's just a cute dog, I guess. But, um... What is the president of Mihoyo's name again? Mm. Dawe? Something. But uh, I think that's the thing I love and hate about Genshin, the timed events. I both love it because it does give you a sense of 
time is flowing and you get to experience it, but that's only if you've been playing for a while or been playing from since day one. It's, it's sad when there's things that drop off because newer players will only experience the new fresh stuff. They will never experience all the Inazuma events, all the uh, Sumeru events that have went by, and they're just gone. You, if you didn't do the Lisa event, you have no idea. Do you have any idea that she's from Sumeru and she studied there? Nope. I don't think you do, right? I mean, I'm sure there's voice lines in the game now. But you'd have but to watch a lot of cutscenes and read a lot of things. You'd have to go into the character dialogue and probably find something about that. If it's even there. It's it's probably on her character page and whatnot. It has to be. It would be weird if it wasn't. Ooh, pretty. But yeah, there's like all these different things that you had to be playing to, it, to see. What? What? Youngsters, huh? It's oh, we just triggered a quest, didn't we? No. We were doing something what? old. I mean, we not, sorry, respectful. Daniel, come on. Respect. I, 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 that was just a joke, but wait, I just want to clarify. Is something the matter, good sir? Here, I'll read it, Daniel. Don't worry. Oh, are you, young master, are you the son of the Fei Yun Conference Guild Manager? That is not us. A humble servant. The one beside me is, in fact, the real. The real one. Yeah, right. Don't listen to his jokes, old man. Wow. Oh, my. So you aren't the Comrades Guild young... Uh, Comrades Guild's young master? No. Commerce? I, what was I saying? It's commerce. Mm-hmm. Oh, my apologies. I was considering only your uh, wondrously fashionable attire and your flying companion. Your conduct, too, was so unlike ours that I assumed that you must come from Liwei Harbor to discuss matters with us. Lou I am surnamed, and all in the village call me Grandpa Lou. <sighs> Apologi apologize, I must. Recent years have not been kind. I have not even the I I have not even the tea to treat you two as guests. <sighs> the Adepti will certainly not be satisfied with the tea ceremony this year. Uh, uh Grandpa Lou, the stuff right by you aren't those tea leaves? The quality is far too lacking. How could I possibly serve such things to my guests? Speaking honestly, we are waiting for someone from the Feiyun Commerce Guild, for we must discuss with them the tea leaf problem. They are our biggest customers, after all. The crux of the matter is that this batch of tea is simply unsatisfactory. Wait. Whether it be in terms of taste or quantity, this is an open secret among tea merchants. Old Lou... The village chief was has also decided that not that no tea I can freaking read today may be sold until the quality problem is solved. This must be for the um Wait a minute, did the did the New Year's event end? Did it was that the end of the quest line when we got the ladle? Maybe. This, did it did it start up the other quest? <gasps> we probably went to the other quest. It's fine. I have heard tell that the young master of the Commerce Guild is exceptionally smart and skilled. If he has caught wind that this year's tea harvest was lacking in both quality and quantity, I I thought he would come in person. Or if not, send someone here. So here I wait. Dude, why? <laughs> anyway, the problem with the tea leaves, I believe, it lies within the soil. Mm -hmm. A problem with the soil? Indeed, it, I've lived here my whole life and worked with the tea since I was but a wee lad. And I can notice problems that others may miss as I see it. And may Adeptus Fujin bless us? It must be an imbalance in our soil and water. Adeptus Fujin? What? Oh, so you've also heard the tale. That's quite rare. Even among locals, few remember. Many, many years ago, Chi Ying, is it Chi Ying? Chow Chi. The village was nothing but a barren hill. Terrifying demons dwelt there. And it was all thanks to the Adeptus Fujin that the demons were defeated and tea trees were planted, allowing our ancestors to come live here. But if it's really a problem with the water and soil, then I don't know what we can do about it. Yeah, that would suck. I don't know either. Wow. <laughs> a <laughs> terrible shame. Daniel just walks away. That's Goodbye. your... <laughs> Goodbye. How could you, Daniel? I'm clicking it. Do it. Wh I missed. You missed. Wh I missed this, this is a sign. Okay. Yep. Got it. <laughs> yep. Yeah, he wouldn't know. We wouldn't know the first thing about water and dub. Uh, no, wait. Isn't that exactly what we're here to investigate? No. I like how Paimon was buying it for a second. Uh, 
yes, or does that mean you believe me, young master? Whether or not I believe you is irrelevant. <laughs> Basically. Uh, yeah. The one, one who commissioned me believes you. Is that so? That makes things easy. Come, I'll bring the tea leaf samples and we can go have a talk with the old Leo. Leo. <laughs> you don't have to force yourself. Hmm. You have to do Yoda voice. Hmm. We should go over there. I, I can't do it, dang. It's more of a weird thing. Something wrong, Grandpa Lou. Young master and young lady, if it isn't too much trouble, could you pretend no. you are from the Feiyun Commer uh, Commerce Guild? When we are meeting with old Lou, 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 Lou? Yeah. Village chief is a, he's a good person, but I gotta put this. He puts more trust in machines, cultivation techniques, fertilizers, and things like that. I mentioned an imbalance in the soil and water before, and we parted on bad terms. But if it was the young master of the Feiyun Commerce Guild? Uh, I don't sure, wanna, I'll give it a try. I don't wanna lie. I'm not really given a choice, though. So I have a feeling it's actually the cultivation technique and fertilizers. Probably. And machines that are actually polluting the ground and blah, 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 blah. You know, you're right. It's going to be that. It's going to be that more. It's going to be the moral. It, it's going to be the moral lesson of, hey. You should use nature instead of all this other stuff. Well, actually, there's a ton of awesome ways of cultivate to cultivate ground and farm life, but you need to figure out it's different for every place. So if this guy's just like taking it all in from other places, it may the, not. Because uh, the, oh crap, the acidity of the oil, not oil, of the, the oil. earth. Yeah. The soil, that's what I was trying to say, is also important. Yeah, you have to think about everything. Farmers are awesome, by the way. Shout out to all you farmers. You're amazing. Thank you for letting us, you know, live. Thank you. <laughs> Doesn't seem like a good plan. To... Pilot. No, no, you got it. You got it. I don't worry. Even if he sees through it, it's no, it's nobody's idea but mine. None of the blame shall fall on you. I Yeah, but we'll get blacklisted, bro. This is the side quest. Okay. Well, with that, I don't... Wait, then what? There's a there's a lot of side quests that I would like. Oh, to, it just ended with it, Nouvellet. It did, because we got the ladle. That was the quest but reward. But it didn't do the... Uh, Maybe it did. We weren't no, paying attention. It well, it's over. <laughs> is, uh, is there anyone I need to look for? No, nah, I think we're done. We talked to Nouvellet, so I think we're good. I, checked, I know, but like any. I checked part four. No, it said I, nothing about other than uh, uh, it had Hu Tao, Zhongli, and uh, I think I don't even think it mentioned Nouvellet. Hold up. Yep, nothing. Well, yeah, Nouvellet wasn't even mentioned. So thank you maybe, for joining us. There may be more characters. We're not aware of them. Sorry if we missed anything. Oops. Uh, oh yeah, it's done. Yeah, we're good. We oh. got it. Okay, time for mini games and get all the rewards. So, but we're not gonna record that. We're gonna do that off screen. So, like Daniel said, thank you all for joining us. That was an awesome quest. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I sad, I sadly will just go ahead and say I don't think we're doing the side, the side quest right here. I don't think we'll be doing that on screen. Probably not, because I think the next one we'll be doing is the cooking event. Yeah, okay. we're gonna. We want to do the cooking event. We're kind of busy for the next few days though, so we're gonna Quite. try. We're gonna Life try. Is Quite crazy. I'm going to speed this. You gonna speed? You gonna speed run this? Okay, speed readers, unite! Whoa! <laughs> no, <laughs> catch that! Oh, flying Lotus, mysterious paint that hangs in the air. Sounds like a seriously Central. exaggerated analogy. <gasps> we talking about fireworks? Well, anyway, the protagonist of the tale we're talking about is renowned, uh, fame spread throughout the land, and his companion Paimon. Huh, why is it so suddenly about us? us? Ah, oh, perhaps you already forgotten about the time the last year when you accepted a commission from the adventure Gale Titania and prepared a special speedrun challenge. <gasps> nice. The speedrun challenge was illuminated by the glow of fireworks and most most majestic and majestic and splendorous scenes are not of not scene? English what? English <laughs> <gasps> now that you mentioned it, Paimon kind of remembers that we helped uh, some promoter from the Adventure Guild. It was nothing really. Uh, she said, "Is you want to help us with the event, recruit new members? No idea if it actually worked though. <gasps> so what's your point?" Uh, at the time, I was drowning in my sorrows and liquor, and the one should. Why? What? Hold up! In, <laughs> and I looked up and saw your silhouettes framed by the fireworks. In that moment of sadness, from flunking the exam, my confusion from the path that lay before me, <gasps> it was all dispelled in a flash uh, by your radiant figures blazing bright with vitality. So I pulled myself together and continued my research into folktales and thus came to Chen Yu Vale. <gasps> Drinking deep in my favorite subject, I must thank you for the encouragement you gave me. 
And it's not just me, many of uh, others have been moved by your splendid silhouettes joining in the Adventurers Guild and finding new direction in life. <gasps> Paimon never mentioned anything like that. We not even, even notice anyone watching us at the time. I didn't even think, <laughs> didn't even think us joining a little race could inspire other people. When you put it like that, kind of, it's kind of embarrassing. Congratulations on getting it together. <laughs> to run into you today is truly, uh, uh, it was truly my good fortune. It's the only thing I would like to ask. And in addition to expressing my sincerest gratitude, please pass your radiant glory onward and continue inspiring even more people. Though we aren't nearly as great as you say, we aren't, you've got a good idea going. If we can cheer up more people, we're in. Though, now that you mentioned it, what should we do? <laughs> in accordance with the usual practices, I use Titania's racing challenges as a reference and teamed up with other adventurers inspired by you. We plan brand new a brand new activity, Cloud. Well, how do you Shriving. how do you actually say that Even name? Death Tian Tian? Is that Tian, it? Tian. Tian Tian? I have no idea. <gasps> there are many uh, wondrous things here in Chen. I'm actually going to. Chen Yu Vale, I got Vail, you. Including a strange cart whose powers allow you to travel more swiftly. Daniel, please don't pass out on me and die. Like, <laughs> all you need to do is vault over those valleys and mount the mountaintops with your nimbleness, easy, showing easy. your vibrant dy dy dynamism all to all sundry and just as before. Yeah, chirp everywhere we go. Of course, but beyond the more I have prepared as a token of appreciation, we've prepared a variety of other rewards to express our gratitude. Such paltry gestures pale with the hope that you have gifted to so many with the excitement of your past deeds and fire. But that is not all. In the future, we will find more chances to repay you. Haha, <laughs> you're too kind. We'll keep on journeying and help out those in need all along the way, even without any rewards. Lies. But after hearing you, <laughs> we're even more inspired to keep on adventuring. Let's give this uh, iridescent cloud starting a try. I have been told many times that both me and Daniel should look into uh, becoming those announcers on horse races. Apparently, we would do very well at that. Uh, this is going to be a pain. Of like, and they're off! <laughs> <laughs> it wants me to grab a bunch of teleport points, you monsters. You would do that to me. <laughs> that's the that's the point of the event. Well, I guess I, we'll leave it there for now. Yeah, I think with that we're basically done, guys. That has been the story quest. Daniel, thoughts? What do you want? Do you have anything to say? It was really good. I loved part three, and I loved seeing um, everyone in part four as well. I enjoyed all the parts, but yeah, but part three and part four I think were the highlights. Very mm -hmm. very good. Part four felt a little attached on, but. I think it was just like, fine. no, we, we got Fontaine characters. That's true, I'll, but... I'll always take more Fontaine characters. I love the Fontaine characters, and I love seeing Farina on uh, Nivellet and everyone. Like, that's fun, but... Mm -hmm. it, it, part three was the main story, though. That, that was, was the main plot, and I really loved everything that was there. Yeah, that was great. I love the post. Uh, and yeah, no, Daniel summed up my thoughts, basically. That was, that was it. It was an awesome story quest. Uh, mm -hmm. 4.0 of Genshin... Patch after patch, we say this every freaking video. Uh, it's great. Genshin's been killing it. Ugh. Writers, get sleep. Oh, Programmers, you. you know, chill, guys. You guys are amazing. Don't die. We need please you. Don't. We need you for future expansions. Speaking of days off, you can please take some. Yeah, take some, definitely. It blows my mind that Genshin. I know they prepare patches well in advance. Like, they're yeah. probably like always two or three like patches ahead of where we actually are, and then they're mm -hmm. also constantly having a team work on the next area and stuff. But it still blows my mind that Genshin has like 40 day patches, like 40 to 50 day patches. That's crazy, man. Mm -hmm. How in the world do they do it? I don't. That I, is an excellent. Question. I don't get it. It's it's insane. But yeah, uh, and as we do this mini game, oh right, I oh, see that's what we're right. doing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, as we do this, guys, we're going to head off. Uh, thank you for joining us, and we love you all. So I guess we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, everybody. Don't you dare miss that flower. There we go. Okay. Is that it? No, okay. Up here now. What the? How? Sure. Perfect. You did that perfect. Nice. Allegedly. I... Don't know how we grabbed all those things, but we sure did. Wait, oh, you have to wait for it to lift up. Okay, now go. No, now? Sure. Oh, this is cool. 
Are you actually able to get them all? Or, or maybe I'm not supposed to hit the red things. May or, the or the blue things. Or the blue things, yeah. Because your screen goes weird. I'm going to assume I'm not supposed to grab those. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, well. It's fine. We should be okay. Uh, well, game, uh, hey, unless the game him. wants to troll us. The game is trying to kill me. Do direction right? Oh, that's right. Do, 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 do. Oh, that third one. Really? Really? No. Oh, well. Did it? Okay, it did get those. I was like, what? Uh, uh, game? Game! We did it! So high score? Probably was supposed to dodge those other things. D but we got gold! We did, in fact. So I think gold. we got it, right? That was it? All the stars? Yeah, boy! Uh, was that enough for the output? Just shy. So sad. Okay. Well, and with that, we love you all. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye! <laughs>